Ezekiel 47 verse 12. See a near Biabano, young for a high inside ye. So, Ubi a bay four a yare way ye the year back to sender. Eh, Ubi tormento, Ubi per se or sell with life. O call when you might enco way a yes, I have man we see. One problem, ma, a be before ye were a yes, I did no. Yan church as I did we see where you are solid them. In the solid baby, but not solid them on ma, be bomb pire ye fast enough when your solution to be solved. Bear ma, it be a winner, Sir Felix. No treaty, ye are in a cock, but the penis, you know, and Timia and yet large it is any net ye. I bear ye kitty kitty kitty. We every war, many of you are in need, no matter. I'm a girl come, you'll come, I'm the other. I'll come, I'll come, I'll come. And you know, one time, and you're young, we did not know. I told Gana, my papa. I told the boy, I did not want. Ah, Glove, two man, all the car. I'm going to go to my 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 car. We are here for a new in Yankopan Daroma, a health check series, and no, and I yes, I a day a bremo in a ne a rehu sema a war a bako semo and a yede a bremo. Yama, maybe a friend Elizabeth Asanto as a mobacaya, Yama, me and I a case or co in fee a dear son a year seventy years. Na ye in a niece, you said, a betty a betty be a year a mra Yama, me na usa. I'm here to assess in 13 years, 6 March 1964. A year, Papa, dear friend, Malam Tura or De Flowers, Emma, Yama, Miss On Fancoma, or Sarge for Doctor Kwame Kuma when you're baby call. Na DC, you know, a year, I will say, Mamma, a Santuay, Nenaiba, Kote, Nehu Roy, or the hospital in Fimi, you know, Emma, or Sarge for a bar in the hospital bed. On any year, fatty, it be soon, you soon, you soon, you a shen a bosse, or be here, my me, a man who at all. Dear to a to a son, you the baby, and before say the crack of crime check foundation, you could pay my mea son to a honey and semi or the two year name, a year a rehose man cassa, our the two year name, and let black lens a mea tias, yes, eh, so oba, so we ye JSS, so we ye SHS, so we ye university, na unya a jumanye, ma empopoti. For Black Lens Ventures, and I'm going to train you in power camera. When you first handle, I'll be telling you a jumbo bia or pass. Sebe sebe. On so be be ba on some na ibi ewa ubo tomu. I'm going to try editing. Any normal pi. I'm sure the air course or class or CCI are more sure. In the power guho, I won't issue ya. Na won't issue ya. Na won't ya on sano a jumbo. Na a year Black Lens and so abu awo mo. I'm a war and yet be be aye. Internet black lens and cassa or my numbers and a more Black lens ventures as I can who be and they say we are DHS graduates, SHS graduates, and now same pono university graduates. Now, if you only be be aye, now what person when you're insane, you may be a and yet to make a nebra black lens ventures. Say what person we are professional photographer, videographer, and a digital video editor. Now, we are on a set of a picky form. Our office, I 50 cities, our KFC inside Matayako pharmacy, dance man. Our teachers are cuckoo dama. What they now what you see a better way. Nija seme sa woman say, Sa wuba humo din na usia kosi si ya. Black lens bema wa kwenya ne e juma kwa in mubi aye juma. Enti tutu mika nebe fao forms and na se fre na mesa e chwa gru screen sweet. A ye zero two four two zero seven four. Two seven six. I said zero five nine six three two eight zero zero eight zero three zero two nine six six five four. Se ope asase atwa and let you name him a special laboratory for bribery. As I say, I am a nipamiensa and nine years I am a tormo, but a jarry real estate said Debbie. A butcher for P. Now one abato as I saw a jarry real estate. Manson in the hop. Or how be a in the hop. And yes, one to us as I am out, no business about being a house at media. O to us as an answer and crater a cahon. Now, Trimian Sabosome now on crater about the doing some. Into any ejari real estate and casa. 
se bibia chire wa dwen a wo fere number sia e show ya ye be chire chire wo mu minuano mate asem dey enne se ope asase ana edan ato amansun biara eni ho a eno ane ejare real estate na sa ejare real estate won wo kasoa ofanko be bia aban akosi senior high school ni high court fefe fe no wo fere ho pe na ura ejare real estate asa ti ani je semi e Angria and a boar are would be si dino. A be a jarry real estate for fo 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 fo. Now the assignment a year and home can and say, What trust us in a jarry real estate? Who be trust so fe 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 Land guard as a modi and no dear and mamu cra. Now say it here and just say my hobby me. And so I would be si would dino. A ye free. na document as a modi. A ye tatashi. Oto wa sa se anase o daya na ye di ashe wansa. Eti ka unwe na fre e jare real estate na ansa enya wu. Na asama na me ka efa ye mame asantu wa huni. E mwa o saje fo Dr. Kwame Nkroma ye tu na diye sonu. Na afi yeno ni ishe muno a ye denye kakra. Ye mame abre ye when you have a down summon, I na assemblies of God for the two hundred rent. Is any who can say any rent no aso aso ama ubi eno ha oso ni munti we two akotina be before fro na yeka ekomwa ubi a oko infi adioso na oyare ubu bugu efom ni nae ba kuni ho na ne huwa ro na di ubedi kura ampono aye dia na ye dream huwa. Said Debbie, as I say, your call, na Crime Check Foundation, your call, a caution, not a muaka crow, ha, ye de mano. It will be uncle a denta, a honour, ye mammy, what a honour, Susie, or quacupi, not ye mammy, a rehose semi, ye uncle for infam remo. You made a similar soon. You about the PMO, a what a denta was, and well, a Ye, ye, mamma, a ye, auntie Lizzie, et ye. Na said ye, a penny, a dee, kai, kai, ye no, a ye, a semua, a sea in coma pencil. Ye and Sam, and ye be try a wanting crack on ye bar, ye and auntie Lizzie, at a chimp. Et ye for a mid trading enterprise and sass work on whom be more so open provisions near ma, and more and more. A situation, just say a dibia ye dibia, a me trading enterprise ben ye biamo, and ye non kwan so, so upe semina ye di siniama, ni ye di guare, and non pu so upe so kotu di kwacho obi, en ye tu tumike, na kwa a me trading enterprise na kwa jewo die, niyama ni bu ye po na e a kra price and so, shisha wane chia kwain e wo kaswa old barrier, ubi tmi afa wan e wa huma chu for ye so, 0545. 822773. I'm trading enterprise now. Customer satisfaction is our priority. Until easy, night is saying. Yeah, let me, let me. I didn't know you. Until easy, until rent me a true way, it's in fear day. Nineteen sixty four. Now, you know, 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 you a barn is an in green a cutaun, a jee boom. Eh, and when you sort of tell one hour, he got to the determine the determine the little hospital. Or you got to walk. Or you have a class for stadium. A class for stadium. Or you got to walk. Or you got to walk. Come and come about the straw. Yeah, they, if he's a 70 year old, 37 military hospital. No? 
Ati fam se yeyi na yeti sa arahosemi yema me Elizabeth bebi a odano 
eden wa nya boni bia obi e na de na kosa o how kese yi mu na ye nyina ye srese obi a o pese ye maami wonso obetimi aso ni mu no eni en kasa crime check foundation de obi nya ba bia no ye de be kosa de de bia ye no no se de ba ye maami no onfa arefo enko owo mu se se yi no we hear her chair. Then Yamia Daroma, you do not say only her chair, a brain, into your debby quacomano. The atossy and a didimun in room. Oh, and I a dame. It will be a mammy as a me, a tete wo. Ah, won't so opesse, O bonnet one for real. Ma and Poputia damasse, that's an eh. Yanko Poma Hokaya. You see, Kayan farm what you are for. I'll be a new way of what Sawa you know this this uh music video everything has changed even the way people see me and relate to me is different from as compared to you know when i started dancing you know people see me as like a star you know I get free food. <laughs> <laughs> Working on the whole Beyoncé production and then comparing it to what we do here in Ghana, what would you say is the fastest shoot ever? I don't know what they want. But this whole encounter, has it affected your prices? Has your oh, yes. prices gone up? Yeah. <laughs> Two percentage. Thank you and about. <laughs> wow. Lloyd, will you say you are the best dancer in Ghana? We are still talking safety on our roads with Ghana Web Road Safety Campaign. Today our guest is a veteran actress and media personality. She indeed was involved in a ghastly accident some years back, it nearly claimed her life, but well, she's here today with us to tell us how it all happened and advise us on the way forward, staying safe on our roads. Our guest today is Nana Mama Brown. <laughs> I like your smile. <laughs> Hello, dear. 2013, Jenny, must have been hard. Yes. Tell me, how, how did it happen? Wow. Okay, thank you very much. Um, 2013, I had met my husband. It was like five months into our relationship. Mm. And I had to do a friend let's say a favor you know when you're in this job hand go hand come so i had to go and do a video for the group prior at that time the video has been shadow shadow reshadow reshadow so that night was a night i i just had to finish you know it's like i'm getting tired of the job i just had to finish and my i was going before from the house it was just a lonely night I was driving alone and my husband was like, then my boyfriend okay. was like, oh, let's go together. So that let me drive you. I see that you're tired. Let me drive you. And then so that we can hurry up and we all come. Because it was late. We're looking at what time? Um, we left home, I think, around 9 p.m. Okay. Yeah. So we got to the scene. We finished everything. And it was around 2 a.m. 
and we're coming home. Yeah. So me, I was, I was just in the car, relaxed, at the front seat. And my boyfriend then was driving. That's my husband now. Yeah. Was driving. So I, there was a game I was playing on my phone. Oh, you're not even sleepy? No, 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 no. I was not sleeping. I was playing a tempo run. <laughs> then okay. time, nothing happened. <laughs> uh -huh. So, yeah. And I had a record on the phone. And he broke it whilst I was doing the video. So it was like, ah, I'm a break your record. You know how it is. Yeah. So on our way, I said, okay, let me break my record. And he was like, if you can break it, I'll give you $100. Great. I said, okay, don't, don't talk to me, Masa. Don't distract me. Let's go. So we're just in the car. Once a while, I, I will respond to him. And then I'll just look at the road once a while. And then we go out. And when we got to La Paz, uh, long story short, when we got to La Paz, all I heard was, I'm a yeah, because I was on my phone and he was just driving. So when he said, I'm a yeah, and I just stopped. By the time I, like, I was just trying to look at what's happening, it was like a movie. Everything happened so fast. Yeah, everything happened like five, six seconds. Do you understand what I mean? It's like the action. The, 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 the sound of the impact and the uh -huh. I'm a Yehuna, Mimi, who you know. I, I saw him going right. But you see, right at the main La Paz traffic light, mm -hmm. there are taxis on your right, packed in front of the Las Palmas Yes, that's at it's very board. busy. And, okay. Yes. And a lot of people are in between the taxis and all that. We were coming from Achimota heading towards Marlin Junction. So all I saw was a car coming from Abeka, Abeka the inside Abeka there, mm -hmm. into the main road. So one, the traffic was on amber. Yeah, around that time. Yeah. Around that time, no. I don't know. Sagana so traffic light. I catch him say after twelve o'clock. Is that amber? Oh hey, yeah. I don't know. I think that question should be answered. And it was on amber. So suddenly I saw a car into us okay. and the, my car like Max drove to the right side but I realized and I know that's how he also felt that there are a lot of cars if he goes there now over Kuncroft war so he had to come back to the left and meet the car so he oh who can no or no who can no or correct in car either say you bet me a room la pass now or board then be more or whatever. But right now, you bet me a rural taxi cinema. And yet, can't one over say no. I believe then, Kai, it will be home back. So he went down and then he came back. And then the Baba Kran and who said, Kano. Kana be boy aside. Not carbon and amuchi and then. Then he car... Range Rover. Okay. And uh, it was so funny, Kani, Opel Astra. Is it Astra? No, Opel Tintin, you know. Omega. Okay, okay. Part of the Opel Omega. Omega. That, that's a strong Omega one. Omega, the <laughs> That's a strong one. Omega is a strong that's, car. That's, that's yeah, a strong yeah. one, yeah. yeah. So, Range Rover is a good car. But, to be honest with you, say you cost speed, I don't know if I drive it. So, he wasn't even speeding? No. Between the two of you, when I was speeding. Speed. Okay. No, I don't know if I no me na me pay speed and yes me pay speed is eh me kwa say but them new no on say say be eh say dey no wetika papa mu a wetia so kakra but where na jubi na it say o don akwant you get get be jolly ride be into to be honest na speed in shadow nim ni ya ko ya range of one ajo ya ko be 100 dey i think say no be do be 800 mu o dey no into it was like a normal ride Suddenly, and then the car came. Into every shy sign on that. I think that of course, in our bus, in a shy, and I'm inside. How could bo main traffic light? Okay. Main traffic. Let me don't know bo main traffic light. Let me don't know. Into a bo a bo no na na. You know, say, can you not be there? Be able to move your body, but can you? The windscreen, kakra, tires, no be brave, papa. I mean, and I felt like 
the car didn't meet me. So, and this is what happened to you. So me began to say, "Are you okay?" And I say, "Yes, I'm fine." And he was moving. And then even your condition, you were asking him what, what? because the car came from his side. And he, I say, "Yeah, you know, you're near to. You're going to see me, but okay, I can talk. Let me see if he can also talk. It's I think adrenaline. I'm more animal be breathing. So I asked him, "Are you okay?" And he was like, "I'm fine. Are you okay?" So I was going to go. Like, yes. And then I realized that. Something my wrong. Arm, my hand is not coming. You couldn't feel your arm? No, I couldn't feel it. The right one? This one, yes. Wow. Yeah, I couldn't feel it. In the, me pushing on my, in my head, I want, to, I want to bring my hand, but I feel like me try with the shoulder, but I'm not feeling The arm itself is not. The hand, the fingers, and all that. So I realized that I could share Range Rover, no side, you know. Between the door and the seat, you know. It's not a lucky room. It's not a lucky room. So I had to lean there and try and find it and bring it slowly, slowly, like this, like this. Because me page I know who say me born no you know pee. Are you serious? Yeah. Me born no you know hand pee na hand so abase inti me elbow no me sana chia. So I had to bring it, say, na me me pee pee abo no, and you say, na enti me bra. Wasn't it painful? And I'm very tired, yeah. At that time, anti pain. It was still the blood rush. Yes, anti pain because I I, <laughs> as a drama, I just felt like it's not real. I'm it's, trying to picture the whole thing. Yeah. Seeing your bone and you're not going to arrange everything back into it's your arm. be to be to a situation, you know. That's how I. That's how I felt. Like, let me put save. What I don't know that that's how that's what's going on in your head. Anti me me pushy bone on say no, and I'm here in Sanoba, and then I placed it like this and I got down from his side. Cause my side didn't there I bought traffic light drama traffic light not cheer, kakra into a damage may in so. So I got down from his side. Doesn't mean he had gotten out of the car. He had gotten out. So I told them. Him, nobody should touch me when I realized that my hand is broken before they struggle me out. And so I was like, I can come out. I don't know how it happened, to be honest with you. I was like, I can come out. I can pra, me pra, me pra, me pra. So I came out from the side like this. I got down. I left my bag, everything, my phones, everything in it. And then I saw blood all over. So then a taxi driver pulled up. He pulled over. To my side now, no. Mitsna can. So I felt the pain after a few minutes, like 10 minutes later, we got to Jolu, the railway at Jolu, Perez Chapel there. He was in speed, as in full speed, trying to save me. And that time, to not, doctors got strike. Oh no. Oh yeah. So it was like the closest is 37. Yeah. Obviously, call it was <laughs> you know, everybody will tell you what's yeah. good. So, from Perez Chapel, it's when I felt the pain was not coming. Dying. Huh. It's like men sano that were drumming no be war, nonstop. Sweetheart, when you malaria, men soon pee. Now we say we that's a whole different age. Oh, they will be pre malaria, but now it's too late. Bone no boa, bone no. And I don't want to I, I don't want to go through this again. But every day I go through it. You know why? Because not long ago I fell down again and I broke my arm. So I did a surgery about three months ago. So it's it's something that has become it a, is, a, a it reminder. Is it's, it's it's with you now. It's life. It's with me as I speak. So I just did it three months ago. I fell down there. You know, at 37, they, they put metal. They screw, they join the bone, they screw. And the metal broke, the bone broke again. And I had to go and do refix. So we've, they've done it all over again now. It's not strong, but what can you say? It didn't cut up. You didn't die. So it, 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 it's, it's painful, but you live with it. From, from your narrative, 
I'm trying to find uh, what may have caused their accidents in the first place. What may have caused it? I don't know. Because we were driving and somebody too was driving. I don't know if any sign. Have you okay. ever planned an okay. accident? That, that's, that doesn't happen. But, uh, the traffic unless, didn't, unless it's the traffic a movie and didn't. then it goes wrong or it goes bad. It doesn't go according to your script. <laughs> So, the traffic light was not working at that time. So that could have been the reason. So it's like every day, everybody has a right to go. Uh -huh. And the man too, I hear, is a chop bar owner be inside the Abekan. They say very much something, something. The owner of the other car. Yeah, so I believe he was also tired. What, what? Okay, you obviously didn't see what may have happened to what? him. Him? What, yeah, his car. He, Did you see the condition? He, he, his car was a mess too. Got messed up, crashed. So after me, I didn't see him that night. Neither have I ever seen him. Okay. No, because me from there, I, I had to, the hospital admitted me for two weeks. And in between, I think family members were talking. They went to the police station, you know, as usual. They had to tow the car to the police station. So they probably have met him there. But, as long as I live, you know, you can't hold a lot of things for long. And what happened? We we had to let it go. A lot so, of eight eight years down the line. It's been eight years, but yes, yes, yeah, twenty thirteen. Yeah, it, it, eight years was last month. Yeah, uh, yeah January thirtieth. Okay, okay, the dawn of January thirtieth. Would you have done anything uh, differently now that you look at when you play back everything that may have happened? Um, you see. You can't understand life. Oh, we all wish to live, but how? You can't control what is going to happen to you next. I, I, I don't think I would have changed anything. Anything, because... <laughs> I don't know, I say, I say, I say, so it's like, I see, you know, uh, the only thing I could do is just wish that and see, okay. I wish Senka I'm not in this situation, okay. but I see. So I, it's just up to me to know that it has come to live with me. This is me. Nobody can understand the pain, the where it's so uncomfortable, and how I, it has stopped me from a lot of things. I used to ride a bike. I can't ride it now because the pain me cry. I'm, I'm afraid I'll fall again, you know. Two, I used to play long tennis. That's my favorite game. So now I have to. I was going to go back and then I fell again. So I, I can't go back. And I see even why not, uh, your left hand is more vibrant than the very right much, one. Very much, very much. The right one is there. You see, it's my work, so sometimes I, w I would do a lot of things, but me na minima how I feel. Okay. Um, as far as accidents are concerned, what do you think Ghanaians and, and by extension authorities are not doing right to manage the situation? You see, there, there, there's, there are some common things that we all look at. It. We don't say anything, or we don't even know if we have to say anything, or we don't even know who to ask, or probably we, have, we ignore. Something like this traffic light that uh, most of our traffic lights are always in the night on amber. It's a yellow thing. It's like everybody can go. Most of our traffic lights. I travel abroad. I don't see that. It works 247. And again, we don't have a system that there are a lot of us. Let's forget about my accident. There are a lot of things that happen on our road that yehu, but the nimsa ofre is a toll line no kora no a obian few and I beji okay we are we will respond to them and na endi o nti abe ye habi to be a yehu na ya ignore. So we don't trust the system. No, what I mean is what system? The systems are there, uh -huh. but one there is just like maintenance. If we don't keep maintaining or reminding ourselves, Ebesi, look, travel on the Accra Kumasi Road, and you see the number of cars. I say, see one more, a dia, and I hear China, a dia landmarks. Actually, I say, car say see her. 
You see, we don't have a system, which a bit train free ho. So it's a system, na be boa. Car dia o de na ma unim time e to me say. You don't know where it will leave you, where it's going to stop, where it won't work again. So if we have that system, one it will help. Two, most of the road signs are not working. Car be a boom ama e di ani swanso ni tina chia. And so you say why a curve? And now the curve will be mistake boom unti no. Yem bet ni no bio. Do you get me? Hmm. A lot of potholes on our road and all that. Oh, yeah, can, yeah, can, 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 can. But the only thing that drivers can do is just to be extra careful. You have to be the next driver's keeper. I have something, I'm not perfect, but it has worked for me. When I'm driving, I, I look beyond the next driver I'm, I'm, I'm behind. I look beyond. Into the, the second? The second, or probably third. the fourth. Okay. Because I know there's a fourth no pot break here. Ebe did this waba. Obi ni mwondi o did yo o dine china and kasana. O sheno. Me me drive wama yache. Me shu about 500 meters ahead. Na me huse. Me su se mpese me ko speeder. Me fa afa he siye edruha. O te ase. Ye nina ye yebi. And yes, I will call Nana Fusa when Kwana bet me a sign on. I'll call an uncle bought a punchy breaker and I'll call any. Do you understand? Uh -huh. So I think we have to be the next driver's watchman. It helps. It helps. You can't be too careful. I mean, you can be careful at your end, but yes, from somebody still. too, hey. But I think they are careful now. Me, if it is a mini accident, no. May I sabi, sabi. In France, I'm quite speed, co, sebi. I can't quite speed. On that speed, now say, hey, hey, let's go, hey, hey, hey. Oh. From, from from here to Junction, now. As I would take up a pen. Uh huh. Once a while, yeah, any bad idea? Forgive me, but I think we should be careful. Yeah, any bad idea? Once a once a while, baby. Hey, I'm on my spirit, especially with the car, up a pen, more. Natural, so flexible, a crane in your baby. Yeah, baby. But I think I would say, yeah, careful. Na yeah 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 sure su ye. Na yeah yeah the next person's keeper. Okay. Your your final uh, message to drivers and by extension all Ghanaians uh, as far as road safety is concerned and to feed into Ghana Rep's uh, road safety campaign. Okay. Final message dear. It's very simple. A sign a waho it can happen to everybody. What happened to me was not planned. Actually, I can't plan it. Because, it is for life. I'm going to live with it for the rest of my life. And this is not what I want or I wanted. And, you know, I will pray to God, first of all, to protect all of us. Again, I will plead with authorities that there should be more campaign. We are all here to stand as an ambassador or if we have the support do you do you understand we we can't do it alone so we 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 need to let the campaign out the more we need to speak about it there should be everyday video about it you should have ambassadors to to to, to people who are ready to talk to who are ready to remind ourselves there should be videos there should be videos around everybody has a mobile phone and no one will be a sponsor. Now, a quick ping, not be good for So, whether you like it or not, you read it. That should be a way that road safety messages should go around like that. Again, our traffic lights, me, I'm, 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 I've had an experience with it. I don't know if it's the, 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 we should accept it like that in the night. Most of our traffic lights are on amber. It's like everybody can go. Yeah, I don't know. But please, if, if it could be changed, if, if, if you can go to the regular traffic light system, red, gold, green, that we all know. Yeah, it'd be more so on the only trim, all right, but don't wanna be very careful. So we should work on that. Again, if we can have a towing system that can help on our road too, it will help. Our road signs, most of them are the form, and I say, watch ya, and you come up. And I say, you're a you know, if you are a car, a bomb, 
and all that. Please, authorities, let's uh, help us. Help us help yourself. Make your job easier. Again, to drivers. In all this, the Akaka in the Chino, roadside, see one more and you're careful. Oh boy, also a sign a bit to me at all. In the end, you're careful. Your palm choke, Massey, a crowd road at the moor, caught, choke, I want in a faco. But overtaking rough, rough, and the yer cassaw of phone, so near a drive, near sending message near the adeno. Yen, you know, every day, ye yebi. We we should, we can't be hypocrite. Yen yina yebi. Inti ya pa yen yina yon chow yen jai. Yen yina yen jai. Na yen sreira de non boy yon man. Corona ba yen to me eh eh eh. Em fa a sign we in sam eke kan otwa. Hey, 35 people fear death. Hey, sabra fun mi sro pa. Inti mpa chow. Yen yina yen ye careful. Thank you very much for this opportunity, Ghana Web. Hi, my name is Nanama McBrown. I'm proud to be part of Ghana Web Road Safety Campaign. Please do the right thing. Save a life. Brim. Brim. Nanama, yeah. thanks a lot for your time here. You're Wait. So this has been Ghana Web Road Safety Campaign with the Empress, veteran actress Nanama McBrown. My name is Lord Harris Dwasari. Now, don't forget to send videos of um, some of the things that you may see as far as maintenance of the roads is concerned. Anything that you see about the road that you are not happy about, send it to our social media platforms. On Facebook is the Ghana Web. On YouTube is Ghana Web TV. Same as on Twitter, the Ghana Web. Do join us for our next one. and principalities. There's so much fire inside me. Tragedy struck when part of the largest hillside at the kosher rubbish dump collapsed. We table issues relating to the arts and entertainment for a riveting discussion, of course, without fear nor favor. The question the presenter asked them was a dumb question. You need to speak their part and move. Varied views. We agree to disagree. So I would disagree with everything you said. I think that he's a smart guy. I think what he no, did. But I, I, I haven't said he's a smart guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess yeah. that I'm waiting for the what next. Yeah, I don't think that I have, we have to wait for what next. It sometimes gets confrontational. But that's the beauty of the game. I don't It's a package. We meet, we sit, we dialogue, we learn, we progress. My name is Benefo Puabin Abrantepa, a proud blogger, and this is my forum.
day and welcome to BizTech on Ghana Web TV, where we bring you an exclusive package on business news that made headlines during the week and an insightful interview. My name is Na Oyo Kwoti. Now, when people talk about robotics, the first thing that comes to mind are moving objects. But did you know that static devices made of metals are also robots? On this episode, we speak to Chief Executive Officer of CalMax Robotics, and he's in the person of Frank Liman Khalid. His outfit trains children below 10 years to assemble and create their own robots. My colleague Ernestina Sewa Asante has the scoop. Stay tuned. I personally haven't witnessed anyone assemble robots before, and I know you watching this video haven't too. We are lucky to have a robotics trainer and a mobile app developer who is going to give us an insight into what goes into the creation of robots as well as the development of an app. Stay with us. Hello, Frank, and welcome to Hi. Bistec. Hello, how are you doing? I'm fine, yourself? I'm blessed by grace. Okay. You are into robotics. So yeah. in your view, what is a robot? Um, so basically, we teach our kids to... That's one of the first things we teach in our robotics club. A robot is an electronic device that is programmed to perform a specific task. So a robot can be in the form of a human. That's what we call the humanoid. It can be probably in the form of a car, like just this, this one. Oh. And it can even be a, a standing robot, something that doesn't really move, or an mobile robot, maybe like a traffic light or an electronic door system and all of those things, an alarm system. So all these things are robots. Okay, so normally when people talk about robots, mm. their mind goes to something that moves, something that does some movement of some sort. But you can have static devices as robots. The, the, the definition of the robot is any electronic device mm. that is programmed. So once people can program it to do a specific task, it qualifies to be a robot. Okay, I wouldn't want to go too much into the technicalities, but um, when something is programmable, it means you can give it a set of instructions to follow. Mm. That's true, the programming and the codes and all of that. So that is the, I think, the underlining definition of what a robot is. So it comes in different forms. Uh, you know what the, the banks use uh, when you open the door automatically opens. Mm -hmm. if in, even those uh, sanitizers where you pass your hand and then the automatic mm -hmm. sanitizers, they are all forms of robots. But it just depends on the level of development or the advancement of the robots. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what are the components of robots? Uh, so we have something that we call the microcontroller. If I, let me just show you this. Yeah. Okay. So when we talk of a robot, this is how we teach our students, the kids, three major parts of the robot. So we have the first part that is the microcontroller. It's more like the microchip, um, where the, it's like your brain, where the coding takes place, where the decisions are being made, calculations, like the way your brain thinks and reasons. That is the microcontroller. Then we have the second part that is called the sensor. So the sensor is like your eyes, your nose, your skin, those um, parts of your body that detects uh, maybe changes in the environment, changes in weather, if you're going to hit a wall. So that is what this device, so this is what you call an ultrasonic sensor that identifies an obstacle. So when this car is going to hit a wall, this, the, the eyes, quote and unquote, will be able to detect that obstacle okay. and change the robot's path. So these are the main parts, the most important parts in the robot. Okay. So humans have feelings. And you're saying the robots too can sense danger or anything. Do robots have feelings? <laughs> so it's, it's a very interesting question, but this is what I'll say. Robots have feelings to some sort, all right? I won't say feelings as in the kind of feelings human beings have, like in terms of emotions, but I'll say... Robots can detect some 
some changes in the environment. Like for example, we could have a robot in the room that maybe blows an alarm when a thief enters in. So the thief comes in to change the environment. Mm -hmm. Maybe a robot that maybe automatically turns the generator on when the light goes off. So the robot is able to sense when the power is off. Okay, maybe, so it depends. For example, this robot, for instance, okay. it has a sensor that detects a wall. Some of them can detect temperature. You get it. So, um, for example, you, you, as you sit here. Now, if the air condition goes off and the place is hot, you, your skin will begin to sweat, yeah. all right, because your skin has detected that the, the, the condition of the weather has changed or the temperature has changed. So your, your, your skin is responding to that change in temperature. That is what, so that feeling that your skin is experiencing is able to communicate to your body and sweat. You get it. Now, in a robot, we could have what you call a temperature sensor in the robot too. So the robot, to some extent, can also detect a change in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the temperature, just like the way your skin is able to ch detect. So to, to that kind of feelings, mm -hmm. the robot is able to detect. But for example, for something like love, uh, <laughs> sorrow, no, no, no. The robot hasn't gotten to that level yet. But we see them in the movies. Yes, yes, movies, more of fiction. It's more of fiction. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So how are robots created? Okay, so <laughs> very interesting question. I think you're asking me technical questions today. <laughs> so um, this, this, so I'll equate it to what we teach our kids. Okay. All right, so this was a toy car that um you know some of these kids that we teach they are maybe 10 years nine years eight years 11 years getting into teenage now they have all have toys at home and all of that now instead of throwing this toy away maybe making it e-waste and all of that we teach them to transform this toy into a robot mm -hmm. okay so that is how we start transforming toys to robots so what we did was that we just took the microcontroller or the microchip, we fixed it in, did a few connections, added a few sensors, and that was how we created our robot. Mm -hmm. So you can have robots created in different forms. You can have it assembled. You can have it created from something. So those are the different stages. That, and it depends on your level. And then we also have levels where they just assemble it. They just put it together. It's already done. So all they need to do is just put it together and then it starts working. So it really depends on where you are coming from and how advanced you are okay so i can see wires and other forms of things mm. does it mean you need maybe a mechanical engineering background to be able to um, develop or assemble a robot yes um not mechanical engineer per se we've had a couple of uh, interns from the university some of them have worked with us for a couple of years and all of that. So um, you need a background in at least engineering. Okay. It makes it easier. So, um, well, we have people from other backgrounds who just want to learn. It's also possible, but it's easier when you have probably a science background from SS mm -hmm. because some of these things like wires, resistors, all of those things have maybe some foundations in, in science, integrated science and all of that. So we use engineers, um, computer engineers especially, electric electronic engineers especially and then maybe a few other engineers who have some knowledge in microcontroller okay. technology and all of that how yeah. about coding okay so coding um for example when you have a robot mm. okay i don't know whether i can take this one yeah, you can. okay so this is a spider robot it's called a quadruped it has four legs it's used for surveillance purposes probably when you are in wildlife reserves they put a camera on it and it's able to navigate. So, for example, something like this is a robot. Mm -hmm. Now, there are two aspects of the robot. There is the coding aspect like you're talking about, and then there is the hardware part, mm -hmm. software and hardware. So, the hardware part is the engineering, the connection of the wires, the voltage. You know, when you came, you saw me do some connections on these things. Mm -hmm. If you don't have any knowledge in it, you could bend something out mm -hmm. or destroy something. Yeah, so that's the hard, that's the difference between robotics and then maybe coding. Mm -hmm. Maybe when we get to the mobile app development, I'll talk about it. Then the coding is after you've built a robot, you need a software or a code that can run. That will let a robot know how it's supposed to operate. That, that's what you call the programming. That is the coding aspect of the robot. So one needs the other to work, you know. But for example, when you think of an app, an app is just coding. 
it's just good it doesn't really need any hardware but robotics usually does okay yeah. so something of the human form of robots okay. sometimes you ask them questions and then they are able to answer how is this done how does it come to life okay a uh, very good question um maybe you know so we have something we call speech recognition um i don't know whether you've used it in siri, siri. or google and all of that mm -hmm. that is the foundation of of all of these things i, I remember when i was in the university I, almost like a lot of years ago you know that was a project we worked on that that was actually what ushered us uh, ushered me into robotics training kids in robotics so we built a car something like this mm -hmm. that responds to human voices wow. like so just about five or six signals you move and then the car goes reverse it reverses turn right it turns right turn left it turns left and then rotate. i think rotate at that time so we used what you call speech recognition where like for you say you say hello google open opera mm -hmm. or open mozilla firefox or something that word is transformed i won't go into the technicalities of it but it's transferred into it is transformed into a signal and then you use that in programming so all of those things are possible they are not difficult Okay. So you can make a robot to recognize your speech. Oh, okay. it's, 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 not, it's not so difficult. It, then it used to be very difficult, but now it's not so abstract. Mm -hmm. There is a technology or there, uh, there is a code to handle all of those things. So all you have mm -hmm. to do is just take it and then work it. So it's possible. It's a very possible project. Okay. So some robots make use of artificial intelligence. Yeah. Is there a difference between artificial intelligence and robots or... Yeah, so um, another good question again. I don't know, today you're asking me so many good questions. <laughs> and so um, this, for example, mm. uh, people normally think AI, artificial intelligence, is something really complex. It's just artificial intelligence. You see, artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. how robots can be in a way intelligent. Mm. For example, this could have just been a car, just a toy car. So if we put on a toy car, it just runs. If it goes into a wall, it hits the wall and that's it. But when we say intelligence, then that robot should have some form of intelligence. For example, you like this. If you're going to hit a wall and you see, you turn your, your you won't go. If there's a, there's a ditch somewhere, you won't just fall into it. Yeah. So that component or that, that intelligence is what, that at, we put the artificial type of it in a machine. So a machine is not just a machine. It's able to sense things. So the, the way this robot is able to detect this sensor, ultrasonic sensor, is able to detect an obstacle and change its path and move in another direction. That's what makes it AI. Mm. AI can come in different forms, okay? But it just makes the robot in a way reason, not just a machine, but it reasons and knows that mm, there, is a, there is a ditch here, there is fire here, there is this here. Those are the kind of sensors that are used. That's what AI is about. And they are all programmed by humans. Yes, they are all programmed by humans. Okay. So do you share in the assertion that in few years to come, um, robots, first it was AI will take over the world, mm -hmm. um, activities of humans. Mm -hmm. You being into robotics, do you also think very soon robots will take over the works of humans? Okay, I think it started. This is one of the things we tell a lot of the parents who enroll their awards in the robotics program. That you see, uh, your 10 years from now, 15 years from now, all right, what future are you creating for your kids? Mm -hmm. if, 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 you are, if you want to just be a doctor, you can't just be a doctor anymore. A doctor that uses technology. If you are into banking, you can't just be a banker anymore. Now we have ATM machines that accept cash. How did this happen? You know, 10 years of 20 years ago, I don't think you could, there was even internet banking. Yeah. Now you get it. So now many banks are employing very less number of staff, less mm -hmm. number of staff and tell us. Every business is trying to minimize costs. So if they can find a technology that can replace you, I, it's, it's possible that. So I feel it started. Mm -hmm. It just maybe it's not really mainstream like that. Security men, now we have automatic doors. That when you're coming in, it automatically opens and closes. You get it. So now the security man at the bank doesn't have to open the door for you again. Mm -hmm. There's a machine that can do that in many of the supermarkets. So it is, the world is getting there. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the world is really getting there. So I feel um, these are things that 
a lot of parents should start looking into the future and investing in their children in STEM education. I'm trying to picture how robots will take over the educational sector. How is that possible? Okay, so we could have um, e-learning platforms. Um, now, uh, you have maybe things like Khan Academy. Yes, you have instructors and all of those things, but it, it could get to a time where a machine, maybe not the, the typical classroom you're looking at. Now, you know e-learning is a thing now. Yes. Yeah, so it could be a robot or a machine behind the scenes that is doing the instruction if it's coding. Robots could be doing training, maybe not 100%, but to some point. Okay, to some point, the students take an exam. Teachers don't need to mark papers anymore. The thing automatically calculates their scores and results and all of those things. Mm -hmm. So it's not just maybe a robot like this, but we are looking at a whole system of technology, whether it is software, hardware, robots, mm -hmm. web, is taking over a lot of things. So uh, if you want to be an architect, you have to have a background in technology coding of some sort if you want to be a mechanical engineering you need to have a background of stem so now it's not like um stem is uh, something for only those who like science it's like math everybody needs to know it All right. the conversation is getting very interesting but we are taking a breather don't go away and principalities. There's so much fire! Fighting. Tragedy struck when the heat on the largest hillside at the kosher rubbish dump collapsed. Come back from the break i told you earlier that frank is also a mobile app developer so we'll be delving deeper into that now tell us how do you create a mobile app okay so um initially the mobile app development was not part of the the whole service we ran when the COVID era came in okay. then the opportunity came out and as a business we also took advantage of that um so we use a very simple platform. Um, the mobile app development is for our students. We use what we call the AI MIT App Inventor, a really wonderful platform uh, that's really simple and comprehensive platform by Google. That is a block, what they call block programming. So that's what we take. And that is online, it's strictly online. So that's how we also interact with our kids and all of that, building apps on iOS and Android and several amazing apps um, by, built by the kids. Okay. Yeah. What are some of the apps they've built so far? Okay, so just yesterday we built a GPS tracker app. So that an app that helps you track your position. For you government can, or? Oh, no, 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 for, for <laughs> just, 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 just yeah, need. just the kids, you okay. know. We create login screens, calculator apps, um, handwriting apps, um, you know, where you have a whiteboard, you know, on your phone. You, you can just use your yeah. thing, yeah, just scribble and all of that. Several amazing apps that the kids have been building. Um, I'm sure I'll even share some of them with you as you mm. see. Yeah, so, so many amazing apps, okay. both education-wise and, you know, just in their normal life. Okay, so how do you track the progress of your students? Yeah, that's also good. We give them projects. Um, we give them projects um, at the end of every class and at the end of every month, major projects. So then we're able to know based upon, it's mostly practical, uh, unlike the regular school training and all of that. So that is where we're able to get a lot of the kids getting interested in it. So yeah, we give them projects and based on the abilities to submit the project, we, we use that to track and monitor how their performances are and how they are getting the whole coding experience. Okay. Yeah. So for someone like me who don't have any knowledge in it, and I want to build maybe a fashion yeah. app, how do I go about it? 
Okay, so you come and you, you enroll in the robot in the mobile app development class. That's <laughs> okay. the first thing. But it's very easy. Um, in just two settings, you build in the first setting. Okay, in the second setting, you build your first app. It's so easy. It's different from the you know the more technical ones that the other programmers use and all of that. It is something very virtual. So you will see what you're doing. If it's a button, you drag it here. If it's a fashion app, pictures, you see everything just in real time. You know, very little code. You don't need coding. It's just what they call block programming. Just fitting in some puzzles. That is how the coding works. And then the real designer is like you're designing, uh, maybe painting something. That's, that's how it works. Okay. Yeah. So in the first sitting, what do I learn? So the first thing we just introduce you to the whole environment how mm -hmm. the software the platform uh, it, it's a really awesome and i think it was made for beginners people who have difficulties learning programming and it's able to do so many things really like it, it's, it's a very good platform so um the, we just introduce you to the whole experience and then the second you create your first app you run it on your phone and that's how it keeps going you keep adding to what you already know keep adding to what you already know and in less than six weeks, you should be a very good programmer. Okay. So when I enroll onto your school or your platform, how much do I pay? Okay, now you have to see me after. <laughs> to okay, me. if not for me, our viewers. Okay, so, oh. <laughs> so for anyone who wants to enroll the award, um, first of all, you just need to visit, just go to Google and type CalMax Robotics. Uh, CalMax Robotics. Um, just go to Google. The first link. So K H A L M A X then robotics K H A L M A X then robotics the first link you go in there it will ask you to enroll okay mm -hmm. it is three hundred CDs a term cool three hundred CDs a term oh, okay. okay so it's it's we do it online okay we meet between twice to thrice a week and then is usually after school hours mm -hmm. so all that we need from the the parents or the students is there like the parents permission to join or the parents approval and then we need a gmail account all the kid needs is a computer a very good internet connection and maybe a mobile phone or a tablet so that when he builds the app he can test it on his phone and see how it works okay. that's all is but it restricted to just children how about grown-ups yeah so you want to join right yeah, yeah so <laughs> for, for something like that for something like that we can create but you just that maybe your class will be different from the kids we, we normally categorize them in age groups based upon their level of experience so mm -hmm. yeah it's all possible it's yeah, all possible that would that would affect the pricing no the pricing is constant oh okay yeah so 300 cds at time i don't think it's, it's it's very cool you know yeah. yeah okay your advice to people who think we are still going to be the same forever and are not taking advantage of technology what do you have to tell them so i just have very little to tell them but a typical scenario is COVID, mm -hmm. you know. Um, people used to look down e-learning until COVID hits. And if you are a school, I heard so many schools close down, yeah. so many schools close down, not just go on, on hiatus, but they close down because they were resistant to, you know, before I used to sell software to schools, a lot of them were frowning on it and all of that. But when COVID hit, it made people understand that you have to go digital now okay and if you don't innovate you die we don't know when the next disruption is going to come so you have to be prepared and technology is the only way that can pr protect you from some of these things if you are going virtual a lot of people lost their jobs and all of that for example when i was doing robotics in the schools we are using physical training and all of that when COVID hit we didn't know what like you know on the on the onset we didn't know the lockdown came then the idea came why don't we move digital, virtual, e-learning. If not, I would have also been out of business. You get it. So if you don't embrace certain changes that are coming, a time will come, you'll be out of the system. That's why you have a saying, you either innovate or you die. You die out in business. So that is my, my, my advice to institutions, companies, and all of that, that don't want to go to jail. You, you can't survive for long in the system. You've heard it all from Frank, and as he said, it's either you innovate or you die out of business. So upgrade yourself with the advent of technology and personally grow yourself and your business. This has been the edition of BizTech on Ghana Web TV. My name is Ernestina Sewa Asante.
Amazing stuff right there by Carl Max Robotics. But our friend Jefferson Seneyaja is on standby to help us with some helpful internet tools. <laughs> Hello there. My name is Jefferson Senior from After Music. This week on Tech Bits, I want us to talk about remote working tools. These are tools that help us to connect to another computer without the main computer being on the same network. Now, I'm going to numb it down so that you don't uh, run away. Remote working tools are good because it helps us connect to another computer. Now, you can have a friend or a relative that can call you and tell you, look, I'm having a problem with my computer, but I don't know how to do this, or hey, I'm trying to fix this spreadsheet, I don't know how to do it now. You can easily do a video call and you can easily look at the person's uh, screen with a video call, but there's an easier way of working that way. Uh, you can actually remote into the person's laptop, that's the word, remote into the person's laptop, whilst sitting right in your home and actually still on from your laptop and they are great tools which has been around for years now and we're going to go through this series of remote working tools that will help us actually still function and still get to uh, help each other out uh, throughout the years so let's get to it so the remote tool for this week is called team viewer team viewer is an industry standard software that has been there and it's used professionally uh, for some time now. The spelling is T U. That's T E A M V I E W E R. It's very very simple. Team viewer. Uh, it's it's for remote access and remote desktop uh, uh, connection. So we just go to the website. That's teamviewer.com. Is the first thing that pops up. Remote access and support. Now a lot of you, uh, 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 those that are new to this software, um, might get all confused. Don't worry. There's a home version. There is one that can be used for free. You don't necessarily have to buy the, the full version of it. Uh, you, and it's available for private for free for non-commercial use. For those that check it out and actually want to use it for companies, it's available for, for uh, uh, a whole set of subscription packages that you can, you can uh, uh, pass on to. But since this is for remote work for, for home, you can just go and click on the download button and it will uh, uh, give you the options whether you want to download the free trial or the pilot trial and there you get a pop-up to download it once you download it it's a new tool I already have team viewer in my uh, account so what I'll just do is I'll just bring it up team viewer and that and how it works is very simple your partner also gets the same software so your partner has a copy of it you also have a copy of it every computer who, that has a team viewer has a unique ID number and a password so once you are connecting to someone's computer, you ask for the person's ID number and you click on connect and you ask for the person's password and they, they connect. Once you click on the connect, it connects directly into the person's laptop. And that way you can be able to help the person out or even see what the person is seeing. The security behind this is very, very uh, um, secure. There's so many aspects and so many tools. You can set up meetings, presentations, you can set up that it's almost uh, an alternative to zoom except the video calling aspect but it's a great tool for uh, remote access and remote control of, 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 of desktops and i recommend everyone to check it out that's team viewer that's t-e-a-m-v-i-e-w-e-r so that's it for this week next week we're going to learn more about remote working tools and see how effective they could be i'll see you again next time bye for now it's now time for the business headlines and our stories are going to begin with the 2021 budget which was read some hours ago and our first story is on the total crude oil production and according to Osei Chairman Sabonsu, majority leader in parliament has said that Total crude oil production for the 2020 fiscal year was 66.9 million barrels as compared to 71.4 million barrels of production in 2019. He said the National Petroleum Corporation was able to transport over 88.4 standard cubic feet of gas to the Ghana National Gas Company, GNPC. 
He said this while presenting he said this while presenting the 2021 budget statement in Parliament. It's not coming. Still on the 2021 budget, Minister of Minister of Parliamentary Affairs and Caretaker Minister for Finance, Osei Chairman Sabonsu, has said that the government's coronavirus alleviation and revitalization of enterprise support initiative is a singular and remarkable financial investment in the Ghanaian economy by a certain government. Presenting the 2021 budget statement and economic policy on the floor of parliament on Friday, March 12, 2021, Mr. Oche. Osei Chain Mensa Bonsu, who is also MP for the Swami constituency, said the Obatampa program in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic is meant to cushion Ghanaians and businesses against the adverse economic effects of the virus. He said the 100 billion investment into the Ghanaian economy is meant to revitalize the economy that has been undone by the global pandemic and put it back to pre COVID 19 levels. President Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado has disclosed that government plans to retable before parliament the Ejapa royalties transaction. The controversial gold royalty deal was put on suspension after civil society organizations, members of parliament, and a section of the public rejected it, saying it was not going to serve the best interest of the country. But President Ekufuado, delivering his State of the Nation address on Tuesday, March 9th, told Parliament his government intends to further engage lawmakers on the future of the transaction. Mr. Speaker, let me at this point assure the House that in the course of this session of Parliament, the government will come back to engage the House on the steps it intends to take on the future of the Ejapa transaction. On GDP, Ghana's debt will hit approximately 75% of gross domestic product. Total value of goods and services produced in an economy within a period from 2024. International Ratings Agency Fitch has said in its latest report on energy sector debt, a risk to Ghanaians' post-pandemic debt trajectory. According to Accordingly, the debts will continue to rise in 2021 and 2022 due to high COVID pandemic-related spending and the realization of energy sector liabilities. Fitch affirmed Ghana's sovereign ratings in October 2020 on an expectation of a gradual recovery, both in economic performance and fiscal revenue following the pandemic shock, the availability of external and domestic financing sources, and the eventual stabilization of debt. The report said, however, Ghana's public finances are complicated by a history of domestic arrears and by contingent liabilities that will continue to add to its public debt stock. Now an update on the coronavirus pandemic. President Nana Adudankwa and Kufado on Tuesday said the country lost more than 13.5 billion Ghana cities in revenue in 2020 because of the economic shocks induced by the coronavirus pandemic. In his State of the Nation address to the Parliament, the President said with additional expenditures related to stemming the tide of COVID-19, estimated at 11.8 billion Ghana cities, the combined effects of the com of the pandemic, I beg your pardon, amounted to 25.3 billion Ghana cities, which makes 66%, 6.6% of gross domestic product. Indeed, the cost of COVID-19 has been enormous. Our overall economic growth rate for 2020 
was reviewed downwards from 6.8% to 0.9%. The non-oil economy was also revised from 6.7% to 1.6%. Revenue shortfall was estimated at 13.5 billion CDs, with additional expenditures related to stemming the tide of COVID-19 estimated at 11.8 billion CDs, with a combined effect amounting to 25.3 billion CDs, or 6.6% of GDP. The resultant fiscal deficit for 2020 was thus revised from 4.7% of GDP to 11.4% of GDP. This was done to reflect the impact of the pandemic. The Institute of Energy Security, IES, I think a think tank has blamed the recent power outages on poor maintenance and upgrade of the transmission system owing to Ghana grid company's illiquidity, which continues to render the grid weak and unable to withstand shocks. The poor maintenance regime due to the liquidity challenge of the operator is evident in the increasing levels of transmission losses in recent times. The IES therefore called on governments to work to address the cash flow challenges of Gridco. The electricity electricity company of Ghana and other sectorial utilities to enable them carry out effective operations and maintenance to forestall the persistent system failures that continue to undermine power service delivery. <laughs> That's it for this week's edition of Bistec on Ghana Web TV. We are glad you could join on this program. But visit www.ghanaweb.com for more news stories. Visit our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We are at the Ghana Web TV. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ghana Web TV. My name is Na Oyokoti. Have a splendid weekend. Before you walk, I said, You know, young church, a sad day we see where you are solid them. In the solid baby, but not solid them on my bomb pie, you fast enough when your solution to be solved. Bear my, it be a winner, Sir Felix, no treaty, you are in a court, but the penance, you know, and to me, and yet large it is any net here. I bear your kitty, kitty, kitty. We.
Mr. Speaker, Speaker, I come before you today to move a motion for the approval of the budget statement and economic policy of the government of Ghana for the year ending 31st December 2021. Right now, Lord Speaker. Let me, at the very outset, express my profound gratitude to the President for the trust and confidence reposed in me in designating me as the Minister with temporary responsibility for the Minister of Finance. In these past five days, I have received massive cooperation and Indeed, guidance from His Excellency, the Vice President, the Head of the Economic Management Team, Mr. Charles Adubuahing, the President's Representative at the Ministry of Finance, and the Minister Designate for Finance, Mr. Ken Furiata, from far away, United States of America, the Technical Team at the Ministry of Finance. May I also thank my colleague ministers and members of parliament for the expression of good wishes and support. Let me also speak uh, on this momentous occasion, wish the First Lady of the Republic her PS birthday for attaining the biblical optimum age of three scores and ten. Today, Friday, the 12th of March. Speaker, to Mrs. Irene Chemin Sabonsu. Yeah. Let me just say, what can I do without you? Yeah. The speaker. Colleagues, Hon I, I want to believe. Hon Honorable Minister, is it an invitation for her to come and stand by you? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, you know that she is a stranger in this house, and our rules will not permit her to stand by me. Otherwise, I know I will have the permission of the minority leader, in whom I'm sometimes well pleased. <laughs> to be by my side. The speaker I was saying that I want to believe that the fact of the majority leader in the government business, one of our own, presenting the budget statement in this house should provide sufficient mitigation to subdue the flame of heckling from the professional hecklers. <laughs> from the professional hecklers. That's because they know themselves. <laughs> and I know one is pointing at me now. <laughs> right, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members of Parliament, on the authority of His Excellency, the President, Nanado Dankwe Kufuado, I beg to move that this Honorable House approves the financial policy of Government of Ghana for the year ending 31st December 2021. On the authority of His Excellency the President, and in accordance with Articles 179 and 180 of the 1992 Republican Constitution, permit me to present to this guest house the budget of the President of the Republic of Ghana. Speaker, this statement is an abridged version of the 2021 budget statement, and I would like to request the Hazard Department to deem the entirety of the budget statement and economic policy as having been read and captured same in the hands out of today, 
Friday, the 12th of March, 2021, upon my completion of the submission. The speaker also submitted to this August House the following statutory reports. The 2020 Annual Report on the Petroleum Funds, in accordance with Section 48 of the Petroleum Revenue Management Act, 2011 Act 815 as amended, the 2020 report on the utilization of the African Union levies, and third, the 2020 annual debt report in accordance with Section 72 of the Public Financial Management Act 2016 Act 921. Mr. Speaker, on 28th of October 2020, and in accordance with Article 180 of the 1992 Constitution, Government laid the expenditure in advance of appropriation in this house. I wish to report that the subsequent approval of those estimates by this August House has made it possible for government business and public services delivery to continue uninterrupted in the first quarter of 2021. The speaker, just three days ago, on 9th of March 2021, His Excellency the President of the Republic, Nanadu Dankwa Ekufuadu, presented the first message on the state of the nation of his second term. In that address, he clearly stated that even though, like other countries around the world, we've had to go through the worst possible pandemic of our lifetime, the nation is in relative good state, thanks to the grace of God and to the swift, decisive, responsible, and necessary actions taken by government to contain the virus, support families, and sustain the economy. Today, Mr. Speaker, I stand here on behalf of the President to present to you and the House the state of the economy, how we have managed to mitigate and survive the pandemic, and echo out a projected positive growth rate of 0.9% in 2020, contrary to the initial fears of a negative growth rate as experienced in many countries. I will also present to you deliberate and well thought out strategies that will hasten our recovery and place us on a confident path of sustained economic transformation. Mr. Speaker, the year 2020 was a difficult period for Ghana and the rest of the world. Never before in recent history has a pandemic triggered such dramatic changes to lives and livelihoods simultaneously. The last of such pandemic of global impact was the Spanish flu in 1918, over 100 years ago. The ensuing crisis has disrupted supply chains and exerted undue pressure on economic and financial systems, killed businesses and jobs. Developing and emerging economies, including Ghana, have had to deal with external headwinds, falling commodity prices, and rising expenditures to address the effects of the pandemic. The International Monetary Fund has estimated that the global economy contracted by 3.5%, while global trade also contracted by 9.6%. The COVID-19 pandemic has upended the economies of over 150 countries and is the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression in the 1930s. The speaker, for the first time in our 64 years of nationhood, the government has had to tackle an unforgiving simultaneous health and economic crisis. The outbreak and the ensuing partial lockdown to contain the spread of the virus and protect lives and livelihoods brought socio-economic activities to a visual standstill, with the resultant loss of jobs, incomes, collapse of businesses, and loss of government revenues. The speaker, from the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020, His Excellency the President laid out five key objectives government sought to achieve. One, limit and stop the importation of the virus, Two, contain its spread. Three, provide adequate care for the sick. Four, limit the impact of virus on social and economic life. And five, inspire the expansion of our domestic capability and deepening our self-reliance. 
the President made it an utmost priority to protect Ghanaian lives and above, above all else. This is captured in his now world famous quotation, and I quote, we know what to do to bring our economy back to life. What we do not know how to do is to bring people back to life, unquote. Under his leadership, the country took the quite swift, drastic, and decisive measures to mitigate the spread of the pandemic. We rapidly mobilized and deployed extensive internal and external resources to support Ghanaian households and enterprises. The speaker at this juncture permit me to acknowledge the support of our development partners, namely the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, the African Development Bank, the European Union, and other bilateral partners who made available significant resources to complement our efforts. Mr. Speaker, the drastic slowdown in economic activity led to a huge drop in domestic revenues, combined with sharp and unplanned hike in COVID-related expenditures. In some, this unprecedented crisis led to one, a sudden shortfall in government revenues amounting to 13.6 billion Ghana cities, and two, an unexpected and unavoidable rise in expenditures of 11.7 billion Ghana cities. The Speaker, through government's emergency preparedness and response plan, ERP 1 and 2, as well as the Coronavirus Alleviation Program, CAP, we undertook the following measures. One, provided financial clearance to employ additional 24,285 health professionals between March and June to help fight the pandemic. Two, expanded the capacities of laboratories to increase COVID-19 testing and established isolation centers in all regions and districts. We provided 3.6 million reusable face masks, 50,000 medical scraps, 90,000 hospital gowns and head covers to health facilities as of June 2020. It provided 50% of basic salary as allowances for frontline health workers, we waived income tax for all healthcare workers, we waived income tax on 50% additional allowances paid to frontline health workers, we absorbed the transport costs and cost of sustenance for, contra for contact tracers and field surveillance offices. Fully recovered water consumption for all Ghanaians from April to December 2020. And fully covered the power consumption of over one million lifeline customers and subsidized the consumption of all other customers by 50%. We rolled out the 750 million Ghana City Cups and Buzz programs in May 2020 to directly support micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises. We established a $2 billion guarantee facility to support all large enterprises and for job retention. 12, a $100 million Ghana City Fund for labor and faith-based organizations for training and skills development. An unemployment insurance scheme to provide temporary income support to workers who were laid off due to the pandemic. 14, we transferred over 50 million to 400,000 most vulnerable individuals under the LEAP program. Provided cooked meals to 2.744723 vulnerable persons and worked with faith-based organizations to distribute dry food packages to 470,000 families. We provided hot meals for 584,000 final year junior high school students and 146,000 staff of public and private schools from August 24th to September 18, 2020, as they wrote their final examinations. We supplied 5.2 million reusable face masks, 64,000 Veronica buckets, 8,100 thermometer guns, and in excess of 1.5 million pieces of 200 ml of hand sanitizers, as well as over 126,000 gallons of soap to enable schools reopen. We paid 
WASI examination, examination fees amounting to 75.4 million for 314,030 senior high school students reduced the communication service from 9% to 10% to support students and workers who have adopted online platforms to study and work. We standard due dates for failing filing of taxes from four to six months after the end of the financial year. We permitted the deduction of contributions and donations towards the pandemic as allowable expenses for income tax purposes. We waived VAT, NHIL, and get fund levy on donations of stock of equipment and goods for fighting the pandemic. We waived income taxes on third tier pension withdrawal he fumigated schools, hospitals, markets, and lorry parks. We took vigorous public sensitization and engagement to exercise an engagement exercise to inform and educate Ghanaians on the pandemic. And 26, we paid all public sector salaries in full. With revenue slumping and COVID-related expenditures rising, the Akufuado government was tested beyond measure. We believe it is fair to say that we rose to this extraordinary challenge. Indeed, despite the squeeze, government succeeded in protecting visually all jobs and incomes in public sector. What the people of Ghana have witnessed since the coronavirus pandemic and to the admiration of the rest of the world is a leadership of conviction that is responsible, creative, courageous, decisive, and above all, very caring. Mr. Speaker, through our decisive policy response, we have managed to achieve major results that have made it easier for the people to cope with this unprecedented crisis. For example, our response through CAP has been vital in preventing social dislocations, deeper economic scarring, and damage to our economic prospects. These additional government expenditures in the face of declining revenues were necessary to save lives, protect livelihoods, and safeguard economic activities. Mr. Speaker, today, Ghana is better positioned to recover and rebuild an even more resilient economy, not only because we know how to do it, but also because the grace of God has been assured for this journey. Mr. Speaker, in the three years prior to the pandemic, as a government, we had a plan. We stayed focused, kept our discipline, kept our promises, and worked with integrity, creativity, and compassion. As a result, the economy saw a turnaround and economic growth rate doubled, rebounding strongly from 3.4% in 2016 to average 7% annually. The speaker, the banking sector cleanup had been completed. Businesses were doing well and creating jobs. Food production was enjoying a bumper harvest, and suddenly Ghana had become a major tourist attraction. We were indeed on a path of fiscal consolidation by 2019 and poised for economic transformation. Then out of nowhere, Mr. Speaker, the COVID-19 global pandemic hit us. Mr. Speaker, the history of Ghanaians is a story of resilience, faith in God and ingenuity when faced with adversities and uncertainties. And so we proceeded from 2017 with discipline, hard work, and cooperation to get Ghana back to work. We took a, severe, we took a severely challenged economy and restored its competitiveness within three years. In four years, against significant opposition, we took a bold step that afforded 1.2 million Ghanaians the opportunity to attain a better and quality secondary school education. We took a, final, a financial sector on the brink of collapse and four years clean it to build an even stronger financial ecosystem that is well capitalized, liquid, and solvent to fund our progress. In four years, we secured a central place in African integration at one debate to host the Secretariat of the African Continental Free Trade Area. 
And within the last four years, Mr. Speaker, our aggressive industrialization and regional integration agenda successfully attracted and retained the highest foreign direct investment in West Africa, including having global automobile giants setting up base here. Today, world-class vehicles assembled right here in Ghana are selling on our market and plying our routes. The message to other global manufacturing manufacturers is this. From 2021, an integrated Africa is open for business. And Ghana is ready to welcome you to set up here to take advantage of the biggest free trade area in the world. Mr. Speaker, we have come far from 2020. However, we are not fully out of the woods yet. As such, fiscal consolidation has to be carefully balanced with the provision of some targeted fiscal stimuli to cushion the impact of COVID-19 on businesses and to facilitate a quick and strong recovery of our economy, which we aim to achieve through Ghana's Ghana Cares or Batampa program. Mr. Speaker, it is clear that expenditure on health infrastructure and health-related items such as vaccines, hospital supplies, and PPEs would become a routine. However, we'll take measures to ensure that these additional critical expenditures do not undermine our fiscal consolidation and debt sustainability. Government will pursue revenue-enhancing measures with a focus on deepening our digitization agenda, both on transactions of goods and services, as well as on the tax collection systems to broaden the tax base and rope in more eligible taxpayers. Expenditures will be rationalized through the implementation of tighter expenditure control systems with a more efficient procurement system to ensure value for money. We will also pursue structural reforms in public financial management system to improve efficiency in public service delivery. Mr. Speaker, we believe that the achievements in the three years prior to the COVID-19 outbreak, as well as the intermediate outcomes of the EPRP and CAP, are the foundations from which we will collectively adapt to the changes caused by this pandemic and, quote, build back better and greener, unquote. Speaker, the seminal breakthroughs in vaccine development gives hope that economies can reopen more quickly than anticipated. However, logistical challenges in access and administration of vaccines and the continued mutation and emergence of more infectious variants of the virus may further delay the resumption of full economic activities around the world. Mr. Speaker, in line with the President's determination to protect the lives of Ghanaians, we have prioritized the vaccination program against COVID-19. Through the bold leadership and adept diplomacy of His Excellency the President, Ghana became the first country in the world to receive its first batch of vaccines of the 600,000 doses through the COVAX initiative on Wednesday, the 24th February 2021. We are also working assiduously to secure vaccine for 20 million Ghanaians to enable us attain herd immunity by the end of this year. Once again, Ghana has stepped up in front. Thanks to His Excellency the President's leadership, we are championing African excellence to become the vanguard against COVID-19 on this continent. Uh, until we achieve herd immunity, we cannot let our guard down if we are to contain the spread of this virus. We must all commit to taking the vaccines in addition to adhering to the COVID-19 protocols that have been instituted for our safety and gradual return to full economic activities, recovering for sustained transformation. Mr. Speaker, in addition to continuing our priority programs, we will implement additional initiatives to drive recovery. These include one, Scale up the vaccination of Ghanaians to enable us to attain herd immunity by, in Ghana by the end 2021. Continue the implementation of Agenda 111 to provide hospitals and related infrastructure nationwide to improve the delivery of health care. Three, intensify efforts to improve public sanitation. Four, support 
to those who have lost their jobs due to COVID-19 to find other gainful employment opportunities. Five, deploying resources for our security agencies to maintain peace and security. Complete many of our ongoing infrastructure projects within our resource envelope, reflecting the theme of the budget. The implementation of the Ghana Cares program to revitalize the economy and create employment and eight, continue the implementation of our flagship programs, including planning for food and jobs, the free senior high school, and the one district, one factory agenda, plus the one village, one dam agenda. Mr. Speaker, the last four years let no Ghanaian in doubt that ours is a government that cares. We care about the welfare of the people. We care about the need for business to create wealth. The next four years will see a more clinical structural focus on President Akufo's transformation agenda as we build with deliberate rapidity on the gains so far made. In this regard, pursuing the 100 billion Ghana City Ghana Cares or Batampa program, which by far is the boldest and biggest economic recovery program in the country's history, will enable us to turn the challenges created by COVID-19 into opportunities for socio-economic transformation. This program will foster closer collaboration with the Ghanaian private sector, labor, the people, our development partners, and foreign investors. The Obatampa program is inspired by His Excellency the President's conviction that, and I quote, what our forebears dreamed of, we will achieve. If we inherited dreams and visions from our founding fathers, we should leave legacies of achievements and realities to our children and their children, unquote. Mr. Speaker, through Ghana Cares, we will, one, expedite government's digitalization agenda to achieve greater efficiency and effectiveness in public service delivery. We will revitalize the housing and construction industry to address the severe housing deficit and create job opportunities, and establish Ghana as a regional hub, leveraging its position within ECOWAS and as host of the Secretariat of the African Continental Free Trade Area to focus on manufacturing, financial services, education, healthcare, aviation and logistics, digital services, petroleum, automobile, tourism, hospitality, and creative arts. We support the private sector and entrepreneurs to become a powerful engine for job creation. Actively promote both local and international investments, including the use of PPPs, and upgrade the skill of our workers through re retraining programs focusing on technical and vocational skills. The speaker, the implementation agreements for the Ghana Cares programs are in place. Clear budgets have been set and milestones developed. We will establish delivery units in the relevant MDAs and partner with the private sector, academia, and other practitioners to facilitate and monitor implementation. There will also be regular institutional arrangements to ensure we achieve synergies and track results on a timely basis. The speaker, the theme for the 20 21 budget is completion, consolidation, and continuation. This theme is underpinned by the fact that over the years, every new budget invariably contains a host of new projects to be initiated at the expense of ongoing projects. Not only does this put pressure on our finances, but also has historically resulted in arrears, with many contractors not being paid on time for work done, and thereby escalating the overall cost of these projects. The Speaker, government has therefore decided to chart a new direction from 2021. A major concern of all Ghanaians across the political divide is the usually wasteful specter of uncompleted public projects scattered across the country. This must stop. 
governments owe the people a duty to use limited public funds responsibly. Our goal is to bring to an end the culture of unfinished projects. The main focus of government for this year, therefore, is the fulfillment of existing commitment and the completion to the largest extent possible of existing projects. The delivery tracker, which government launched last year to track progress of infrastructure projects, showed over 8,700 ongoing projects across all sectors at the end of 2020. And that is why the president has tasked his ministers and heads of all other relevant institutions to focus the infrastructural energies of government mainly on continuing and, if possible, completing existing projects in 2021. The era of abandoning viable projects started with public funds must end. And this time we believe, and the time we believe, is now. Mr. Speaker, I now proceed to give highlights of the budget. Global economic developments and outlook. Growth. Speaker, data from the IMF's January 2021 World Economic Outlook update indicates that the global economy is projected to grow at 5.5% in 2021, up from the estimated contraction of 3.5% in 2020. The 2021 growth estimates reflects an expected positive turnaround on account of COVID-19 vaccine-powered economic activity and strong policy response in advanced countries. Speaker, despite expectations for global economic recovery between 2021 and 2022, output gaps are not expected to close until after 2022. Consistent with this expectation, inflation is projected to remain subdued during the 2021-2022 years. For advanced economies, inflation is projected to increase from a low of 0.7% in 2020 to 1.3% in 2021 and further to 1.5% in 2022 in consonance with increasing prices of medical supplies and those other commodities. Mr. Speaker, data from the January 2021 edition of the International Monetary Fund World Economic Outlook projects project Brent crude oil prices to average 50.03 United States dollars for 2021 and 48.82 United States dollars for 2022. Gold, as a safe haven, benefited immensely from the pandemic in 2020. This was sustained by continued monetary easing by major central banks. However, in 2021, gold prices are expected to reduce to an average of 1,740. United States dollars per troy ounce from an average of 1,793 United States dollars per troy ounce recorded in 2020. World market cocoa price averaged 2,369.85 United States dollars per metric ton in 2020 compared with 2,340.74 metric tons in 2019. Cocoa price is expected to gain a 1.6% increase in price and improved to 2,407.77 United States dollars in 2021. Financing conditions. Mr. Speaker, global financing conditions remain generally favorable throughout 2020, reflecting significant policy support, which induced lower borrowing costs, boosted equity valuations, enhanced investor risk appetite, and narrowed sovereign bond spreads across emerging markets and developing economies. These developments helped ease pressures on emerging and frontier market currencies, while sovereign risk spreads for most sub-Saharan African countries declined steadily in the year. Financial market indicators point to optimism about medium-term prospects. However, Mr. Speaker, rising debt levels and increasing interest burdens across several emerging markets and developing economies pose significant financing risks in the short term. Domestic microeconomic performance for 2020. Mr. Speaker, 
to put the assessment of the performance of the economy for the year 2020 in perspective, we'd like to recap the macroeconomic targets set for 2020 as presented in the 2020 media review as follows. A, overall real GDP growth rate was revised from 6.8% to 0.9%. The overall non-oil real GDP growth rate was revised from 6.7% to 1.6%. C, end period December inflation was revised from 8% to 11.1%. D, overall budget deficit measured on cash basis was revised from 4.7% of GDP to 11% of GDP. Primary balance was revised from a surplus of 0.8% to a deficit of 4.6% of GDP and F. End period December stocks of gross international reserves to cover not less than 3.5 months of imports of goods and services. Mr. Speaker, even though complete 2020 gross domestic product data has not yet been released by the Ghana Statistical Service, provisional data for the first three quarters of 2020 show that the targets for most of the macroeconomic indicators are largely on track. A summary of this performance is as follows. Speaker, average overall real GDP growth for the first three quarters of 2020 was 0.2% compared with 6.0% for the same period in 2019. The projected outlook for 2020 is 0.9%, reflecting the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Non-oil real GDP grew at an average of 0.4% in the first three quarters of 2020. The projected outlook for 2020 is 1.6%. End period inflation was 10.4% in December 2020, compared to the rise target of 11.0%. The overall budget deficit on cash basis was 11.7% of GDP, excluding financial sector cleanup costs against a revised target of 11.4% of GDP. The primary balance recorded a deficit of 5.3% of GDP against a target deficit of 4.6% of GDP. Gross international reserves accumulated to 8.6 United States billion dollars, the equivalent of 4.1 months of import cover, slightly above target. Mr. Speaker, detailed performance in the real monetary, external, and fiscal sectors of the economy are provided below. Mr. Speaker, provisional estimates from the Ghana Statistical Service show that average overall GDP for 2020 grew at 4.9% in quarter one, negative 3.2% in quarter two, and neg negative 1.1% in quarter three, bringing the average GDP growth rate for the period to 0.2%, reflecting mainly the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on the economy as I've already related to. The most recent work on GDP puts 2020 projected GDP growth outlook at 0.9%. In terms of sectoral performance, the agricultural sector grew at an average of 4.5% in the first three quarters of 2020, followed by the services sector at 1.9%, while the industry sector contracted by 3.1% over the period. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, price developments within the year were largely driven by volatile food prices, while non-food inflation remained fairly stable. Headline inflation rose sharply from 7.9% in December 2019 to 11.4% in July 2020. The upward trend was mainly driven by panic buying episodes preceding the COVID-19 partial lockdown measure, which exerted significant pressures on food prices. However, with the gradual lifting of restrictions, the food price pressures eased and hairline inflation steadily declined to 10.4% at the end of December 2020. Monetary aggregates and credits. Speaker, developments in the monetary sector during the year 2020 
broadly showed increased pace of growth in all monetary aggregates, reflecting improved liquidity conditions in the economy. This was underpinned by supportive monetary and fiscal policies implemented to mitigate the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Provisional data on monetary aggregates at the end of December 2020 showed that broad money, including foreign currency deposits, grew on year-on-year -year basis by 29.6% compared to 21.7% in December 2019. Annual growth in banks' outstanding credit decreased in December 2020 relative to what was recorded in the corresponding period in 2019. The nominal annual growth of outstanding credit slowed from 23.9% in December 2019 to 5.8% in December 2020. Similarly, nominal growth in credit to the private sector slowed from 18.0% in 2019 relative to 10.6% in December 2020. In real terms, annual growth of outstanding credit to the private sector moderated from 9.39% growth in December 2019 to 0.17% in December 2020. Interest rates. Speaker, interest rates in the money market generally trended downwards in 2020 on year-on-year -year basis in line with the monetary policy rate. The 91-day and 182-day Treasury bill rates declined to 14.08% and 14.13% respectively. In December 2020, from 14.69% and 15.15% in December 2019. Similarly, the rate on the 364-day instrument decreased to 16.98% from 17.88% over the same comparative period. Rates on secondary bond markets have also broadly declined, except rates on the five-year and seven-year bonds, which increased by 35 basis points and 425 basis points to settle at 19.85% and 20.50% respectively. The weighted average interbank rate declined from 15.2% to 13.56%, resulting in improved liquidity conditions on the interbank market and increased trading among banks. Average lending rates of banks also declined to 21.10% in December 2020 from 23.59% recorded in corresponding period of 2019. External sector. Mr. Speaker, the external sector performance was also impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic through the trade and financial channels. The trade account recorded a lower surplus of 2.0 billion United States dollars or 3.0% of GDP in 2020 compared with 2.3 billion United States dollars equivalent to 3.4% of GDP in 2019. The decline in the surplus was driven largely by a 7.8% contraction in total export receipts, especially from crude oil exports, which declined sharply by 35.2%. In addition, the value of total imports contracted by 7.3%, reflecting a slowdown in import demand due to the pandemic. The lower trade surplus, coupled with higher services outflows, resulted in a current account deficit of 2.0 United States billion, equivalent to 3.0% of GDP in 2020, compared to a deficit of 1.9 United States billion, equivalent to 2.8% of GDP in 2019. These developments, Mr. Speaker, resulted in an overall balance of payments deficit of 630 million United States dollars in 2020 compared with a surplus of 1.3 billion United States dollars in 2019. The deficit of the balance of payments was on account of marginal worsening of the current account deficit and a decreased net capital inflows in the capital and financial accounts. Gross international reserves. 
Speaker, gross international reserves stood at 8.6 billion United States dollars, equivalent to 4.1 months of imports cover at the end of December 2020, from a stock position of 8.4 billion, equivalent to 4.0 months imports cover as of December 2019. Exchange rate development. The foreign exchange market was relatively stable and local currency performed better in 2020 than in 2019. Pressures from corporate demand, energy-related forex demand, and pandemic-induced portfolio outflows were offset by improved forex inflows, mainly from the Eurobond issuance and the IMF Rapid Credit Facility. These were complemented by the substantial reserve buildup by the Bank of Ghana at the end of 2019. Cumulatively, Mr. Speaker, the Ghana CD depreciated against the United States dollar, the pound sterling, the euro, by 3.9%, 7.1%, and 12.1%, respectively. This compares with the larger depreciation rates of 12.9%, 15.7%, and 11.2% for the United States dollar, pound sterling, and euro, respectively, during the same period in 2019. It is worth noting that the depreciation of the Ghana city against the US dollar in 2020 is the lowest recorded in the Fourth Republic, notwithstanding the COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, it is worth noting, since my colleague, the Honorable Arthur Forsing, is beckoning me to state that the depreciation of Ghana City against the United States dollar in 2020 is the lowest recorded in the Fourth Republic, notwithstanding the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> the Speaker, <laughs> the 2020 fiscal policy objectives were adversely affected by the outbreak of the 2019 pandemic, which resulted in the recalibration of the 2020 fiscal framework during the 2020 mid-year fiscal policy review to accommodate the unanticipated shocks and enable Ghana government to implement policies and programs to ensure that both lives and livelihoods were protected. Mr. Speaker, total revenues and grants was raised downwards by 13.4 billion to reflect the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on revenues while total expenditures were revised upwards by 11.8 billion to accommodate COVID-19 related expenditures, resulting in a revised budget deficit of 11.4% of GDP for 2020. Mr. Speaker, the unprecedented impact imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic led to the suspension of the set of fiscal responsibility rules for the 2020 financial year in accordance with Section 3, Sub 1 of the Fiscal Responsibility Act 2018, Act 9A2. Despite the adverse, the adverse impact of the pandemic on the Ghanaian economy, especially in the first half of the year, implementation of the 2020 revised budget was largely on track. The provisional data of government's fiscal operations from January to December 2020 indicate that total revenue and grants exceeded a revised target of 2.7%, amounting to 55.12 billion, while total expenditures, including arrears, clearance, amounted to 100.052 million, exceeding program expenditures by 2.4%. The consequent modest increase in total expenditures, despite the force majeure imposed by COVID-19, induced expenditures is a clear indication that government adopted prudent expenditure management measures over the period. Mr. Speaker, the above revenue and expenditure performance resulted in an overall fiscal deficit of 11.7% of GDP, excluding the financial sector cleanup cost. Mr. Speaker, and let me repeat, that the above revenue and expenditure performance resulted in an overall fiscal deficit of 11 0.7% of GDP, and that excludes the financial sector cleanup costs compared to the program deficit of 
11.4% of GDP. The corresponding primary balance for the period was also a deficit of 5.3% of GDP compared with the revised deficit target of 4.6% of GDP. The fiscal deficits, including the financial sector cost for 2020, is 13.7% of GDP. Mr. Speaker, the Act 2018, Act 9A2, despite the adverse, the adverse impact of the pandemic on the Ghanaian economy, especially in the first half of the year, implementation of the 2020 revised budget was largely on track. The provisional data of government's fiscal operations from January to December 2020 indicate that total revenue and grants exceeded the revised target of 2.7% amounting to 55.12 billion, while total expenditures including arrears clearance amounted to 100 Zero five two million, exceeding program expenditures by 2.4%. The consequent modest increase in total expenditures, despite the force majeure imposed by COVID-19 induced expenditures, is a clear indication that government adopted prudent expenditure management measures over the period. Mr. Speaker, the above revenue and expenditure performance resulted in an overall fiscal deficit of 11.7% of GDP, excluding the financial sector cleanup cost. Speaker, and let me repeat, that the above revenue and expenditure performance resulted in an overall fiscal deficit of 11.7% of GDP, and that excludes the financial sector cleanup cost compared to the program deficit of 11.4% of GDP. The corresponding primary balance for the period was also a deficit of 5.3% of GDP compared with the revised deficit target of 4.6% of GDP. The fiscal deficits, including the financial sector cost for 2020, is 13.7% of GDP. Mr. Speaker, was financed from both domestic and external sources. Given the tightness of the external financing conditions, government had to resort more to domestic financing, including drawdown in government deposits at the central bank, domestic market operations, and other sources of domestic financing. Net domestic financing amounted to 44.889 billion, equivalent to 11.7% of GDP. Net foreign financing amounted to 31 million against billion against the target of 18.46 billion, or 4.8% of GDP. Mr. Speaker, petroleum liftings and receipts. Total crude oil production for 2020 was 66.9 million barrels, compared to 71.4 million barrels in 2019. As of December 2020, the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation had lifted 12 parcels of crude oil on behalf of the state and transported 88.418 million standard cubic feet of gas to the Ghana National Gas Company, GNGC. Total petroleum receipts that proceeds from liftings and other petroleum receipts as at end 2020 amounted to 666.4 million United States dollars equivalent to 3.8 billion Ghana cities, compared with the receipts of 937.6 million United States dollars, equivalent to 4.9 billion Ghana cities in the same period for 2019. These receipts were allocated based on the provisions of the Petroleum Revenue Management Act, as amended. In particular, the GMPC was allocated a total of 198.6 United States million United States dollars made up of equity financing cost of 154.8 million United States dollars and a share of the net carried and participating interest of 43.8 million United States dollars. The annual budget funding amount received a total of 273.4 million United States dollars while the Ghana Petroleum Funds received 
166.6 million United States dollars. The Ghana Petroleum Funds were distributed to the Ghana Stabilization Fund and the Ghana Heritage Fund in the ratio of 73, consistent with the Petroleum Revenue Management Act. Thus, the Ghana Stabilization Fund received 116.6 million United States dollars, while the Ghana Heritage Fund received 49.9 million United States dollars. Public debt development. The speaker, the provisional debt stock as it ends December 2020 stood at a nominal figure of 291.614 billion, representing 76.1% of GDP, compared with 217.991 billion, equivalent to 62.4% of GDP in 2019. Mr. Speaker, the total debt stock mix was made up of a provisional figure of 141.780 billion for external debt and 149.833.89 billion for domestic debt, accounting approximately for 48% and 51.4% of the total public debt stock, respectively. As a percentage of GDP, External domestic debt, debt represented 36.99% and 39.09% respectively. Speaker, the total public debt has increased from 122 billion, that is 6.9 GDP, to 291.6 billion, that is 76.1% of GDP as of the end of December 2020. Included in the debt stock and the debt to GDP ratio at the end of 2020 are the following non recurrent burdens that we had to deal with as a matter of urgency. One, the fiscal impact of COVID 19 is 19.7 billion. The cost of the financial sector cleanup is 21 billion Ghana cities. Cost of excess capacity charges paid to IPPs, that's 12 billion. Ghana cities, the impact of the reduction in growth from an average of 7% to 0.9% in 2020. Speaker, if these expenditures are excluded and the drop in GDP growth in 2020 primarily attributable to COVID-19 pandemic is taken into account, the total stock of debt for 2020 would have been approximately 200 and 39.9 billion, implying a debt to GDP ratio of 58.7%. Mr. Speaker, the following information is useful. The following information is useful. Between 2004 and 2008, Ghana's debt stock increased by 30%. Between 2008 and 2012, the debt stock increased at 269%. Between 2012 and 2016, the increase in the debt stock was 243%. Between 2016, the increase in the debt stock was 137%. This includes the cost of the banking sector cleanup, excess capacity charges, and the impact of, of the COVID-19 pandemic. Mr. Speaker, these are the facts according to the figures. Mr. Speaker, despite the impact of the, of the pandemic, the rate of growth of the public debt has been lower under our government than under previous governments. The rate of growth, the rate of growth and do the calculations on not your laptops, but on your cell phones. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the rate of debt growth was lower despite the massive investments in our flagship programs such as free senior high school, planting for food and jobs, NAPCO, one district, one factory, one village, 
one, um, one constituency, one ambulance, and a restoration of teacher and nursing training allowances, among others, while maintaining relative macroeconomic and exchange rate stability. Mr. Speaker, this reinforces the fact that the Ekufuado and indeed the MPP government are simply, are simply better managers of the economy and better protectors of the public purse. And I'll turn to the medium term macroeconomic targets. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the preoccupation of government in 2021, the, in, and the medium term, in the medium term, and therefore, is to implement measures, the preoccupation of government in 2021, in the medium term, therefore, is to implement measures to mitigate the impact of the pandemic with a view to returning the economy to strong and sustainable growth while protecting lives and livelihoods. Mr. Speaker, government will continue to, one, build strong macroeconomic fundamentals, two, sustain investments in productive infrastructure, three, develop a competitive world-class human capital base, four, promote an efficient world-capitalized financial sector, build a competitive business environment anchored on scientific and technological innovation, and six, pursue a robust social protection system that guarantees an acceptable standard of living for all, consistent with the vision of Ghana Beyond Aid and the President's coordinated program. The broad macroeconomic objectives to support our vision and development goals in the medium term are, A, restore and sustain macroeconomic stability anchored on fiscal discipline and ensuring debt sustainability. We are quite sure we can do that with better managers in control of the steering wheel. Mr. Speaker, we intend to return to within the fiscal responsibility threshold of 5% fiscal deficit and a positive primary balance by 2024 in accordance with the FRA Act, the Financial Responsibility Act 2018, Act 9A2. C, we would implement reforms to increase revenue mobilization and the efficiency of public expenditures. D, we we'll revitalize and transform the economy through the implementation of the Ghana COVID-19 alleviation, revitalization, and enterprise support program, CARES. Build a robust financial sector to support growth and development. F, provide a supportive private sector environment for entrepreneurship, domestic businesses, and foreign direct investment to thrive. G, deepen structural reforms to make the machinery of government work more effi efficiently and effectively to support socio-economic transformation. H, implement reforms to increase revenue mobilization and the efficiency of public expenditures. Mr. Speaker, guided by the broad medium term policy objectives, the following macroeconomic targets are set for 2021-2024 medium term. Overall GDP, real GDP growth rate to average 5.0%, non-oil revenue, non-oil real GDP to grow at an average of 4.9%. Inflation to be within the target band of eight plus or minus 2%. Overall fiscal balance and primary, uh, primary balance to return to the Fiscal Responsibility Act threshold of fiscal deficit of 5% of GDP and a positive balance of by 2024 and gross international reserves to cover at least 4.0 months of imports. Speaker, based on the overall macroeconomic objectives and the medium term targets, the following macroeconomic targets are set for 2021. Overall GDP growth 
of 5.0%, non-oil real GDP growth of 6.7%, and period inflation of 8%, fiscal deficit of 9.5% of GDP, primary deficit of 1.2% of GDP, and gross international reserves to cover not less than 4.0 months of imports. The speaker will now provide details of the medium-term outlook for real fiscal, monetary, and external sectors of the economy. GDP growth for 2021. The speaker, as I've indicated, overall real GDP is projected to grow at 5.0% in 2021, while non-real GDP is projected to grow at 6.7%. In terms of sectoral growth, the agricultural sector is expected to grow at 4.0%, industry sector at 4.8% and the services sector at 5.6%. The speaker, monetary policy in 2021 and the medium term will continue to hinge on sustaining price stability with a view to firmly anchoring inflation expectations and creating conditions favorable to growth. Specifically, Monetary policy would aim at steering inflation back within the medium term target of 8 plus or minus 8 uh, plus or minus 2 percent. In particular, broad money supply growth is projected to moderate in 2021 in line with inflation. The thrust of external sector policy would focus on building external buffers, enough to cover at least four months of imports of goods and services to cushion the economy against adverse external shocks. This will be supported by expected improvements in the trade balance and the current account balance, backed by increased remittance inflows, improved portfolio inflows, and favorable assets to the international capital market. Potential downside risks to the external sector outlook continue to be the possible weakening of commodity prices, increased energy-related payments, and portfolio reversals. Mr. Speaker, I'm happy to announce that the resolution of the banking industry has been completed. Government has been working to complete the bailout of the asset management industry through the provision of a bailout package for investors of the failed asset management companies out of an estimated 8.5 billion Ghana cities to help pay investors of the failed AMCs, this August House approved an amount of 3.1 billion in 2020 media budget. At the end of the 2020 December, government had provided an amount of 3.4 billion for the payment of validated claims to investors of 30 AMCs for which liquidation orders were obtained. This amount was in the combination of a three-year marketable bond of 2.5 billion Ghana cities and a five-year zero coupon bond of 915 million Ghana cities. The speaker, for the Securities and Exchange Commission to fully settle investors of the remaining 17 AMCs, an amount of 5.5 billion, 1.3 percent of GDP is required. Parents, uh, for this reason, Oscar we have come Fox, to this house once again China to seek for your approval AKA to raise Mama. an amount of 5.5 billion in 2021 in to complete the asset Kinsberg management industry added. bailout, including Born Gold Coast Fund Management May, Limited, now Black Shield Capital Management, First the Bank Financial. Methodist JHS, Apam. He was in JHS from 1. His parents are Yao Abam and Efua Atta of Apam. Gilbert Esando, born on 28th May 2004. He attended Salvation Army JHS Apam. He was a JHS 3 graduate. He worshipped with Church of Pentecost. His parents are Joseph Simpson and Nana Ajwa. Hmm? 
Okay, what's my mama come fancy? Okay. Mama do do you a friend? Yeah, ba. Mama do do ya Sarah Mensa. Wa won wa nda otodo edonu. Afi apim esonu mu. Oko school wa Salvation Army. Na ojina class 5. Na ufunyi kojo Mensa. Anna Araba is a bar. Prince Pifra. Wawon wabosum na otto de num da otto do e donne son. Wa afi a pim pime bien anna awa tree. O ko school or yamicha international school. Oke jina class six. Na ufuni James Pifra anna Joyce Edu. Woy na wati a pam. Mama Dunudu a auto de son wa Fred Benjamin na wa wonu wa busuma kron da auto du de bien wa afi impime bien in esianu mu okro school wa Fortress Academy okejina JHS2 na ufunyi set na ana Ruth Boham when you know what's the ankamu? Hey, another out of that our tree. Christopher Ewusi. Wa wonum busum e son num da out of that our tree. In fi in pime bien e son. O call method JHS wa a pam. No on ye chest of Pentecost son. Now fu ye. Ebenezer Wusi. Ena Faustina Emisa. When you know, Wolfie, a pam. Number nine. Quasi Sarah Bentil. Wa won Wabusume numum daughter than none, infim infime be a nun. Of course, go on and come Islamic school. Okay, Jina JHS two. Of or no, Quaso, a Lutra de Saint Saint Church, a pam. Now, Funi Isaac Bentil. Anna, Mame, Adria Teva, Wunya, Wawa, and Kamu. Eric Quaku Atta Wawa Busuma Numu Da Otto de Bien Wa in Fe, a Fe, in Pime Bien is son Numu. A cross school of salvation army Wa a Pam Okajina class six. Na okwa saw wa apostolic wa apamha. Na ufuni kwe kwata ena helena edu wina wa wa apam. Joshua Hammond wa wun wa bu suma krunu mu dot or dude dwa krun. Wa infi infime be na ananumu. O cro school on Yamicha International School. Okay, jina J H S three. Na ufuni. Na naqua. Ena Rebecca Apia. What a pam. Oto do de bien. John Asa. Wa wuno busum. Akrunumu. Da oto do dan. In fear, a film a bien is on the moon. I call a pam presby. Okay, dinner class five. No call method is a sore or a pam. Now, funny coffee, and a celestina. One in a war a pam. Yes, said a young couple from a problem in a crazy. No more home, baby. Papa wants that one in ten. Amen. Yada, I am my mirror to tell you, I say, my friend, Bana, and then you may have to suffer one when you know, one more, but some now school, I walk off. And now the Mabri walking can was actually here. Where you must be there. School is a shame on our day, and then. Into the year, you're about to suffer. Oh, yeah, 
Honorable Bis Magbe Sinkum, na oze nanu zisem oza aba. Na yim pa wa ya piti asenye dan. Inna nuku sida. Ma chibosum na da oto du. Sum. Oye chun chum ku sida. Oze ma gumbu aman. Chun chum ku sida. Oze ma pa amane titru. Na ne jodan obaya memen. E nyibu. A hobo, hena na be mu nyina ebubu na bosom pim we otu ni ti egudo ma hena mo fram ba cha won pe nda wori je wonyi makakra obu zina taban akata hono do obu otu mu wohen obu enkotum esi hena pam iyi ya za oye yao Ama me busi 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 ni na we hua we hua we hua we hong kuti na na nom hona ba we gra gana mani ni na hena ba we gra gumbo futi tru a champion na nyuaka ma yeri chajo na iji orimbu ya berum da ya yaman orimbu ya berum da ya ya deshe another mansion. Eji aye suyaze za ama hen. Hene mbebun. Mbrenta yin ketesia. Ene mpenyifu yinara. Na gumbwa west. Mensin. Oboko bwe jina ho pinti. Ye meme yin secha wa hene kura. Ebusi ebusi yinina wundwe. Gana manu wundwe. Abani mpenyifu wundwe. Na mimde iji nechiru nusu. Oman bafa necha mpifura. Meda mwase. Aye, industry chief, executive, honorable be sinkum. Daya do know your bottom safra. Aye, young Cassang and Emra Shebogoni, or the Mian for Richard, John Mensa, my honor so as the Nan Zisem Ozaba. Honorable ministers, Nananom, Asafum Painfu, Ebusia, and Adesidoma, and Anape Yeshimwaha, Emirate Jan Mensa, Meti Yawa, Ebusia, Adolfo Yeshimwaha, and Yara, and the FA Yenina Yem, and Yama Yenina is a swing, and in the Yemui. Na madebi ya yakan, manyipo susu, inyano na nyankupo onso, ususu. Ma atu yeni biyara, ya rehosem. Na mwumi yana rewumun, inye jese ma, awumi yede, yewe jedi de, inyanumi ya ya shiru wanyi, utufu nyankupo onra ma wangu, krabi upa. Dama ya rewumun sara, ena ya yewe hengi nara, ya da odosu nkwezi. And the maybe Sazi there. Sir, and now Yen Yanumi, what would do? Now Yen Yanada, Yachira, Croyer, or Dor, and a Timason Qua. Mother Sazi there, Yakupon, or Madame Croyer, nor Dor, Timan, on time with her. Ebusia, and Adafa, Washer, one other say. En Yanum, and now Omana, Yashir, a Japadica say. Enna, my young Wahe. Ya mpai bo, ya rebi sa zene de, ma ebi ntugu mwaman biyum. Osande, oya raho, emi manamebezi empi wogu mwawesa. Ata, ama nyipadom, ebo shia, oya raho sem, na minyimde onsan insi biyum. Bijina ha, bedi nasika se, ema enyanum, adofo, owa adosu nkwa wadene zi. Yashasi, efri, ya nwa mpenyin, Ana adunam kwe kufuado. 
are also made to him when Jago Maman or two number four and will be chairing over the chair Henry. You may die to a hair, no more cotton, no more donara or my pain and I buy what one hen. The memory so young with them paying for the bray, go for a bam or better hand a tea. A year there, young in a ra, Yajin or my new point to home. This will be free ma, not a day yet there, you pan who here. The maso meda. I am paying you far. I submit to him when you now watch your dust on coach him. And this is I am Frank Atuni John Dramani Mahama, His Excellency. On us to nip in your phone and up and force you up a boy hen. Yama me, Nana Jed, the Pukajiman, Ode in him. Yet another papa. The master meda, I am this year. I work with Mawes. And now I police in Penny Four. St. Luke Catholic Hospital in Penny Four. As a me bay, in here now, Yana Mutu, in Abua, Emma, a reho, ah, a betu henny, Yahoo, Yenya, a teacher, a womb. A sign that I am Mabunawa, a pa, Mankade, a brocum, and Camo, our Hokaka, so called, what done is he? A brain here, Mayen, Emma Walker Podo, no Akofa, Yadishaban, the men ranty in the water, the Mujimina, or the Musunizi, the Maso, Yanapo, Manfo. So, while boy and all crime be brave, though, yet a hoon, you know, I say. I am no more war, I am media, also the mere brave, also I send me back to him when Jayemu. I am a man of who I walk on a hen in a CPP, PPP, Obibiara, Ada, or Dustin Quady, my mess right there. Every day, be me go more, you can call any input to no Biara Shisha. Na maya da neji wa da mibri ya rahu atu hene mui. A rahu n enye yeridi. Ya mpa e bonde razi be yefri hene do. Na mbo m odo na kuru ya. Ya enu ya anu mui wode ja hene. Ya bo so muye yi. Na yetu mi yada te chiri go maman. Na go maman enya hon fa so de. Na o chine bi. Se nyakupon. Nebre ebre son na nyametu nsafre hene. Ye she enu ya anu mui ya. Wen hunde wo ja yen zipa. Ene yesu ya shedi ye yi. E busi ya wa mwa shew. Yes, sir, or two for young coupon on church more. I don't for a while, though, does some crazy out my bush. Yes, now on day, my own jaw moon. O son, I ran walk on two. Nipa cropper on two moon two. Chido on your be more canoe home. The mebri, ye yam on the door do, and yan uncle say, and mra aka yen 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 ara. But I win yen assay. And pay you far. Waba, nananum, yet a moon yen assay, the mission home. Yes, sir, or two for young coupon. Uncle Yahuda, Namago Mawes, Omago Maman, Gana Man, Asomje, Kanko in Puntu, Enna, Abrapa, Yenina Yashishen, yes, and Canada, Edamase, Yamisha. Me, Meda Sivia, a brain tea, me, Meda Mimpin, for so, or so, Bacasa. Er, Mijinaha, a Bussia, one of my Ashaway, Mosomo. Bibika kra mede so wana sen eyi ntumi pepa wana re ho ni nyinara na mmum obotu aso hona sen ebusua wo ho nyinara me mbo bibiara 500 gana ana ye nwanu me bien na nya me ya dum ya saka ho nso me ma wono so obi ana busua 500 gana me don wasin ya mi sha mp ya da wasin bebe za ye bi oya ye nananom so wana ne misinyi on also a baba because I am not on suffering. I am Nana is a boche. I am a bahima. A pam. All right. Now, Sabrina Nana a day named Sema Hodo Baba Trigano. I have a more videos. Kakra Abra a year a pam Catholic hospital. Mochi a coba say a day Muno a free for an opay a day Ababia. You know. The course, no, maybe I feel now. What kind of one? Yeah, man. I recap, Kakra. Na washe uhunu ebusi afwa. Na akoye arehosem ede ama eninti. Na wamo eche jajo anopano isunya. Wamo isunya. Ebi. Sabi eno ena yade ema. Sebiya yabe yadam amanze no. Tina nanu mo aba. Ewa ebe fa na nanu ewa na fe ya fa di ekosono ebi 
yentie nananomo ensemo a wo mo nananom abem impenyinfo na adofo a we be hiemu wa ha wa mo nyina chi meja so onje ma hino wa om de jumedia yeri ji wa he o sha se joda na adofo ne ni anom na namba wabwa apafupi ya homa sheso wenja yenkwa wabwa yen ho na ma fem na sunsun ma fem na masra me jina akwenja ido masra ye media men in some pi na homa wa frem frem obisam o se sabe 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 ye di asam penifo ha yemban wakoya awarezi uon suno on tindam apamo framba wan tindam masramo oya mungkaja mwehu yamba wakshiri ya shiri ya nananom na yamba afeidi damasam no kofihin anadamo presme na orikikadame na uon suno ni hobi ana onu na oda sunsun na ocheche mo frawa ni ko ho de won ko ya da ma de na apa yen sensi fom mi pa mo cha ya ho ma sheso mi sramo mo ma yen ban won ko de di won ko de di won ko de di mi da o ma mpenyin ase mi da ni mpenyin fa oti ho ma o ba wo be sha he mi da ho ase a police fo a performance fo o bi ala se mi bai wen ja ye mu wa dum abu aye wa ka ye ho ni esu a performance fo ya da ma sate ma o be frem de fun ni bi abada o bi ana o dimri na o dimri ka na o roko na o reba na o roko na o reba mi da ma se mi shire mo o bi ala ni bi bi a wa shire wo ya nananum na ya mbei ho nyame nsha na nemu onka no onbo ye nya ho ban na dama tu ye nche mi awesi me bi si biom me damo nyina ase aso mu ji mu na me ko ma ko da na me da freku ko aso mu ji mu na me ko ma ko da na me da freku Amen. Me pa mo chau pi wasu re fi na ko fa wo nti. Oye ye nyina ye man hen. Obrefo ahor an ko bia o ti e bie. Ne he ma wo ha oye go mu ama nyina ye ba hen ba. O wo ha ya ma me pede nka won fa ka se free man no ka bi bi nkyira ne man se kwa de mo me da mo ase be ku fa yan sampa ya da oye nana esaribotwe ena ahefo wa ba ko ta ne tinyina ya da mo na ase za ye du ye wo oye amanze kakra o da ye ma hen ma from be Walking can when I have a question, I wonder now when you now walk to school. And today, my brother, a teacher for no, we be jina, we be jina, we be busy on a name. Now, why you today, my man, we be busy on a name. We be busy on a name. Oh yeah, the school register name. And today, often there's a question about family. We want to hear who school do any mobium. Eh, you have a bunch of teacher for no way. We want to register them right now. We may not want to want a miracle. Kuni bi awa hebi ya wababu ni zin impele baasa wewe ya wechem wajaregister ni mufiti nda zeko onye school ni biom. Upon press B class four all register and listen to your names and respond when you hear your name. Helena Ham. Eh, ya pacho, I'm the Damabri. I am the director of education. 
Aye, Mr. Goka, or a higher bottom, sir, friend. Now, I better. Aye, teacher, for you, now we're the damage you may. Director of Education. Heli Naham. In our answer. Joseph Henson. Honorable Ministers, DC members, Member of Parliament, all protocols observed. Uh, it is rather unfortunate that we are gathered here to the demise of nine students, including two HSS final year students, who were drawn drowned in the sea on 7th March 2021. Indeed, Sunday, for parents, students, for that matter, Ghana Education Service, APAM, and the entire Gomorrah community, and the nation at large. This accident, indeed, has given, this accident, indeed, we lost to the nation as social, economic, and political effect. Schools at this time are in total confusion and are traumatized as they have lost colleagues, study and playmates. Teachers have lost their children, learners and errant boys. Parents have lost their beloved children, some of which may even be the only child or the senior most of the children who are at the age of assistance in one way or the other. Goma, Goma has been affected as the potentials of the future has been drowned and the future looked gloomy. The economic loss to all is unprecedented as the, as the recount of the have invested to the children with the hope of in their works graduating to useful has been dashed. The government is committing a lot of resources to put issue to, to rest of ch channeling the resources to providing infrastructure for their education and health, health care. We can only say God knows best. A much condolences to the parents, teachers, GES, Goma, and the as a whole. May their souls rest in perfect peace. At this juncture, as it is a tradition in the in education, when when somebody passes on, the name is cancelled out of the register. And therefore, we are going to perform that ritual. I now call on a Palm Press head to perform that right. Thank you very much. So, class four register, Helena Ham, Enoch Ansa, John Atta. John Atta, where is John Atta? What has happened to him? Madam, we don't know. Madam, let me go and check the house. Okay. What was the response? Madam, I learned he has passed on. Oh. Then John Atta is no more with us. Henceforth, John Atta is no more part of Apam Presby Basic Four Pupils. May his soul rest in perfect peace. 
Upon praise be JHS, Form 2, JHS 2. Christopher Hammond. Princess Tete. Ebenezer Forson. Ebenezer Forson. Have you heard anything about Ebenezer? Can someone kindly check out for me? Will Ebenezer be in school? Yes, I've gone to the house. But I was told he has passed on. Oh, Ebenezer. May his soul rest in perfect peace. So Ebenezer Forson is no more with a Pam Press BJHS. Two. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Hello. If we saw JHS three, then that is Addison, Sando, Salvation. Sarah Mensa, Salvation. Prince Pepra, Yamiche International School. Benjamin Na, Fortress Academy. Christopher Ewusi, Methodist School. Sarah Bento, Ankamu Islamic. Kweku Atha, Salvation JHS. Joshua Hammond, Nyamiche International School. John Atha, upon praise be. It has gone. Thank you very much. Inti, we are teaching our family in Azinimu. If you register in one year, a school for Bium. Teacher, for the other one, I say, I do know. You have a ton of suffrage. I am Central Regional Minister. I am here, Mammy Justina. A moon, a honor. A papa, a prayer, a prayer, Nipani B. A. Soon. A Bema Pa and a officer of Father Canoa. A Mantini B. A. Ireno. Output uh, transcript Out and uh, no emuno. Uh, this is not the first time, uh, Monsieur Juan Casano, uh, or the Suban, we yet be a deep pet. I just say, and so no more and sana or chenaho. Ah, and you be a just say, oh, Susa, you name, sir, a ma and a do some pimpens, we are young, almost in two minutes, but sir, uh, Ubu Huno Bema, why you're so emotional, na oh, Susano, and this say. Obia shall say a move a call a year a moon or a home. Nipanina shall say a move call a year a moon or home. Meaning, sir, but a sanka regional minister, so I do not so, but then some airba. But all of a sudden, Obia a move a call a moon or a home. I just say, Womo a su a church, a joe, Nipanina, Womo a sorry, sorry, free a year a patana say. Uh, regional minister, so Egina Hua. Now, here I can share say, Onya will check a crack, Nafi, Untimi, and Casa. But as we speak now, Nadia, Nipanin, na Obia, a be so so a year at Dakano Emu, a be so so at Dakano Emu, just a Obia Esu, a branch of our crown was chassis, a call Hua, a sodomu, and now one sono, a chino, as a country will be as a uncle. Na Uncle Quigina, a Yadakano, who be a move a quadacano, who do the rights Nina, Enya, Emma, a year. The attorney said, Was some no gusua, a cosso, but was some no gusua, a cosso, but depending in a poop, a call, I just said, Mamma Bar Quincy said, Yes, sir, your son Mukra and so, Mamma Ukran Hossa, never come home, Abby, a war, a dacano, a moo. I just said, Yeah, you're no crown or any of it. Ah, who soon a channel hossa, so channel hossa, 
police for now find it difficult to control them. Once uh, police for now shall say eight p.m. p.m. the panic be a quiet. Uh, Osha Mami say, as soon as I know, also, I could not never at home. I just say, oh, so sad, oh, so sad, oh, so sad, just say, if you want, I said, yes, you dear crash, I see a quanessa, a modern near Manu, and so sad. Yet I saw our pump now, or some no, a fee. And uh and ka akaka crebi na yeah we pair the program line up on Osha a board doom ye nua na as I say ye ma a muno so a de free ha na ye de echo a ye emu crabia uh musi ye aha and it's a uh or some nugusu a echo so no and as I say my hunu say not mo for a sha se uh create human shield. Uh woman post it for us because what's the phone numbers no and so to uh woman to me and so so and created that human shield you know and the ama uh i had any kakra dj dj by any Anata ya ba wancha wo yasra ya mama wana abuta ya mama wana abuta ya ba wancha aya yao na mumti asema yen ya ba wancha ya ba wancha ya ba wancha wana yenti na wana yenya yenya ni ntendem yasra won yasra won Uh, finding it difficult to control, finding it very difficult to control. Uh, crowd, no, I will have. I had a pump and a sabre, you are, you are a life coverage, a bro, a free. I'm a friend, I'm a coma, I'm a duba, I'm a coma, 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 i a call a ball, one more, a chain, one more consumum. One more, yeah, one more, ha, one more to me for more free, yeah, 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 one more, Canada, one more, every more, yeah, 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 no, and now, and then, I call us, uh, this is the trigger, say, one bear, yeah, was some strong call a day, I'm a more final, and you know, I'm a final crowd, yeah, but I'm a consumer for back, yeah, 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 Amunu muwa na wamu akano ena sisi uhuru se yetu ana mo akopo mo krabia akoye dini beni mo dia wakasi ubia muvungo ne muho all of a sudden they realize yana se wamu shasi e muvu eko e muno huwa ano ena wakopo mwenye fanya se hot kaka ena se ase jume di ano ye change soka krabi. As you can see, no. The panini na emugu from canopies, no. Na eshesheni the bia at oboko, no. Nanka ebo, no. Omu ni na emugu. Eko eye ebo, no. Just say. Eko eye isuni ejajo. When you phone wa yadi, just say. We mo timi pushi the panel. As you can see, I'm a kanya ba beta mo. When you phone eye na no phone. And that woman pretty human shield, no apamo, any panel, any woman free fire. But as you can see here, soon we are pigeon and Sadia here, and the mommy and TM one in the soon in Anno. A quiet area was him. If you say, Womo and Mano, we and a bear, if we chop for a beer, Womo, a beer, Womo, Womo, see a man about a yard in fire. You go so, ah, yeah, they live coverage, a free apam. Yeah, they uh, pray more. I want to talk about the police for Sabri. Uh, one more action, you know, after she was one more, you know, echo. Um, Minister.
cameraman, your power child will be ending a year. Now you enter, honorable central regional minister. Honorable Minister of Fisheries and Aquaculture, Yen Oman Penina Nemsini, Honorable Basi Inkum, Oya DC, Gomwa West, Yen Member of Parliament, Gomwa West, Regional MPP Amayokua, Yen Papa Robert Kutin Jr., Odano, Regional Coordinating Director. Heads of security agencies, ah, Yan Mami Habiba, Ozum and Nanyim Khan, ah, Oriti Juma, or your one one. Nana no my yetre shemwa ha. A sofu a cuckoo dam. Nana no impenny four. A dish a bush a kua, yashraz a kasa, or to them. Oh, yeah, Yan media. Yes, we are treasure. Yan Maria Saf and Denyara. What is that? Where is he? A pump could be more. A dofa dofa. In the year, year three, she is mother. That where is he? That year, who is he? Ya babua. Go maman. Aguna West. Sorry, go ma West. Ma afane tampa ifra. Mejina na na num. Our central region one name. A man peni na name. Ya ma go ma. West for Yakwa Shon Kokra Nay Janani Akade Yana Humash Show Yara Ho Yaboto Nanin Nanichuno Zayare Kanye Day Yamin Yim Za Oye Oye No Yamanemba Yamin Yim No Waya Zawaye Sayatin Yankupona Sa Yankupon Vie the Oye Yame Yan Tina Sid de Biarada O Sunday, send no bin him on the seventh of March. Bibi Dambesa, Unko Tuni Bafo, the Mumpui, and Sunya Minitsum upon the Masami Watuhen, Central Region, Yer Chajo, Ghana, Yer Chajo, Nagomawa says it, Yer Sumbe Bray, Nadaya a Christian for Yaya Muslims, Uncle Uncle Yajizi, Wayan Yamia Yasumun, Yanim Day. Za opian na oye. Nyame na wakasa. Yam fanadem. Na yefa ye wunya na yam fan tonodo. Nenya ye shem wani mude. So oye bibi fuwa. O zi bibi papebuso. O zi sheho mahen. Yan ka yan akuman tu yan yem. O sanda yan president. Na na adodan kwa kufado. Za wesi. Yan papa. Na humasha shododo. Wesu papa. Na ne raho. O sin. O tu yan mame. Mobejina na nem. Ozi juma shon kukra ozi mahen. Na yama mizi dami juma nu. Yama papa na konya na asu bebebi. Wentu mamba dem. Na asu okanyano ho. Oya ba tan shon kukra. Mara miji na hei. Oya ya wode yanu wazi ngugo mitido. Na sa mebezi mi juma mebeshe mi juma se. Na za otumwa otu dem otuma. Mi raho. Menyimide oya MPP ya manyo kuwa ya wa central region. Yama papa kuti njidano. Oya na ira hosi sam kese. Na yanyi go mwa west, yanyi mwa nam, yanyi mwa rusun, yanyi mwa ira ho, yanyi tu mwa jeje mu, yanyi dani yechi ya mfa mamu, za ya kanyi dae, mwa yanyi na yanyi kambo mu, yanyi yanyi anu mwa krabi osu nko, yanyi wanu krabi osu nko kwa, na masa wewe yechi mpo, yanyi kupo mwa tu nenyi mwa za chego mwa man, central region ha, yebezi mi sese su nko, ama yanyi mpa no mpa no no, Ye tum ye train lifeguards. Mawa bwa, mawa ya shay yesun kuwa various beaches and a my yembe bon pos away inform more for the wok gra or be nanywe to mezi wechi. Na bibi demisa and tampana we tum one besuko, we call you wana my a masa bibi mpo besa, ye wuni ya 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 dem and de ye wuni. Ya sansu ya bo or ya rescue team fun wana ba do shronko. Or sanda rescue team, why de you must shronko? Wait here to my son or Sunday. What pray, what pray? What to me, Bien was a man. 
Yakupon Nakasa on the top in Shaka Sinara Fisor, on from Gumu from Mewado, near various stakeholders in Kankana, Asura, Asafo, when you move from Ben Casa. One Ben one, when you are counseling Son Cocra, or send them away sin, or you whom, mend them for your own way, I am pumping you for you to mention that. Now, before Baka Crabble to them, so they need to be counseled. Nama Wakuma at Oyem, Wakra Asanaba Wan Hodo, Mazaye Hui. Yen san ye hu bio Yanye ebusia nananom apofoze mi hu mama ka san de apofo hen ye ba ha no wo dwumezi bi a wozi o ma ye hu de wa aso wa ye krado de won hwe de bibi dem besa na si bio ya to tosre security agencies won bo hen o ma mpanyi zin chese ye gwa kwem o kan o kan no sido de o ye ye mpa no mpa no wa bra they are in Panoho, Yakaji, and security agencies. Yapa one child, we want to see you very visible, very, very visible at the various beaches. One boy and papa, 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 or Sunday, be my nor can you know, maybe I'm a former friend. Well, who I may feel that you extra vigilant. You better me save a lot of lives. Me that my year, Juma do do Sunday, fifty percent, and I saw me seen one day, one tonight in Kita Musician Kakodo. About to task three, about to task three one, one cordo, no one boy and one direction, no, na bibia no duncha. Ya can the main Yanya Busia, Yanuari boom, Yanuane soon, one that drain and that drain. No young man penny, not some cassa or the Nakumadunti. Where to Nimba, where to Natural Bar, or your honorable Hawa Kumsin, the Umbra, non for none of this, um, in Fambra, Nakuma, our Kosor. A whom I shall show the number of whom, but I want to say, Yanko Pononka in Iowa Yada, oh yeah, and if you see Manto Musiafo, oh yeah, yeah, mammy, Justina Marigold, Asan, Yada, and I say, eh, why can't I hear in some of that come to your papa? The year do do no, eh, well, yeah, and I should tell you, oh yeah, I say, me see, and my penny, oh yeah, any more, or can you home twenty four seven, baby? I shall say no swim my wabe. And then so was some other nan is a mash eh and mammy. Ah share in sumunam do oye mammy on y for mavis how I come sin na no. Into your bottoms are friend. Na a sema opinion or the share yem mammy na non. Oh my car na it was yeah for one kuma on tom when you yum. Yeah, Papa, Regional Chairman. I ah, will share MPP, Amenyoku, wa Central Region. Ha. Aye, Ura, Robert Kutin, Jr. Aye, Miami, Niabema. I will share Transport, Any Aviation Ministry. Aye, Ura, Kweku, Esiama. Mesosta, Justina, Asan, Regional Minister. Aye, Regional Commander of Police and Other Security Services. Ne Aprosifua, Mwaha. Oman Hine, Ene. Ahima for in some chair for a for a pam my for a MMDCs ah omaba omaba be boa omunia be ma a honorable income se adia toneni. Me my any na ya home shedding. Me sell my need, dear, and I'm at so. 
Senya akasa fo bebe ebe kae no. Ene anasa bo so me March 8th of March 2021. Ghana mai Central Region. Eni Goma West. Apam Kro Yanti Asempa Na Anopei Emra na ye saswa ye ba Ye pie Kro numu ana utmi huse E domo mugu kro numu E she tuntum Koko E ni tuntum ni fita E chre se Asam kesiye atu gana mai. Asam kesiye atu eye central region. Na nititu gomwa wez. Ene apam krum. Na ano oma mpenye e yimi. Mini mpenye fwa ya ba ye bebi se mu. Ema oma hini ene abusu ya fwa mi eti asye se. Ni ayati ya ni ya nukre. Na ene, ene ye nya mene pa. Ebe pe enkure yi. Bebi di omu atso. E di omu ashe. Irade nensa. Na emna na. E ti cha fwo. Eba ya. Omu be ti cha enkule yi dim. Na. Na. O shia senya, o mu meit, e ya abusinya, abatay, kroni ni na e su, e kwa e munu wa, na wuti mwise e ya re huwan kasa, na e che ma aje e kwa si, e nji mtu fubi ya watu o nenyo mse, ma aje bi da ba mano so, mi shia e nshe, na atu ni e di, on my penny, say, Minshe Central Region, Goma West, any a pump for Omamunina Yako. Send an honor, Mekai, and I didn't any say, Ya, 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 Na ono, so che che ni re, se enunti, sa a ho chile no, anase en so che ne a tono no, en titi o ni ni nyan kupo ntem. Ene, abata ya ye ma, edida hei. Omay, a ye nana no mo edida hei. Minimise sa an so che, en titi ye ni ye nyan kupo ntem. Ne mo ma fen ebe ma ye ni ye nyan kupo, a ye an kufano ebe ye din. Si ya mamuni na shedi. Abata yi mesai jinasa kwenye wesu na masiramu. Se ya ni ya manu wa hua. Ya ntani yo muni mkomo. Ya ntani yo muni mkomo. Na uwa wana sa wubanu mko sku. Na uwa fie mkwa dia. Every time 20 minutes bia shushebebia kwa lanu owo. Sa uu msa wako shedi mwa. Kwa na kwa wesu wadade mwa. Uja anu uja ana si sa ati wa jim frama. Che sa ati wa. Sani ya daya ebe mwa nitai ye mei. Na ansa anko fa. Asem ke siya enti se yi emre ye. Eye emre anti ye. Yuti na eba non so. Me sramu. Me sramu. Ene sa mwa huni ye si. Ye si ya futu on sakra ni pa. Ye se an so she. Sa an soche ya abe yi. Ya isre ya misa abe samba ya kwe mu biyo. Ya nunti ya isre mba bunu. Ya nimse mudu sa eji mwa. Na mu pese, mu fose, mu ana mote muhu. Abibi ya mu betu ana mwa biyala. Mu she jina biya ya mei, ya ni anu ya ya mkufone adamfoy. Akwa tina. Ya na isre mu. Sa ya kase tina ha. Mwa tina ho. Sa ni ebe ya edi asumje. Ebe bre, ya mai. Ya mai miye ni insuwa nya kupo echi cha eji wamui. Na nya mi pese ohu, ye hu. Se onu nya mi, ono kuta tumini na. 
Opese ye hun so onu nyame eno okwita tu mi mi na. Eno ti na odi mi eni a che ye. Me kwa suara ka che ebu siyane so momo omo ni mko emo frano hon. Na se ni original mi ni sa ka ye no. Ye ma ye en kansol en kwa en kwa la no. Se se bebi omo du no. Omo hi a se ye di omo be fa kasa chile mu. Se ni ebe ya omo kra eba sa abba po mu mu. Ya ba ayya. Mene regional chairman, minister for transport and aviation, area regional minister, MMDCs, ah, ene yaba omapeni usumano. Na ne yaba ye, yebe chila omapeni ane mu aye. Oma penyi ema yema Ebusiano adaka sika Esa ase ema frani yedi Oma betu adake mu Ako siye Osa ema omay Bibi kakra ase Yemfa mo apaye Nana dano meti ya yesi 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 Ya na ye ma news na. Ye nka ni se che we se. Se ni a ye ka anon no. Me ka ye, me ka se. Ye se ye mfa mwa mpa ye. Ye mfa mwa mpa ye. Na ni a e si ye, ma ni se nsi ye nsubi yo. Ye ti ye ma e bousi anon. Oye. Ye ma e bousi anon, thousand gana sidi. Eye last week na ye ba ye. Se obi a. Ade bato eye. Ade bato adaka. Ene oman penyi. Asa amaye. Bibi kakre. Se ode chre ne do. Asa anse. Se enka enkwa ye tu mi to. Enka wato emofre yi enkwa. Wase mi fa sa akwe nya we so na mi ma ebu sinye biyara. 10,000 Ghana Sidi. 10,000 Ghana Sidi. Tete no 100 million. Na ya ma oma yi so so another 10,000 Ghana Sidi. Tete no 100 million. Na ya ya so a ya ma e ya e mo frana. Onu nyame, echi omu nkwa ema ye ino. Yama o... Adafu mumi efe ye. Ya nye kwa omu a ye nti nka ibono mesramu. Ema fano su omu ti ase no. Oma epe nyise ye ma. Abo frebi ya su eye 5,000 Ghana CD. That's 50 million. Eye old Ghana CD. Eti me psamu. And I'm a farmer, tell me, Kakra. My person is a busy one, Baba, because I say I am someone I am born. And I'm a born one, busy one, Baba, Betty. Send me, send me, Fata. Yeah, that's it. My partner. Number one is Isaac Efisa. Isaac. Aye, Fisa, Isaac, Fisa. Ah, okay, Pacho. Okay, Miss Ramu, I see me more with phone ID. Aye, Oria, Kwame Kwansa. Okay, Pachota, Kwame Kwansa, Oma, 10,000 Ghana CD, that's it. Me Pachota, ni oto sosuye, Mr. Benjamin Oscar Fossil. Benjamin Fossil, Oscar Fossil. Pachota, ni ebe ya, ebe ya, ente mwinti, mwinti di so mami. Ayo Oro, ya Abam. 
German, Oscar. Me pa cho sa na ye ye no. Ya do obi ade akuta ni se me srete wuti di na bra. Mr. Oscar. Pa cho nya ko po en chiche wo re. Me pa cho Mr. Abba. Let me have them. Let me have them. Yeah. 
Papa, Benjamin, 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 now form ya. Benjamin, Pacha Christopher, I will see my name. Now, Christopher, I will see our four. Oui, c'est ça. Il y a des bouchons et des 
I buy no uh, money, hundred million. Uh, ten thousand. John 000. Arthur. And see, I know, and I uh, bought Oba, uh, Oda da Kemu, Sabria, Na Waba, no Waba Beji. You want to say more funny day, Ada Kanumwa, and now one more, and that's what you go, no young far, one more, and call, and we say, yeah, and see, a buying cigar, what they am, I was in a forno, and uh, you bought Obani Dean, uh, said the Mofano, a good that came where you were, Honua, na Waba, na Waba Beji, a year, cigar. Uh, yeah, they are sign a war and all like I say, uh, you know, a and when she one more at the arsenal, a year, uh, Sika 50 million, uh, one more a woman, a a hundred million, and now one more at the arsenal, a 50 million. Tia Mame, how are comes in, and now Ujina, a year, a year, a year, a year, a year, a year, a and you do and call them, you know, one more at Yasino, and I yes, one more our four no emra, one more emra meji, a year fifty million each. Eddie can't born a boy, a shameful pomodada. See, one more four and a banner. It goes so a war, a pam, a year Saint Luke Hospital, no, a mupe and a and a mass. Uh, barrier, I have a person. My 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 Bacho Benny, come on. Bacho. Pamacho, a mind so dear, no, yet they share. Yeah, my men and I, him, ma. Nana, as I boche, and sir, no, dear, ma. I share I you made the say we did Nana Pacho. And the money now. And see, Yama Howa comes in Sika, uh, Ujina Abana, Mo, a day, a bread, a busia, uh, Omino. And then one more Yebasa, why are in Kaboni? We are Yebafa, why are in Muno? Yet one call ambulance on the CCH. Yebasa, Mobia, and Baha, Ebushebi, Yukofu, and Nana, Wobia, what I call ambulance in the moon. Obafa, why are a Chiha, no, what I call Yebasa, Mobia, and Bim, Eba, why is police in police of Funwa General? Obata, Opa. Shannon so that name for name for more room, not air again. The best that I will be Shannon so I'm a hand, that's it. In the year, I wanted a money as a bear, or actually, also another night as a baby. You're about to serve Reverend Reverend Joseph Safo and Ning. Now, what about my final commendation? Oh, a part of Safo in China now. Safo on Chan Kakana, Yanas Rafon Penny for Wolfie and Ben Mobile, Yan Fre, Oya Yenia Richard, the Chimensa, Na on Bedam on this. We are Safo about your drama. You, Madassi Bray Masrena, I always some Cassa Otti de me. I yet go my mind, and I upon my what's in a one match show. Gana man in Yara, ain't it? I am a bemen paying for 
and a part of our having been full, the other boardroom, Mamaka, upon mine, the woman, my own, ye change our job. No, but sir, no, but for today, may you want Achre. Was the can I am a man paying a name, senior, oh, go more west, which at DC for go more west, honorable Bismarck, BC, Incum, honorable with Yakakra. This if we confirm Honorable Bernard Bright Grant, or Honorable Wavia Kakra. This if we go more is Honorable Solomon Dako Kwam. MC for Fantoman, Honorable Kenneth Kelly Esuman. This if we go more is Honorable Benjamin Kojo Otu. The Regional Commander for Immigration, Assistant Commissioner Pfizer Disu Oha, Commissioner Wevian Kakra. The Regional Commander for Prisons, Deputy Director D.N. Atta Oha, Nata Wevian Kakra. Master, you're using the introduction. The Regional Commander for Fire Service, Assistant Chief Fire Officer John Amalai Amate Waha. The Regional Commander for Police, DCOP Habiba Chumesi Waha, Wami Wevia Kakra. The Regional Coordinating Director, Mr. AJ Buayen Waha, Data Wevia Kakra. The regional data for NADMU, Gomoyi, Oura, Joseph Kwame, Donko, Owaha. The deputy regional organizer for the new protracted party, Anansu Oye Gomoyi, Ba, Owa Apamha, Oura, George Alexander, Safo, Rest of Wavia Kakra. All right, uh, Sabri, uh, you introduce you, uh, yeah. Uh, this uh, year, yeah, assembly members, ne, we are going to wait earlier. Safe, ena, ebiya, we can't go. Ansana, yes, sir. A morning, ina, a day, abba, ebiya, ye wey no. Ano pay di a cost, no, ebi, ena, wash no. Ah, uh, ohunu se, busiano, chese, ubiya, esun, esun, fise, ebi owa, na, omo, enya, enu, omo, adeshi, uh, bra, uh, omo, e free mono, fise, bebre, no, ano, yefa, omo, de, omo, eba, much, wanti. Ebi owa, first time, omo, enu, wanti, omo, e jidi, fwani, bi, ena, sabre, uh, omo, e, eh, de, radiase, e, uh, omo, fwani, mono, e, eh, mami, so, de, chese, won, tumi, kra, mami, de, won, tumi, kra, 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 they say, well, we'll soon it, we'll soon it, we'll soon it, we'll soon it, sir, and we're piano. And he, um, we want to say, uh, Nipani be a remonona, a B, a P, a Nakam, and a CC, a year, aha, a year, uh, Marchi, baby, a Nipano, the day or Momona, good to say, a year Nipano, yes, CC, and we know. Na no akataso to whom you say Beman so Beman in Jinawa was what Nessa Trada Kano so Woma a year say yen a bar and nursing in Yakuma, Woman or Bar by Krakra, and now who say a couple of years is soon to say one more issues and to wait a year earlier shots their course so a war be a year a moon or a free year and in a war a year. A pam, a higher, yes, and look, I are a Sabia, and now you're that so a war, your day was some no air brown until you know, say, Busian Forno, Mofrano, the remote who said with any a nymphonia is in home to have a fray for fair fair. What couple say, Oka Cogene Nicosida, now Wakona, one sign, I may be with Nakasana, a papa, a rapper, some year party, and Nakano. And I see for no. See, yet you free much for a year, the baby, yeah. Now, one more Akataso, now, one more baby, see for the Unfonino, and I would do why, and then my own Hunu, Nipakoa, or that's a Dakano, Ebu, and see, and it be, and I would go swa, ocean away, a year, dear course, or earlier. They say, baby, I was some nedruno, 
enche na ba ewi also for e be bom paye ba de be bo video no am we hunu de si ye no e bi se bi a o me say that part na eh bi na are ho ye pa within the veil and see the saints above yanto jamu jem jehovah tumfo jamu jem guide me o thou great jehovah Figure me through this barrel land. We are singing the first and the last stanzas. And the way he said the shots, you know, and she was off of a bomb pie and a yama, a moon in a so a hono said the a busia yam wild, a will be an in a da car hono. It is anticipated, say, a bay quite emotional tea. We a yeah, oh, and now. And we're going to be a one a bar a moon. I da a da cano a moon. Now, ye pay ya note, Mose. Uh, we are in ye ye. Uh, soon qua, we see a general one in a no, will be a so. So far, a moon, I would do a mark on my con a do back on eleven. And now, and there, uh, what ha, yeah, yeah, or some, uh, yeah, day, a ja, a busiano, a year, a more free, a coin crack crano. I know Anna Sabri Ubusua or Channel. So far, uh, my friend in a woman, you know, one more and uno and a uh, who said, Yama, Womuska and Chekrano, Yan Kodera, yes. One qua or the ma, Yenin Yanumi, Yename, Yanado Fee, would you, my dear, or do in this year, Nidin Kron Kron and Unyam? Now yet two more fray, a cra, I shall tune for Yan Kopon and Sir. In the silence of our hearts. Let us thank God. Oma Yemon Pai Yenera Dini and Yam Kopon. Another is also Yadia Yen come for Antonton and Nunyam and Emma. We hear Cassia Shay and then when Nijania Rehu Bremu and Kanka won't cry with the Ma Yemofreya. You may dear would do indeed. Now she shame who are to suffer or some Jemu. Your bomb pie with Jesus Christ didn't move the one show on sir. A radin, I yes, and you know, and it says, So mu, what I will ma, ma, who may win you my power, yeah, what you are for us as you see. Now, of course, our bomb pie, the cray, I show on your mensa. Yeah, the district, I show on your mensa. Now, yes, and it's a yamitan on sour, or main in our so. Now, to your ancient man, it is a radin, my own son, Kabu. I do mean, yamme. Mama Rachel and Yarishimu, Ne Ne Daninara, with Jesus Christ in the Munti. Amen. Adolfo, baby Edri, you bet that will be a rassi. Do you bet the ass up when you so na yajin shira? Asum Jenny and Copona, or Nam Da Pamusi and Guancha Focus and Aradi Jesus Christ for Ufumu. No idea, I'm afraid to me and in Shishimu at Tunsa for our Asum Jimuno. Oman asum jie ene yentina. Oman e bambo ene eduwe yensu. No me arechi chile nene denji nara weja. Oba na sunsu nkrun nkrun di mu. Amen.
sabi uh uno se yama emuno so and no and uh the de echo ambulance uh every I'm a friend of grass, but I say, Yes, 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 I I I I I don't know. And he, uh, who say, Yama, a mono, a and the SCA say, I'm a friend, I come out to back home. Make us a cry, be a high and young one, one more, a mono, sir, one more, yes, here, and answer, one more, a free more, to say, a mono, and ya, and P, and my, and T, a P, and a so, a war, a year, a sunum, as I be a boar for Gusa, a motor share, sir, one bit to me, a mono, sir, and we may be a war, but they are yet to me a discover, one mono, and a cobra say. And then, Busia, a Pawamo Crabbe, a Yaka woman in our Bumu, not Yakra woman in our Ede Abumua, a Koso Hunose, Yama, a Munoso, na Echinia, a de Makai and Ra, a bedroom have a no, no economy and Saho, a home chain. Na uhunu se se eya mamre na se ye den mre wane mame no mo a wo mama atwe wo musun from one end of a palm to the other we sun a kwa na we ye sun e shia no a wo musun sa akopem sa de e chin ye anopai a wo sun no ye fi se e yi wo mo kra ene se 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 ameka se you know enyi wo mo e bi da so e sun this is even the most painful point Uhunu se ya fa wo de hie no na ye de no ekọ ti no ena ama ayare ho ho asisi a e usia e school for ni bi a o matete ti a o se o mani mai wo popo 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 e bi se wo mu mate ena ye de wo mo ekọ no e ya se mo A shanya a day, a moon, a dad, a kermo, a decimo, and a woman said, After something, a war St. Luke Hospital, a Nemo, a year, and a fina, a rabbit, a pea yano, not just a and I'm quite so straight a day, a cock, a year, a mukrabia.
Salam, quoi. Vous voyez, la name à me Et Cabal, ça, d'ailleurs, si c'est là, il y c'est and I am a part of my And the Ugo a a And I Sabri, a twasua Yamaswa Pam Crudium and Ocean T. Etwam Musa Yakop him say. Yea, a
very tragic. Na meka say maybe a year accident. Yen fan say yeah accident. Accident na yeah dia e shed a eba. Accidents are accidents. But I be yes say yeah su yeah di free mo. I say ye pu ye ni na ye shay ye mbano. Nkwa la no biya u biya ba in ye. If ye mwa kwa le biya wo ho biya ni ba wo fi ye in ye. You understand? But ni na na a wo fu no. Ye ya ye jay ye mbano too much ma wo mo jen ya wo mo pe. You have to know, say, if I'm walk, send a bear, I'll be me now 30 minutes. Now we did 35. You have to follow up. And so, we jan is a no pa, who fifty young Cassano. Into me for say, we know me the back a bequama, who for me na, and yet good one cotton. It can happen elsewhere. Baby, I hope you have a cock or ball, or because cotton I came with a walk or be be not tragic. You see, in ten young poor non cotton accident, it's a missy will be a uncle. 
into no precaution, they say, Be a or Shaniba, ye knows a Utu Nibafu. Momokos to Amunia's school in Tete, Yanfa Fienti, and so so young Fanya de Yanfa, Yanfa, and one woman. More from me, I walk with ye, there may be future Dachi, future leaders, our mobile, but not only Guma, but on my Nina. But as you say, you lose one. You lose one, we can never replace them. Into no mere Abbey. A uh, it's a big blow to 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 the family, a pan a pan a town vicinity and everybody. City as me see you be and die. In ten years, it's an American and you be a few few in Kuana as me see. If you be a home, be any president or some uncle for a soft for any sign your man. In ten years, be a no one be a fit in that record you educating Kuala. So we move here. Gathering be and I say, baby, I'm Kualao. This time in Kualano, a yas in Penny Fonny Bacon and Uncle Lankton getting one way, yas, and Mudiagro. All these things must stop. I dare you, best day, we have to ensure. In Tino, your best re, eh, I hear for no bayer one more dear. I hear my phone, the bayer one more dear, Penny for bayer one more dear, but why would Bano? Wouldn't be so way, yas, and in the queer yas, and all coffee as a self training coffee. Into most of the work, no, and you'll be a while born, you know, bear as I say, young as I will for no, yes, and I educate him, but send a bear as soon as you be a fear, fear my ye, nanny, gunny, nanny, and soon as soon as you. In general, where ye are grand, or who to say, my way of barking, more frail, who yourself and any nanny, teacher will put him as he put out my name, Sam for no one. And say, see, I will say a beach and made the one more beach when you are the hour. Those days in one more could be take a school group to be in our more quabbish. I say, teacher, for do one which now to Kuala Bay 20 call a teacher for one more call picnic or beach. Any one more, any a different one more question, any a different. You know that your ch your child is a uh, uh, response, the teacher is responsible for your child. What do Banas say, teaching in San or then Obano? Echo, a different from a colour no no de nepe. Ah, on one or ye de or ye nya ope. In tino, a foot me de be man kwala, and ya wofu. Nkwala nya ne ye wo womu. Inti se ye ne ye control womu. Inti ne se se a wofu no ye to me ye had, ye to me ye stand firm on the children. Se nya maybe wa men ye we men ye say men ye say me for say ye ya and non e bebwa. Se ye to me in jina. I'm fine. I'm in sea form. I'm quite an anxious. I understand. Oh, yes, you cruel way you bring. I yes, I. I quite like to open and say, "What's your problem?" But now, if they hold, then I'm brave. Don't care. Oh, but when they say you, you, you spare the rod and spoil the child. About what? What the baby quite like? I'm quite like to be soon to know from born. Baby, there are certain measures to be as easy as easy. No, ye na no, ye suya na ye di ye na in sea form. Na ye to me boa na unkwala no because woman woman na woman yeng dachi future leaders. Se nebe ya Ghana so be fun in camp you fra. And this every uh, every month, the C E A and Opano E B A and Sana E B Dress and Pen Pen. So yeah, yeah, my mono so I go go cry. Oh, my God, no. Yeah, she the echo so na yenti the echo so and Opano E B.
Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But you now we
Any oil, a police waste. It's a police waste. Okay, you know. I said, One now, one to one then, another. Oh, you are one of the suits. You want to walk and one of the suits. When you need to have another, what then? It's a woman or that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be out there. One to one then. It's a mumbler. Oh, yeah, I <laughs> Mumbai, <laughs> I Ose <laughs>
powers and principalities. There's so much fire inside me. Tragedy struck when part of the largest hillside at the kosher rubbish dump collapsed. We table issues relating to the arts and entertainment for a riveting discussion, of course, without fear nor favor. The question the presenter asked them was a dumb question. You need to speak there, but then move. Varied views. We agree to disagree. So I would disagree with everything you said. I think that he's a smart guy. I think what he no, did. No, but I, I, I also said he's a smart guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess yeah. that I'm waiting for the what next. Yeah, to I don't think that I have. We have to wait for what next. It sometimes gets confrontational. But that's the beauty of the game. I I make I don't know who. You don't know funny face. It's not my brother. You don't know funny face. It's not my brother. You don't know funny face. You don't know funny face. It's not my brother. You don't know funny face. You don't know funny face. It's a package. We meet, we sit, we dialogue, we learn, we progress. My name is Benefo Huabin Abrantepa, a proud blogger, and this is my forum. This season, I will say Obia freedom. Eh, uh, who uh, freedom that book or dear? Can you start the match? I miss you, young freedom and pa. <laughs> so we are brand here. Now tie show football matches or now for Fufia. On your guy. This might be true freedom. <laughs> Powers and principalities. There's so much fire. Inside me. Tragedy struck when part of the largest hillside at the kosher rubbish dump collapsed. We table issues relating to the arts and entertainment for a riveting discussion, of course, without fear nor favor. The question the presenter asked them was a dumb question. You need to speak the fact and move. Varied views. We agree to disagree. So I would disagree with everything you said. I think that he's a smart guy. I think what he no, did. But I, I, I also said he's a smart guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess yeah. that I'm waiting for the what next. Yeah, to be I don't think that I have. We have to wait for what next. It sometimes gets confrontational. But that's the beauty of the game. Oh, I'm not my Today you are in the face. It's, it's not my brother. Today I deny funny face. face. I don't know who. Like, you don't know funny face. It's not my brother. You don't know funny face. Me, my man, on camera. It's a package. We meet, we sit, we dialogue, we learn, we progress. My name is Benefo Huabin Abrantepa, a proud blogger, and this is my forum.
Revelation chapter 22, verse 2. In the middle of its streets and on either side of the river was the tree of life, which bore twelve fruits, each tree bearing its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Hello and welcome to yet another exciting edition of People and Places. On this show, we don't only visit places and learn new things, we also meet people with interesting stories. Today, one such person joins us for an interesting discussion. Did you know that several plants and herbs, some of which we cook um, for consumption, have several other uses? Our guest for today's edition, who calls himself a spiritual herbalist, will be giving us all the details into what makes up some of the herbs that we may know or not. Join us, it's going to be interesting. My name is Lord Harris Idwasari. Welcome back. Now our guest is Reverend Kweku Menu Eric, but he's well known as Reverend Peace. Rev. My brother. Akwaba. Yeah, yeah. Wait, okay. you, you tell us that uh, you deal with spiritual herbs. Yes, please. And tell us more about that. What exactly do you do? Mm. If I a year by home, because your fivefold ministry, I will not make you memo. Apostle or prophet or ho, evangelist, teacher, and then pastor. Mm -hmm. I will not. Now, maybe a prophet by calling. Now, rather than go for free, me know what they have been. I come free, I know. How did that happen? Uh, by revelations and also by dream. And then, uh, I go for discover. I the children my mommy who said, I have been a car, my friend, and no home. It is a no one, you who is our no, and one and more, and you go so, and you may fire you so. I do a dear man. Yeah, I see. Oh, Cassie, oh, ye trail, right? Um, as far as the herbs are concerned, yeah. it, in what mode did it happen? You said it happened in a dream. How did you know that this was what he wanted you to do? At times, I say, my son, I ya. It made them call a year tech forest. Na Diane Munu, me who say me book and a pain, a crammy. T be a forest one, me midru honum, ne be a projector cassia, a bohonum, yea. Na say, I have been winning a better soir, I have been no bow with the name. Any idea I have been no a year. T Diane Munu, I was a metre at the two honum, I have to write it down. My training in our we are no a co, a beer, a dear we, a dear a yen, a dean, they say. It is a dear bachelor, not nin in our committee room. It always in me who is an a me coda, me pain in me book, a da a year, me cast a baby a mitico. Really? Yeah, into many tea or die in my have to write it down, send a baby a mere infi. When when was the first time this happened and when did it when did it start uh, unfolding? Mm. Before I say a shas here, no. Uh, my soft opinion and a dine a dee at the chairman by revelation. Say, oh, who say, you made the such a dear no, Eddie, a mammy, and one thing is, my family muno and her buying, yea, yea, her buying Juma pa. Say, young father, her buying, say, ya rear, ya rear, be a woo, ya said, dear, my family, my idea, a whole family name. You come from a family of herbalists? Ah, uh, family. Omoya have been no say diabetes, tobacco, Yaria who do be brave, a war, a year, a reacidia, my castle will be saying so. My menu and as a mistress from my Danny Danny, the Eddie Chairman, I started from a year dream. Na my son Diana Mihun, a bonsa by revelation, send him in Namsea, it means a haban we see, a dear a yen ye. Me nama me kopia habanyo sobunsa habanyo me te voice sa habanyo e ya di bi kurampa na me nimi di but automatically me te voice se habanyo di di se ne ya di se so bu onu ma na me pesa me di chinya na matibi e di a ye ubi a wosa problem nimu na the end of the day no any penny solution. I see. Now catch a hour 
start here. Yeah, please. Right. Also, um, also, also for painting back with Kacho. Me back here. Yeah, tell me that thing. Want to be able to tell the timeline? How long you've been doing this? Program? Okay, or Kacho, me somewhere 2011. Okay. And uh, Oma, me start professing. So I started by 2012, 2013. Mm. Mm. Now me wo a Bible college mu. And uh, a shas here. So right after that, you know, I talk also. Uh, and the afternoon, uh, day in day out to be a minya da in chemu 72 hours here. It be a minya dream. See, I try to help for fun. I see. Yeah. But oh yeah, call and be this uh, easy because also we we push and from oh my yeah, you know, say the dark yeah. team. Oh yeah, can you didn't see anything like that? I wo a busian na wo a wo a busian once say me can say. A busian mu di ane ye physical side, se eni pano a wo apla brem, ya rebi e danso eno no e wo hono. Into ane di automatically si njia wo tu a busian ima, e ya di automatically e wum. Me 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 wo e ye younger three years, se watu wano ma bunse upia bunti se obeba na habi kulano, upia bunti ya se wo di di a kula bunse obeti a habi. What you have been saying is that you have been a child. You have been a child. You have been a child. I was saying, stop it. I could have been a child for three years. So, I had a family. I had a child. I had a child. I had a family. I had a child. I had a child. I had a child. But I had a child. 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 Who who mu dia no se ubi wo actually that is epilepsy. Ene sas spiritual problems ubi oho no ma promise and fail spiritual marriage ni those kinds of sani emano. Eno ni nyango ponso a discover sa helps ya yeti mi de kutia sa who who mu problem no. Cause epilepsy bi oho no ma e ye spiritual thing. Some of them. Yeah yeah. Me ti ma kase be sixty percent of it. Uh, yes, spiritual. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Indeed. Um, what are some of the the herbs that you work with? Uh, have I any, tell, tell, tell me more about that. Now, uh, have I any idea? A dorsal. A dorsal. Now, the brie was here. I know. Come on, Fabia. Yeah. 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 Precase. Now, what point in the infant shall see in few Okay. Precase. We say, uh, you will be our co baby. A beca say, a nipa as a tunnel. No matter. What he or she would do, and he pass a tunnel. Why, your papa cry near the bonnier Tianica? Or forces or bay yard, dear many packers, ah, he pass me so you good. But or yard, the more now, or ye na na ye bunen tia, precase. Yeah, and no, any panel or pa, obetri chan, you see. Obewa is an obetri chan, obepa macuma cost seven. Seven minutes, say, ye are seven days, and it make you one. Week, so Monday, Tuesday, up to a Sunday. Into any part of the church, we try to say ya. Over one pair of the goods we catch, we are doing our coupons. We need to be at that six seven days, you know. Ya woman, woman, the day born was six seven days, you know. Ah, we are cutting, we are blabum. We can't anymore. Enko, we are busy, we are busy. How many points we are setting on? We are doing our coupons. We are doing our coupons. So the way say can any part of the church, I didn't feel. So right after that, you know, or be born pay a day ago so or the big jarry and you mele boss seven or the big jarry. Why is that then? I continuous it for seven days. Ni amshe ni busy. Aye, prekese. Prekese idea like this. Yeah. Yeah. Prekese dia aye no no. Ena yem fru hono na yem mela sa ahaban busy. We ya fleno a grow. Okay. A grow. At times, I remember the physical use of it. Akura, uwa akura, nese, akura ne fulu manu. Inti mi ente, anase, waya, nese, e pura. We, obe te e guro, we se. Wode be kenja kakra. Uwe ya obe posa. Ube chim e mounsu no. Uwe chim mounsu ne be bana. Wode be gu, e ye, atreso, na wode nkutu. Aka onso, anopa, wode be fefa, e ye, fulu manu. And you mele what the bay and a power the bay within 72 hours. I was a humanity. This will burn the whole year around it. Yeah, within 72 hours, three days, a better at one. And I will anyway, sepa 
Answer ne 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 difference ni yake tuwe. Leaves na. Yeah. We ni mwa ha ba we ni susu chen we see. Okay. We ni afle ni tami u. Tami u. Yeah. We ya di year back to sender. Hey. Obi tormente u. Obi pesa osa u life. Oko we ni ma enko. Baby I'll be kubia ya se we ni pass me si pesu ukun. We aya sa ha man we see. O bete sa ha man we. My brother said, What say now the share book? Now to either Bible book and I import the to cement so an attire so within one week over connect fifty. Habine cake. When you are here, Habine say, Send Martini. Now the two on them. If you crumple it to me, that to a year so far, she will say so. Within one week over by nephew. If you win. A baby fifty of Kunyan also. Really? Yeah. I have been peering in one ma. It means I did no. Apart from that, I'm here with you. Plant of leaf. And now, say be a. What person would you back to send that? What be pe red marker? And I say red pen. Now, any partner or tormentor, any partner or how? No. If you want my wife to be a sim, say you know what? Ni obe can be your juma. Say yes, say any partner, any juma. So, for instance, we need ni pakuro. Ah, we yes, I did no. In two be three. From Monday up to Sunday, mm. at the good sa plant of leaf we see so tamir we see so. The friend is in plant of leaf. Yeah. Plant of leaf. In who? Okay. Yeah. Plant of life. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Plant of life. Mm. Yeah. So we be chile from Monday up to uh, yes Sunday, mm. at the good so. We be chile dini ni na ono wo iye no where by a wind ni ni pakola ebia or torment of life and now one of my life. No why you sad you know at the good plant of life we see so. Okay. We are what the best to a year we pull us. We be that so for three days. Right after that, we will be pray Bible scripture. Ah, a year revenge. Say you the boy down here. Now see BB cause we we be taking revenge. I was sad you know. We Bible scripture be a be come a come be a. We be busy on it now. They are bomb fire. I was so. We are what the best to a year two gym. Fire. Fire. What the best to gym. Now we just no honum. And you mele about seven a bumpire. You know, so I suggest three days. Ni yamche ni pakura wa yesa hadi. But when you put it in fire, won't it burn? Won't it won't it wilt? I mean, ebeche, ebeche. Sashi a eche no. Eno ne beche le empire na wobo e ni ebeye. Into bu oho no ma wose me badi mu shishi me say ya tu me drew ni those kinds of say you know we ya diya back to sender. So bu kuti ya wopa wu ye bi bi e ni ye. And it's oh and. It's always supposed to be in fire. Won't you find two if you are in fire? And your fire and kuwa. It depends on problem now. We will name uno. We will be able to to form the ashe hono. Yeah, answer will be to to form the ashe hono. And no, eh, we need pa ya we be done so. Now ya we no have chronic disease. So eh, yet they have a doctor crown pay you now be face some left in bewu. So I'm confronting at times I no more the chef. Bible says some be consume and not take care of them. Into ni pakura oye saadi eno. Se wu na washi shama ono e de dia on kembiche. Uya sama beka no nuo tutu from the ashe one. But let me come back to you as Reverend Peace. You are a minister of God. I mean, if you are using something like back to sender for vengeful stuff like this, I mean, what does it say about your ministry? The Bible says vengeance is for the Lord, no? And see what I don't know. Open my microphone back to send a name and all those things. I want say one problem, ma. Maybe before you walk, I just had you know. You in church, you said you will see where you are solid. And the solid baby, but now solid them one ma. Be born pay ya your fast na. We nia problem. Eh, the problem na no easy. We nia solution to the problem. Yes. So ni obey ya ni say. Obey free or soft ni na as no ako kumfu ako jemwa. So last minute ni or soft ni one chain ni awo so fast so. Ya sorry ya, anza ni eka sembi se edru, ubi ya kwaji edru, ubi ya kuyese, ubi ya kuyese. Mpeni fubu baby se yangu tia edru mla, enwani ya habani. Se ya eka se sika 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 sika, a habani e yesika. Yeah, ya wo empire wo bebo, ya wo adi wo beye. Those days, ni angoko pon ebo Adam, no adi ni dia Garden of Eden. O mani to me over a year lives eso. E kache ni se ingule muho ni yeme ni na wo ni bino de ba kope. Isi wo se ma onko sevi ano. 
Na dia ba kwa e woman me pesa ahwefo ye hu ni nie. Ye gyai ni ye nyame e dia maye no e ne ye dia kwa koma e ye konfo ni doskan. Onze you see a wo bisa me. Se wo ye sofo na wo te aban ya. Ezekiel 47 verse 12. Si ye ni aduaba no ye mfa na hahan san yade. So obi ye beifo a e ye yare e ne woni pa ne so. Enti ye wa haban ya wo betimi ate na wo dia sa sa beifo ne yare na me tu akọ. Really? So yeah, the father said, "Watch us out." Yeah, what I have been doing, I have seen. So I have been seeing. A friend, I confirm it. Tiko. I confirm it. Tiko. Tiko. Yeah, I confirm it. Tiko. So I have been seeing. But if you be too, before I say which or witchcraft beat me, I too know. Without this one, won't mean too. So you are saying that uh, someone who is possessed or yeah. someone who has a uh, spirit of Witchcraft cannot be exercised without, yeah, without this leave. A, 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 your friend is saying, I confirm it. Yeah, without this one, won't me into. Nani, all you need say, say, oh, two are what takes I have been receiving. We or better, yeah, war a year before beyond a year, na crabwa. A casa crabwa. Uh, the animal in which they turn to. Yeah, very good. Okay. So at the end of the day, no, obi ye kramai, obi ye wo wo, obi ye emu abibri. It depends on the yes sir, any man, any pano, or tiny and sana what to know. Obe te se wo ye wo wa wo te sa di we se biya ne nai kokrumuti no, kokrumuti no. Obe te no aposa ni se insu no adi beso hono. When you are the sohono ma within a short time, obe dane abuano peso wo dane no. Or better than all, no, or copy your person. Or why you can't mind what you will say, or possess, or be a year before be a shame, be a wins and make a secret. What you will say, or be a possess, we say, or possess, or a camera, or the back can he has he knows. So you're saying that every um supposed witch has this plan, and he yeah. it. Yeah, so what you will know, possess, or the back can he honey at the end of the day, Nippon will turn into dog before so beating my copy. So it depends on a Nippon, a year. Be a boa or Danny and Sana were two. Enti sad you will see your son so any a mere tremia, Messa Faso, Eddie to be ye. Sah have I we? Ah, be for no any answer no more to me. We see answer the side you much you are the confirmative. A confirmative. Okay, let me just hold you here. We are speaking to Reverend Peace, he's a spiritual herbalist. He's been telling us uh, some details and secrets about what we may term as regular leaves and plants and its efficacy and some of the things that they can be used for. They are watching people in places, they're taking a short break. Please stay. Powers and principalities. There's so much fire inside me. Tragedy struck when part of the largest hillside at the kosher rubbish dump collapsed. It's going to be fun to see how he goes about approaching this game. Welcome back. So a lot of the foods that we eat are plant-based. Uh, if you cook a lot, you may know what I'm talking about. Uh, we are speaking with Reverend Peace and he's been telling us some of the spiritual effects or spiritual functions of some of these same plants that we are used to. Uh, Reverend Peace, now you were telling us about yeah. a confirmed tico yeah. and how you used to uh, yeah. exercise uh, witches and everything. But yeah. how credible is this? How do we know if this is legit, sir, never yet be your juma. We say, My men shall give him for a ma a year and a shall for free. O be a or say before an answer of a soon who said, O be a year wizard or witchcraft of a soon who said, Nipana or shaven. We want to say a confirmatic we say. One ten a half by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One ten mark, mark, we see seven. Mm. We are one ten, sir, we know. We see no. Mm. One ten bark, and count, one posa. Mm. 
so nya pose wi an suru na beba no onfa nfa ne for her say na mama so na ona obi oye be fu ofi o bia da wadi na ni be hu no o be dane na so ne ne da dem o di na ni be hu ai say yes oh yeah so oye be fu e wo dem ho no na se o ba be dane a wadi na ni be hu no sa de we me chere man bi e wo us mr ernest do say kwatin me chere no na me de ye oyo e de man Oso a person who didn't know who near all yen or what blah boom because a couple be ah yes we yes we yes we but no one found the new one at the end of the day no me the way say aye a dear Edmund perhaps but I could be the kind who am I me the man no I was US my brother so or show me ah or show me or be confirm me me man seven days one find yes idea no well yeah up to six days on the seven day. I call you my boy. What in the sofa chair? We say we will run. We say I send a new come. We see the trust. We say we must say a year the cousin. A pair them one of them. All about the a year a two gun. He came there with the gun. I was pointing on the sofa to be coming. Now we say on call be be answer my side. You need see me. Ne bra ne cousin ne crampo do mu mu ni din da. Ni pa we 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 swa we we swa we. But at the end of the day, we hear side you know. So what, it was, was it that he had a vision or he dreamt or a premonition? I uh, no, any secret here, yeah, uh, what helps him? No. There were three types of uh, revelation. Mm -hmm. There were dream, yeah. now transfer from there, now called transvision. From there, now mm -hmm. a uh, vision and cancer. They said, I knew we didn't come here. I met me when he said, I didn't say, 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 and a trance, you know, or no, fall into trance. Okay. Trance, and they say, me knew we didn't come here. I feel so tired. Now I say me die. I say what the bound die. Mo, and we only say this. So within thirty seconds, we only ne 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 can say no more than ten times. And I say no, we be a no a break. So we can shower here and we go into bed. We go to bed, no so no. And on so on so so, I feel the new one is deep dream. We nyan die pan say. Ne ne kaze ne flow steps. I will do two thirty thirty ten. Up to now, ne kaze ne 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 yaka. Uhu yano so I'm flying on phone so kuna banka say ebi a wane ne kuwa na si bibi ati sel. We ni uhu ni se kim. Eno flying me kachire me. Ena me ne ne bomba ena me chire ni ne wase oye. Up to now. So is this plant worth a lot of? Okay, let me not say a lot of. Some of the pastors used to see. Um, people who are supposedly witches in families. Ah, na minshlo. I'm say na me kan simbi say your fivefold ministry, starting from a year apostle, followed by prophet, and then evangelist, then a year teacher and also pastor. Yes. Na a year prophet, e di ni say wa di ne ni huno ni e koso. E wadi ni anko ponde intas mo di e di chilenu. E wobi a wa year prophet bi e ni aso be ko akoti a habani. And they are kind of near and sana or who knew a dear. And you will be a honor, ma, or none per se. We any mature purpose, you say. When you pan a pursuit, who knew near air cost, who say will be a honor, ma, while ye Thomas, ye, what doubt on your ma will be being, will be being, and a mamma, we say. But will be a year software, me, I have my own honor, but I am not mentioned it. Say, me ba a no, my barber, she say. Kotia habang mi fasu eni so entes at the end of the day ni amiju mani e wumu na ebi be sayeno for a lot of our confobe be mo a ome ba be tia habang da soso mo ni so mu ya ome da jeng krofusi ka edi enye sa an soso na e wase isi enti ya wa habang o hondo ma witi mete edi kan we ni echi at the end of the day we ni baby ba mi yusu because e wa hoda da ye enti a soso ni bi ye di but enye o mo ni na na ye. Mm, yeah, mm, I see. Yeah. Tell me more about some of the other plants. There are there are more. Yeah. We. We. The plant is no for tiny. What? No for tiny. Okay. Now, now, bro, we didn't move plant no saucy tree. Yeah. No for tiny. Now, we say no. Ma, men chere adia kakra. I'm familiar with your name. Hmm. Obia. Oba, ah, was it Yarie? No, so no, we sheep. Nebia Yarie, be a bono. 
I'm at the end of the day, the shape in the narco. Na or breast, ya will be a bono, we will mean your breast cancer. I'm at the end of the day, no, and the breast, no, it me a ticket ticket ticket. Obey ya, we see. Bema, it be a winner, Sir Felix. Brehazia, gonorrhea, and then I say for no treaty, ya, 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 but the penis, you know, and to me, I'm yet large, it is any net here. I bet you can take it, take So, it's essentially, um, for want of a better word, fixes organs that have been damaged because yeah. of sickness. Yes, yes. It's a bit na oyare, and a as a result of a year in it, yeah. it be a, uh, something happens to it, it's yeah. no longer effective. I do in a bay. We. And yes, and yes, she no apofana and then. We need the American sound. Uh, at times, no one. Ubu Honuma, say, which is in the sea, ya. No flow, papa, eh, me pe hips, me to susa, me pe to cassier, me pan and two, me penna for cassier, me pe risi. Meme the end is a men find yet bonnet. Sir, what the end your original? Good, Yamada, Yamada, Mouse, sad, men find your mouth. Yet, won't find me, Mano, and I say, or the year any juma, or the year any juma. Yeah, but, sir, a nipano, Yamade Mano, and at the end of the day, ya will be tea. Ama a phone, a swatia, we, and no dear. Mentioned or eh, we say, Anna, Yame, a beam, and you won't want. May they yet are the end of the many, within a short time. While we are the end, do baby our per se, was stop here, a do can see our pa, Ubijan. Eh, so it doesn't have any limits. Dabby, so what pet is this? Nessa, what talk also, ya, natural, you pick out to him. Yeah, we are no for tonic. Nedia, a yen. Anna will be a was say a crew when you nipped him. Nipped him up to crew to crew, ya re be a ma, or no one with your pins, or to one ma, or call hospital, or must so moon she, but or no one within nipped ya no muse, be be cosso, or to one man and a sorty, no orphan, no or loose wit. We, we the moment chain free. Obey of our home, on washing in the na. Now, own teacher, it has over papa, and no teacher into pieces and getting getting basic. Oh, we are on fence soon. Now, on fence, see just so on no one, no one, on no one, no pa, and you may, and no pa, and you may, on no one, no one, three weeks, one month. Yeah, she lose no waiting in the na, and I say, the waiting in loosening in the na, or best I gain in the back. We sausage tree, sausage tree, yeah, no for telling it, no profit, you know, but why is that? The English name is Sose Tree and the tree name is No Fortune. What is the correlation? I'm saying, 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 i I do say you mean the Dimawa, say original factory settings are only my engine must those days, you know, a idea na yen and no more no more yet. They always practice on it, and at the end of the day, in a year, Juma, at the Mawum, but I may Yamid Dan and Didi Chemino, your worker chairman says, say, oh, be a year by a beer, I didn't know what that and a beer, ya will be. I'm gonna lose so it's not like you are, you are discontent with that, what God has given you. Yeah, yeah. I know, and I make us a phone. But the minimum is the entire friend of Fortenano. Tete one say, Obi, I will, I be a, I will, when you know, for me, now, yeah, get it, get it, and we are, or quasi, yeah, you make us in your mind discover the actual meeting and the friend of Fortenano. Or quasi, you know, cock of fat, now your personal, you know, you will be all I want. If you are my basic free, I say, call honor. If you can see it, it's easy. So it depends on size your open. So this when, is the fruit. Yeah. This is the fruit. Yeah. At the end of the day, what the yes we are being a kesiana open. Mm. And we turn on more flannel for twenty one say the size you know at the set breast. At the set breast. And at the at the same time, so sad so to say a year penis. Mm. Yeah. And t near a train or no. 
na yemfa we say we are the purify nipa this purification this before okay yeah eh uh, na mekan asem ketu e bi e wo eh ye psalms mm-hmm. 51 psalm 51 yeah verse number 7 ka we to me kan ma me yeah psalms 51 verse number 7 na yen hwa de bi wo ho no me say ade bi wo no ma ye kan wan sema Okay. Now it would So Psalm 51 verse 7. Yeah. It says, Purge me with hyssop, mm-hmm. and I shall be clean. Mm. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Okay. Fa a dry you me home bonnet. Now me home effy, jarring me. Now my effita asin in such a man. A dry any. So this is hyssop. Yeah. We and I said, David, a ya bonnet. Now you will be a and cosua. We say, or cotted the side that we say, yes, of we be. Now, what person will soon? We are no dear Jarry. At the end of the day, near Oquaya ya nunti, Emma be be away ye be a uncosono. We ain't it, none of one We say, me war, and peace me a war a year a shanty region. My cousin Kumasia, Yamen nam sadi, we say so, my at the end of the day, almost it, almost a kind. A year assembly members, dear yen ka about we are yet to two year we any radin and coupon farmer so say ebia open promotion awa bla boom and ye man ku ye em mount wa woman sa win ye bonny bi by the beer busien mo no me and na e di winya. So it's not like you are physically sick. This has to do with um spiritual Yeah, yeah. We are spiritual <laughs> side nana mention. So at the end of the day we say Mm. By so be shame, no per se, a beer will you soon know, Cecilia, make Kenya. We uncle Titi, we say be. Will you be beer and coso? A beer or call for promotion be, or call for interview be, or call embassy beer. We uncle Titi, sir, as of we say be, Adriano, one possa, a wound soon, one for a dungeon, and China Bunibino, one for a crack, the crystals. Yeah, one for a crack in womb. A day any day born, one for Yare and Opa. And I do, Unyari, and San Adia Chia, and I did not do Honum Amanaco. O qua, your worship should be a ready to minty, Edibeman. Don't forget, so be kind, some fifty one verse seven, Edia come at the end of the day, a radibeshen home, and Munyam, a man your worship, Nensaka, a hiss of Adra near Yenon. Okay. Let's let's go to the next one. That yeah. I'd like to take it myself. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I do when I say. I mean, it's text in your I don't know our honor. I don't know we the fleno in Pupua in Pupua. You shall give you a hussy. Aha, yes, well, I may come. It's text in your mood. We are the air dorsal. Ubia in Pupua in Pupua. Ubia will say, Ya reject him. Our black boom. O cobe beer near Yinimu. Why, papa, near the bonnie, a tianica, and poop one, we say, We assire attraction. Ya de attract it, a nipper. A wabla boom, obisa metama, so. But bear money bar no co. Me boa o bana, ubi disicana, nesicana, sample no co. We, um, hum, your ma, a ye a dozen. Sa, and poop one, we say, Ya de attract it, a ye a boa foa, a ye in your coop one, you womb. Edo do maba. You will be on ma or ba walkwem with evil spirit. And what deba. What the best sell when you ma. So what this idea we see become one at the end of the day. Nippon or ban when your papa or beko. Ya won magnet and ya won meta. On se sani me nuni ye juma. But oko fa a ye magnet and the aluminium can wa and ye juma. Because of mun shia. Sana we see it ye. It will be on this idea we see be be cano. Na and the papa, young cop, I shed your man, sir, Omra now quemuno. Say Nippon, your papa, or Baba Buan, or Bar, or Betchy. The Becana wants to say, Auntie, how does it work? Obey a crack or tin out, or they are shown who and ask, What do you mean? I want your dear. Oh, I want your dear. But my men for barco and check a year, ya shuffle, made it to move free. We over crack or titty, we see. Now, what it is, we are. What the best share in Sumo, fashion Sumo for three good days, mm. like 72 hours. What the shame we are, 
yi e free mu ensu na aba ho sorry anajo e free be 9 10 me pa che time wo dwa wo mpia bo ntin bi bo mpa ye bi a wo pe egusu ne wo pe se urade nyankopon ye de ma bo guso uria fa wo she won fa soap nka won fa wo she won keke en pe pa won uria kokoda ye ne sa to aso be 3 days ni an hwe ne urade nyankopon be e ye popo a ye sa de ye bun mi Booming. Yeah. Then booming. Opera will juma a coso. Hm. Obu on my will be pharmacist. Obu on my will be restaurant. Obu I will be a juma and coso. A nipper first and any papa. But a nipper may be him. First, now on what me say now I didn't improve. But as I say, in the year you may be. We. Yeah, the year. A nipper be true, go on no more true, go on no more true. We. A poop one. And the idea is again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, does that mean that uh, the uh, mambisa has them? The plants, no. Yeah. Do they? Do some of them have more than one function? Because what you are talking about, I think you said a similar thing. Yeah. With one of these. Yeah. I think this one. Right? Yes. The the anya back to send I think it was for this. Yeah, we need a unit here. We are a unit here now. We are not a castle, so we travel for the Funuma. Okay, yeah. Because okay. those uh, one that you said that if you want the goodness, the beep and cost you my wife. Yes. I never call one and say, Helps, no. Ubi to many helps. And to answer me, can say, Maybe you can't come, but I could be on Sana, maybe can't we see? Say, would it be better for? Yeah, now I was talking about precursor. Uh -huh, good, yeah. good. We see. Yeah, well, soap will be on my mind. I soap no. And how about your media? You soap no. Bro, twenty-seven. Yeah. And I like to say now. Ah, ani. Yeah, I like to say now. And the boys are munching. Yeah. And we say no. Yeah, we have been doing it. It's me here, Juma, be seven. Yeah, wo. They say Saturday we are not making. We a year Juma both spiritual and physical. We be also work ma. Ya di pa. We was severe heart attack. We say we better to Saturday we we say be. Now we are also ordering chene. A good sum ya we are also. We now the we are also pay. On fan to the num only. Only Saturday we say and two or so within best seven days. No one can check in a kumani yadi. Yeah, we are not planning on you. Uncle Checking Shadi. Okay, Mammy Okano Oka said, Um, a jet never be brave. He served us medicine. But the country is going through a national crisis, if I can put it that way, with the coronavirus. We have even gone to the point where we've got different. Versions of it, yeah. different strains. We now have a vaccine. How come? Did, did you first of all get any um, revelation, um, spiritual um, revelation on how to resolve me, any of these? Me that say, sa ya we we say COVID nineteen. Obi ani honu mo be timi atna se. Ewo Africa, no men fa Africa pesi. And Cassam found. Our Becca said, Black person, and I said, Black man and a black woman. And yes, I had the reason. Yeah. Wow. Ghana has a cramp, minim, mea, minion, mom, we are drew. I be be drew. I be been to me, person, do me dinner to that. Minim nipper bed three or more, mercy. I will more drew. It means I are real. By your problem, I want to say. The leaders in the day are not moving. And yet, easy. So, we did a drill back up. Now, you're better at home. And yet, easy. The problem is, I'm here, Nimia, Neko, you will be near. Or seeing your papa. But, war as Reverend Peace. Yeah. Would they, would they call you? First, first of all, when oh habaya it's me it's coronavirus. They say media habaya me wo yeah they boost the health system no. And no any habaya me wo. They were getting the vaccine no. Yeah. 
it me boost on say say are we say 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 with me e boost here your immune system na in timi o e no de me wo ho e yi wo no but me share the nya specific a drug maker say say drug we say e ye coronavirus a drug but me wo a drug so we you weak e we system ni mo a wo no ma a chain energy drink within a short time we be timi o say o bad no as I am strong. And uh, did, you, oh. did you take it up to the uh, FDA? Because I know the uh, plant medicine, they have an association. Did, yeah. you, did you take it? Man Fanko. I don't know Man Fanko. Didn't tell Man Fanko, they said, I'm sorry, I'm going to go. What did you say? I'm going to go. I'm going to go. My brother, say, I really need to make a community for 10,000. I'm going to go. 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 I didn't know you should muno. I just saw that you a bit more sad. You see, a bit more sad. You see, no, 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 but how we say, say Drew Wilson Kwadi, yeah, the court now almost one year. That means the view of Hono. But I know I'm saying, Bri, I'm on the phone, I'm fired. Oh, to me some kind of thing, to me can. I want him. I do need the name of Dom. Actually, be a say a base we need pay him re. It will system him. We need pay. O pedja no one ye ye. O pedja no one no a share say. Say or per se, the system no you so stronger. And you didn't have me or do me be ah, you to me and not your menam so the sad in my area. Yeah, yeah, very peace. One last thing, one said, Never working nano, a more motion, a via so Munya a journey be no more chance and our moon say a age man as an age man. But you per se, you say, how how credible is it? Is it is it something we should believe? Who bits me a chair a baby like on the sets? Near who said this thing is legit? Near mechanism, yeah. What sa haban you see? Em ya se a dry. Now, mama work in biashi. Me se ubi tibi ya. Masumi. Ose ose a a dry. Yeah, a dry. Neka wose a ye fresh. Niya mwadi. We adia a ye no. Me ya ba be kimbi ashi. Adia a ye ni se sa haban we se. Ubi a wase we ni a tinka. Ni feelings a wo form. Na a ye. Na na pesa me fadi. Na bi me me pesa u tasty ashe a ye ni tasty no. Na unhun. Aye, aye, friend from to say sugar. Oh, yeah. Oh, we are friend from to say sugar. Never anything. We, ah, eh, it's not the flavor no yet. Break who any? Break who any? Break who any? Now, sir, break who any? We say no. Yeah, we na ban kasa kasa o hano. Na na ban it here. I'm not saying money never can wash them. We, say Obi, as a sad in a year. So I think I make us a found a area. In this will be shame. That's what was our problem. Be a man in ferry. Because we to make a worry. Yeah. And we say, and I so far meet my cousin, meet my children. I was said to you so. Say, we to me. I to be saying now, worry. And we be on him, sir, because we say, be piano. And our pa, uncle, a year, baby, a motor helps. No one cast will be any. I'm the man on TV. No one will shy you. What's the difference between break any uh, no fourteen or the whatever? No fourteen. Yeah, 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 I have been, you know, yeah, well, I have been doing me bit to my salary, bare thing. Okay. Yeah, I have been doing the other one, me bit to my salary, bare four. Yeah, the other one, I'm planning to do the other one, I'm going to do the other one. 
Enti sa habe ya wo wo se se mele ma ya kwanya meti me ya ban ba ko ana dia ba ko aba ba ko meti ma chere o eya spiritual and the physical uses of it meti ma chere se we spiritual eya juma be 15 ama bu bu ni na so physical eya juma be 10 ba ba kwa ko fa foforo no e be ya juma bi a be 3 spiritual physical be ya juma be 10 okay aha enti we se dia eya no eya different we Say, Ya will be in Pedianima, a sa. We say, and so so, a ye say, and I will say, so I never call on a set men from Kaun. Say, Ubi, I walk up my area. On say, yes, I can, we say no, as I be pia. A my area wanted to we say, na na bano, a nahum, a na, na, you know, the leaves, the leaves, no. On whom wanted to be brave, no one chin up to him. Now, on far and fra a war. Hmm, okay. On them, I no pay we any number. I no pay we Within a month, ni anche. I've been married this so many years. Ebeko. Ebeko. Yeah. Reverend Peace. Thank you so much for your time here. You're uh, we've learned a lot. Um, mean to mean, cause it me a kai kai. Ah. Yeah, me kai bibi tiko. I confirm tiko. Me kai no fortune. Me kai back to sender yeah but yes this has been today's edition of people and places we have been speaking to reverend peace he's also known as um reverend kweku menu eric he's been he's a spiritual herbalist and he's been telling us some uses spiritual uses of um, plants that we may or may not have known um, earlier join us in our next episode my name is lord harris Idosari. Construct final treatment and disposal sites for solid and liquid waste. Nine, provide dedicated support for the annual maintenance and management of major landfill sites and other waste treatment plants and facilities across the country. Ten, construct medical waste treatment facilities to prevent the generation of infectious diseases, especially under the coronavirus treatment program. Mr. Speaker, these are all very critical investments that have to be made for the benefit and dignity of all Ghanaians. These will ensure sustainable sanitation management, improve the quality of life, and reduce the number of deaths and diseases from poor sanitation. To provide the requisite resources to address these challenges and fund these activities, government is proposing a sanitation and pollution levy, SPL, of 10 pesos, 10 pesos, on the price per liter of petrol or diesel under the Energy Sector Levies Act, ESLA. Energy Sector Recovery Levy, Delta Fund. Mr. Speaker, it will be recalled, yes, Bola tax, to clean up our environment so that you are not afflicted by diseases. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, it will be recalled that when crude oil prices increased substantially between 2017 and 2018, government abolished excise taxes and reduced special petroleum tax from 17.5% to 13% to mitigate the impact on domestic petroleum prices. However, due to the difficulties faced by economy arising from higher excess capacity payments in the energy sector, which have not reflected in energy tariffs. Despite its substantial progress made by the Kufuado government, there is a need to find additional resources to cover the excess capacity charges that have resulted from the power purchase agreements, PPAs, signed by the previous administration, 
which required payments of capacity charges even when the plants involved were idle or unutilized. Mr. Speaker, it has become very necessary for government to consider a review of the energy sector levies. The energy sector recovery levy of 20 pesos per litre on, on petrol diesel products under the ESLA is hereby submitted to this House for approval. Mr. Speaker, I should note that on the basis of existing world crude oil prices, the implementation of two of the two proposed levies for sanitation and pollution, as well as to pay for excess capacity charges, would result in a 5.7 increase in petroleum prices at the pump. Mr. Speaker, the data shows that under the Akufuadu government, the increase in petroleum prices is the lowest in the Fourth Republic. And the data shows. Mr. Speaker, in the year 2020, for example, there was a cumulative net decrease in petroleum prices at the pump by 7.46% and diesel by 9.53%. Between 2009 and 2012, average petroleum prices increased by 29.5% annually. Between 2013 and 2016, average petrol prices increased by 24% annually. Between 2017 and 2020, average petrol prices increased by 8.26% annually. So speaker, statistics, data don't lie. Mr. Speaker, this confirms the fact that there are better managers of the economy recognized by all. Mr. Speaker, the financial sector cleanup and the refund of monies to depositors have restored investor confidence and protected the hard earned savings of millions of Ghanaians. However, this has come at a huge cost of over 21 billion to government and indeed to the state. Mr. Speaker, government will therefore introduce a financial sector cleanup levy of 5% on profits before tax of banks to defray outstanding commitments in the sector. The levy will be reviewed in 2024. Road tolls. Mr. Speaker, to maintain improvement on our roads, and all of us in this house, uh, every now and then demanding of the Minister for Roads improvements in our road network, and indeed improvement in our roads. Mr. Speaker, to maintain the improvement on our roads, Government will review existing road tolls and align them with current market rates. This will form part of the framework for promoting burden sharing as we seek to transform our roads and infrastructure, infrastructure sector in a post-COVID era. Mr. Speaker, furthermore, in 2021, we will amend the fees and charges miscellaneous provisions act 2018 that governs the setting of rates and tolls to accommodate an automatic annual adjustment that will be pegged to previous year's average annual inflation as published by the Ghana Statistical Service. Mr. Speaker, in 2021, the GRA will intensify audits and institute measures to recover all outstanding debts and enforce collections in the extractive industry. A study of the downstream petroleum sector indicates now, there is still the challenge of underreporting and evasion of taxes by some industry players. The GRA, in conjunction with the relevant agencies, will mount a campaign to deal with these unlawful acts. Mr. Speaker, gaming has become a major income earner all across the globe and a significant source of government revenue. The influx of online betting and automation of the once totally manual process has changed the character of revenue sources from that industry. It is estimated 
that Ghana loses over 300 million Ghana cities annually in revenue due to leakages in the sector. The Ministry of Finance and the Ministry for the Interior would co-supervise the gaming industry and will soon consult with stakeholders to formulate a comprehensive policy to improve revenue mobilization from the source. COVID-19 support. Mr. Speaker, government in 2020 outlined a number of initiatives to cushion the effect of the pandemic on the populace. Some sectors of the economy and sections of the population, however, continue to suffer the devastating consequences of the pandemic. Government is therefore rolling out these additional reliefs for different sections of the population, especially those hardest hit by the pandemic. One, tax rebate. Provision of a rebate of 30% of the income tax due to companies, hotels and restaurants, education, arts and entertainment, and travel and tours for the second, third, and fourth quarters of 2021. Tax stamps. Suspension of quarterly income tax installment payments for the second, third, and fourth quarters of 2021 for small businesses using the income tax stamp system. Vehicle income tax. Suspension of quarterly installment payments of the vehicle income tax for the third, fourth, and fourth quarters of 2021 for trotros and taxis as part of measures to reduce the cost of transportation. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, in line with your pause for effect, your system of pause for effect, can I repeat this? Suspension of quarterly installment payments of vehicle income tax for the third and fourth quarters of 2021 for truck trusts and taxis as part of measures to reduce the cost of transportation. <laughs> extension, Speaker, the fourth, extension of the waiver of interest as incentive for early payment of accumulated tax arrears. A waiver of penalty and interest on accumulated tax arrears up to December 2020 to reduce cash flow challenges for companies and individuals who arrange terms of, with GRA to pay up the principal by September 2021. Beneficiaries of these reliefs will have to be registered with GRA and must have filled their first quarter tax obligations. Mr. Speaker, total expenditure, including clearance of arrears, is projected for 2021 at 113.75 billion, equivalent to 26.2% of GDP. This represents a, a growth of 13% above the outturn of 100.052 billion recorded in 2020. Mr. Speaker, wages and salaries are projected to amount to 25.799 billion and constitute 22.7% of total expenditure, including arrears clearance for 2021. As a percentage of GDP, the wage bill is projected to be 5.9% in 2021 compared to 6.5% recorded in 2020. Use of goods and service is also projected at 5.967 billion or 1.4% of GDP. This represents 5.2% of projected total expenditure, including arrears clearance. Mr. Speaker, Interest payments are projected at 35.864 billion, equivalent to 8.3% of GDP in 2021. Of this amount, domestic interest payments will constitute about 79.1%, an amount of 28.368 billion Ghana cities. Transfers to statutory funds 
as well as all other earmark funds, are estimated at 18.081 billion, that is 4.2% of GDP, representing 52.2% growth over the recorded outturn of 2020. Mr. Speaker, capital expenditure is projected at 11.423 billion, that is 2.6% of GDP in 2021, a decline of 5.7%. 5.5% over the 2020 outturn. Of this amount, domestic finance capital expenditure is estimated at 3.31 billion, that is 0.8% of GDP. An amount of 8.112 billion Ghana cities has been estimated for foreign finance capital expenditure and this will be funded by a combination of project grants and loans. Mr. Speaker, based on the estimates for total revenue and grants, and total expenditure. The 2021 fiscal operations will result in an overall fiscal deficit of 41.298 billion, equivalent to 9.5% of GDP. Financing of the fiscal deficit will come from both domestic and foreign sources. Net domestic financing will amount to 25.424 billion, that is 5.9% of GDP, while net foreign financing will amount to 15.870 billion, amounting to 3.7% of GDP, and will include a planned international capital market program to raise up to five United States billion dollars, of which 1.5 billion will be used to support the implementation of the 2021 budget, and the rest for liability management. Speaker, a corresponding primary deficit equivalent to 1.3% of GDP is also projected for the year. Now, update on key programs. The programs and activities being implemented by the MDAs and the MMDAs are based on Ghana's medium-term national development agenda 2018 to 2021, as well as the Ghana Beyond Aid agenda. The programs also aim to attain the objectives and targets arising from our international commitments with regard to the UN Agenda 2030, that's the SDGs, and the African Union Agenda 2063. Mr. Speaker, as I indicated earlier, the health and economic consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic has adversely impacted the delivery of the planned programs and activities of MDAs and MMDAs approved in the 2020 budget. However, it is projected that the rollout of the government's vaccination plan, which started in March this year, will expedite a resumption of full economic activities and facilitate the implementation of the planned programs and activities in the 2021 budget. Mr. Speaker, I will therefore highlight the performance of key sectors in 2020, as well as programs and activities planned for the implementation in 2021. Health. Mr. Speaker, in pursuit of government's health infrastructure drive, including Agenda 111, the Ministry awarded contracts for the construction of 101 district hospitals, seven regional hospitals, and three psychiatric hospitals. In 2021, the implementation of these projects would continue. In addition, the following health infrastructure projects were completed in 2020. Staff housing for four district hospitals at Chifu Prasso, Tepa, in Soko, and Bequai district hospitals. District hospitals in Sola, Tolon, Somenya, Buipe, Huita, and the Polyclinic in Bamboy. Nine chips components at Weaboman, Greater Accra region, Achirifo, Buno, 
region kofia sua bono region man manti wareso bono half region amachi krom bono region miriam free wo bono region sam proso ashanti region ko forodia ni ofenso ashanti region akaso western region Mr. Speaker, to expand health workforce, government recruited 58,191 personnel into the various agencies in the health system. Out of this, 50,970 were permanent staff, and the remaining 7,000 were temporary workers in 2020. Mr. Speaker, in 2021, government will continue with the construction of the following health infrastructure projects. The Koforidua Regional Hospital, Shama District Hospital, the La General Hospital, the Tema Regional Hospital, reconstruction of the Central Medical Store, District Hospital in Kranza, Accident and Emergency Center, Doma Hospital. Education. Mr. Speaker, in line with the commitment to ensure adequate logistics for effective administration of schools and educational directories, Government procured and distributed 840 pickup trucks and 350 buses. In addition, 2,000 motorbikes were distributed to circuit supervisors to enhance monitoring in their line of duty. The speaker, in recognition of the basic education program level, in recognition of the import important role of infrastructure in the quest to provide basic education for all children, a total number of 195 basic education projects were completed in 2020. In 2021, government will continue with those ongoing infrastructure projects. Mr. Speaker, government in 2020 absorbed the examination registration fees for 403,878 candidates from the public junior high schools across the country. In 2021, the registration fees of 416,066 candidates from public junior high schools will also be absorbed. The speaker, can I take that again? In 2021, the registration fees for 416,066 candidates from public junior high schools will also be absorbed. The speaker, the implementation of the free senior high school program has resulted in increased demand for secondary education. The total number of beneficiaries from the 2019-2020 academic year was 1,200,580 was 1, students. A total of 539 projects out of the 1,119 senior high school infrastructural projects have been completed to accommodate the increased enrollment of free senior high school students. In addition, government completed 28 community day senior high school e-blocks under the secondary education improvement program. Mr. Speaker, government has invested a large amount of resources to increase access and improve quality of TVET education by expanding infrastructure through the construction of new institutions and upgrading of facilities in existing technical universities as well as technical and vocational institutes. Mr. Speaker, to make colleges of education freely accessible to all eligible students and trained teachers to drive quality education provision an amount of 78,857,120 Ghana cities was disbursed to a total of 47,135 teacher trainees in all public colleges of education for the second semester of 2019-2020 academic year. In 2021, Mr. Speaker, an amount of 171 million 241,500 Ghana cities will be paid 
for the first and second semesters of the 2020 and 2021 academic year. Energy. The speaker, in 2020, the country had adequate generation capacity to meet the demand for domestic, commercial, and industrial customers. The 200 megawatts of Mandi Power project was approximately 98% complete and currently at the last phase of commissioning. Phase 1A of the 400 megawatt early power project, 147 megawatts, that's the phase one, is currently going through commissioning. In 2021, the Ameri plant will be relocated to Kumasi to help stabilize the national grid. Mr. Speaker, the power purchase agreement renegotiations aimed at reducing capacity charges and consequently the overall cost of power generation are ongoing. The third round of negotiations has commenced following the approval of recommendations submitted by the negotiating team. Subsequently, Mr. Speaker, renegotiations were concluded with Senate Energy Limited and discussions with AXA Energy Company Limited are nearing completion. Mr. Speaker, following the approval of the Polygu Multipurpose Dam Project by Parliament, pre-commencement activities as well as engagement of the owners engineer to provide technical support to VRA to supervise and manage the EPC contract has commenced. Mr. Speaker, to strengthen our national grid, the following projects, which are various stages of completion, will continue in 2021. Lot one, the Kumasi Kintampo of the 330 KV Kumasi Borgatanga transmission line project is nearing completion. The 161 KV Volta Achimota Malam transmission line upgrade project has an overall works completion rate of 53% for the Volta Achimota section and 31% completion rate for the Achimota Malam transmission line. Remedial works on the Abuazi Prestia 330 KV transmission line is 90% complete, and construction works of the A4BSB Pokwasi Bulk Supply Point is 92% complete. Mr. Speaker, other projects to be pursued in 2021 include the construction of a new substation at Dunkwa on a fin, reconstruction of the overaged 161 KV transmission lines from the Abuazi through Dunkwa to Asamiinso with higher capacity and reconstruction of the existing 330 KV and 161 KV Abuazi switchyards. Mr. Speaker, a total of 388 out of the 560 communities were commit, connected to national grid under the Rural Electrification Program. The national electricity access rate increased from 84% in January 2020 to 85.17% by the end of December 2020 with over 10,000 communities so far committed, uh, connected to the national grid. In 2021, the ministry will ensure and monitor the completion of ongoing SHEP 4 and SHEP 5 projects across the country. Various electrification projects in the northern, northeast, Savannah, eastern, and Volta, Ashanti, western, western north, Ahafu, Bono East, and Bruy regions, among others, will also be undertaken. 766 towns will be connected under these projects in 2021. Mr. Speaker, in line with our commitment for a green economy, a total 26 megawatt plant out of the 50 megawatt plant solar project undertaken by the Bui Power Authority was commissioned on the 27th of November 2020. The remaining 24 megawatt plant and a one megawatt plant floating solar plant is expected to be completed by the third quarter of 2021. Mr. Speaker, total crude oil production achieved from the three producing fields totaled 66.93 million barrels from January to December 2020, translating to an average daily production 
of 183,862.13 barrels. A total of 88.53 88 million standard cubic billion standard cubic feet of gas translating to average daily gas export of 2.41 mm SCF was delivered for power generation and non-power gas users. Mr. Speaker, in 2021, the main ministry will continue the negotiation of petroleum agreements and monitor activities on the Jubilee, the TAN, and the SGN fields. The projected production from the three producing fields in 2021 is expected to yield a total of 57.3 million barrels of oil and 93.07 billion standard cubic feet of export gas at a daily average of 156,986 barrels of oil and 254,986 Point three million standard cubic feet of gas, respectively. Development of a petroleum hub. Speaker, the Petroleum Hub Corporation Bill was passed by Parliament in the law on the 23rd of October 2020. In 2021, we will ensure the setup of the operationalization of the Petroleum Hub Development Corporation. Preparatory activities such as the conduct of a strategic environmental assessment, spatial planning, and land acquisition activities towards the development of the hub will be continued. Security, crime management program. Speaker, in 2020, to preserve the peace and security of the nation, the Ghana Police Service deepened the intelligence-led policing through gathering of critical intelligence for effective and efficient combat of criminals in a proactive manner. Speaker, 709 office cadets graduated and 2,335 recruit officers passed out of the Ghana Immigration Service GIS Academy and Immigration Service Training School, respectively, at Asin Fusu. The service arrested a total of 5,448 other nationals for breaching immigration laws and penalties were imposed and fines collected from the offenders. In addition, 28 of the offenders were arraigned before the law courts. The ministry, through the Ghana Prison Service, will continue with the construction of the Swan Prison Remand Project and other prison construction projects, train 2,200 inmates in technical and vocational skills and provide formal education for 1,000 others. It also builds the capacity of 1,350 personnel who have recently been recruited. Mr. Speaker, defense. The Ghana Armed Forces continue to complement internal security in 2020. It collaborated with other security services to offer assistance to civil authorities to ensure peace and security. The operations include Operation Calm Life across the entire country, Operation Sit Down, Look at the Borders. The Ghana Armed Forces assisted the Ghana Police Service, local government and rural development, and Zoom Lion Limited in Operation COVID Safety. The speaker, in 2021, the Ghana Armed Forces will continue to conduct operations aimed at law enforcement at sea and shore at sea and ashore. These operations include the water lake patrols, drug enforcement in support of the Ghana Maritime Authority and the Narcotics Control Commission. The construction of a forward operating base at Ezinlobo, Western Region, as part of the government's national strategic plan to protect the country's oil, gas, and other natural resources is 10% complete. Government also gave approval for the establishment of 12 additional forward operation bases and three logistics centers along the northern borders of the country to prevent cross-border crimes and terrorist infiltrations. Infrastructure works on the 500-bed military hospital 
at Afarin Kumasi is 85% complete as of December 2020. Overall completion factoring the installation of medical equipment is at 58%. The ministry in 2021 will ensure completion and use of the facility. National security. Speaker, the National Intelligence Bureau, NIB, the National Signals Bureau, NSB, counted the terrorism associated e-crimes, violence and organized crimes and other national security threats. Mr. Speaker, in 2021, these agencies will improve the capabilities of intelligence gathering, dissemination, and special operational activities among the security and intelligence agencies. Road and bridge construction. Mr. Speaker, His Excellency the President, Nadu Nankwekufuado, in presenting the message on the state of the nation, declared 2021 at the second year of roads. Speaker, with this declaration, we will continue the prioritization of road construction. Government will continue to pursue the following ongoing projects that are at various stages of completion under the Sino Hydro Master Facility. Speaker, the Accra Inner City Roads, about 84 kilometers, the Kumasi Inner City Roads, 100 kilometers, the Tamale Interchange Project, which is about 60% uh, complete, the PTC Roundabout Interchange Project, Takradi, Adenta Dodua Dual Carriageway, the Sunyani Inner City Roads, 39 kilometers, Western Region and Cape Coast Inner City Roads, 32.19 kilometers, upgrading of selected feed roads in Ashanti and Western Regions, construction of Hohoi Jessica Dodi Pepesu Road, 66.4 um, percent uh, kilometers, which is 32 percent complete now. Mr. Speaker, government will also continue with some ongoing projects which have seen significant progress as follows. The Insawam Apedra Road, the northbound Kwafu uh, Chrome Apedra Road, 33 kilometers, which is about 39% complete. Apedra Bunsu Road, 23 kilometers. The Bogatanga Boku Pomakum, 116 kilometers, which is 31% complete. The Nkwanta Uti Damanko Road, 50 kilometers which is 54% complete. Oti Damanku Napanduri Road, 209 kilometers, which is 77% complete. The Berekum Saekwa Road, 34.6% uh, kilometers, which is 88% complete. The dualization of the whole main road, totaling 10.5 kilometers, which is 55% complete. The Teshi Link Road, 7.5 kilometers, 77 percent. The whole Fume Road, 18.4 kilometers, about 93 percent complete. The Borga Boku, from kilometer 12 to 24.5, um, a stretch of 12.5 kilometers, which is about 100 percent complete. The Wa Wale Wale Road, 57 kilometers is 55 percent complete runabout between the Jisu and Kwame Kuma University of Science and Technology 87 percent complete and the rehabilitation of the new abrim of Fuasi Kuma Road 38 kilometers which is 58 which is 15 percent complete Mr. Speaker in 2021 works are also expected to commence on the following major pipeline projects Construction of the Dufo Adidome Asukuma Junction Road, um, 63.1 kilometers. That is construction of Dufo Adidome Asukuma, 63.1 kilometers. And um, the Asuchari, the Junction 39. Road and as you the interchanges there uh, would also be constructed. 
The interchanges at Dufo, at Dumi, and Asukuma Junction will also, Mr. Speaker, will be done. Construction of bridge over the Volta River at Volivo. Construction of the Swami Interchange will be done. Rehabilitation of the Tatali Zabzugu Yendi Tamale Road, 165.8 kilometers. Speaker will be undertaking rehabilitation of the Zabzugu Nakwali Bimbila Road, 73.6 kilometers will be done. The rehabilitation of the Dome Kitasi Road, 19.5 kilometers. Design and construction of the Buipe, Yape, and Daboya bridges, the three bridges will be constructed. Construction of the Tema Aflao Phase 1 Road, 17 kilometer, kilometers to be done. Construction of the Tema Akosombo Road, 64.7 kilometers. Speaker will be, will be done. Rehabilitation of the Asin Praso, Asin Fosu Road, Phase 2, which is 60 kilometers. Construction of the Tema Motorway, Runabout Phase 2. Supply of installation of bridges component for 50 steel bridges. Rehabilitation of the Kumasi Inner City, um, already mentioned 100 kilometers. Asphaltic overlay of selected streets in Accra and Tema, 100 kilometers. Rehabilitation and upgrading of selected streets in Tamale and Yendi, Nalerigu, Walewali, Gambaga, and Damongo, about 100 kilometers of these will be done. The speaker works progressively on the Pokuasi and Obichabi Lamte circle interchanges under the Accra Urban Transport Project. Work is expected to be completed on these projects by the end of 2021. Works are ongoing on the construction of seven bridges in the northern region. These are located in Kulun, Garu, Ambalara, Kulungugu, Doninga, and Sicily. Overall, fiscal projects stand at 97%. What on all these bridges are substantially complete? Mr. Speaker, overall progress of five Belgian bridges and 13 Spanish bridges are 70% and 100% respectively complete, as well as repair works carried out on the following. The Kaneshi Bridge, West End, Ashaiman Tunnel Bottom Slab, the Malam Interchange, and the Afienya Bridge. The Ministry's Public Private Partnership Program for the Financing, Construction, and Management of Rural Infrastructure is progressing steadily. Four projects are at different stages of preparation. They include the Accra Tema Motorway PPP project, the 31.7 kilometer stretch, the Accra Cape Coast Takra DPPP project, which involves 208 kilometers, the Accra Kumasi Expressway project, 245 kilometers, the development of the te Tema Arterial Roads, also to come under PPP, would also be done. Mr. Speaker, food and agriculture. The ministry continued with the implementation of a successful planting for food and jobs program. In 2020, in order to mitigate the effect of COVID-19 pandemic on food production, the ministry enhanced farmers' access to production inputs and increased the plant beneficiary target of 1.2 million to 1.4 million. A total of 1,736,000 510 farmers benefited from subsidized fertilizers and improved seeds under the Planting for Food and Jobs program. Speaker, under the Rearing for Food and Jobs program, the ministry procured 531 improved breeds of small ruminants, pigs, and poultry for distribution to farmers. The speaker, The ministry, as I said, procured 531,000 improved breeds of small remnants, pigs, and poultry for distribution to farmers. Not five 
chicken, per farmer. Mr. Speaker, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the Ghana Irrigation Development Authority continued with the construction of various irrigation projects which are yet, which are at various stages of completion. The Tamni phases one and two, which is 90% and 50% respectively. The Improvement phase two, 90% rehabilitation and expansion of existing schemes at Tono. A tunnel, which is 95 percent, the Kong irrigation scheme, 61 percent, and, and Kong left bank irrigation project, which is 72 percent complete. In 2021, the ministry will complete the construction of the Tamni phases one and two, the improvement phase two, and resettle displaced persons in the reservoir area. Mr. Speaker, as part of the efforts to reduce the fall army worm infestation to the barest minimum, 89,060 liters and 11,630 kilograms strategic stocks of insecticides were procured and sprayed on all affected land areas. A total of 261,147 hectares was sprayed and the loss of about 652,867 metric tons of maize valued at 783,440,400 Ghana cities was prevented by the spraying that was done on the four army areas. Mr. Speaker, in 2021, the ministry will procure 97,000 liters and 14,000 kilograms of insecticide for control of the full army worm. Cocoa production, cocoa sector, cocoa production and pricing. Speak at the, co the producer price of cocoa for 2020 and 2021 crop year was increased by 28% from 8,240 per ton, Ghana City per ton, to 10,560 Ghana cities per ton. Cocoa Boss crop review for 2020 and 2021 year projected a production figure of 896,000 metric tons. By the end of February 2021, cocoa taking over stood at 771,461 metric tons which puts the country on course to achieve its target. Mr. Speaker, Gender, Children, and Social Protection Program provided one hot, nutritious meal per school day per, for children in basic schools. A total of 2,980,000 pupils in 8,683 basic schools benefited from the program in 2020. This will continue in 2021. Mr. Speaker, the LEAP program made payments to 335,013 households benefiting 1,451,747 individuals nationwide in 2020, demonstrating government's care for its citizens. In 2020, the ministry will validate data to scale up the beneficiary households from 335,013 to 350,000 households. Judicial service. The speaker, in 2020, the following courts, Garo District Court, Bongo District Court, Soutuam District Court, Mansour Dubia District Court, and Masaman High Court were commissioned and automated with direct transmission systems, which allows for real-time production of court proceedings during court sittings. 
Mr. Speaker, government will commence the construction of a multi-purpose multi judicial training institute in Accra in 2021. Additionally, the Mankasim Court Complex in the Infantiman Municipality, as well as the High Court Udumasi Krobo in the Lower Manya Krobo Municipality will be opened in 2021. Parliamentary business. Mr. Speaker, in 2020, 49 out of the 60 bills presented were passed into law. During the same period, 36 instruments laid before the House entered into force. The House also admitted 40 statements while 42 parliamentary questions were asked and responded to by ministers. The Speaker, Parliament will continue to discharge its constitutional obligations through the performance of its representation, legislative, financial oversight, and deliberative functions. These functions, among others, entail considering various bills and legislative instruments, ratifying loans and other international agreements presented to the House. In 2021, to enhance the efficiency of Parliament in discharging its constitutional oversight obligations on the transformative agenda of government, a number of initiatives will be continued. These include the e-Parliament project, the table office management information systems, geographic information systems, and the budget and fiscal analysis office. Mr. Speaker, it is expected that enough provision would also be made for the recruitment of research assistants for the 275 members of parliament. Mr. Speaker, transport. Government continued its program of modernization of the country's seaports to position them as a leading container hub within the West African sub-region. At the Temap port, three beds of the dedicated container terminal MPs Terminal 3 were completed and are in operation. The remaining berth has progressed ahead of shuttle and is expected to be completed in 2021. At the Takradi port, the development of a container and multi-purpose terminal by Ibistec Limited, a wholly owned Ghanaian company, is progressing steadily. The marine and dredging works have been completed and construction of a 600 meter key wall will be completed in 2021. Mr. Speaker, a 30 year concession agreement was executed between Ghana Shipping Authority and Ashanti Port Services Limited to develop an integrated logistics terminal at Buankra. This will decongest the Tema port and facilitate transit trade, especially to landlocked countries of Burkina Faso. Mali and Niger in the context of the Africa continental free trade area. Mr. Speaker, to ensure safe launching and landing of artisanal fishing, as well as create and maintain hygienic environment and create job opportunities within the fishing communities, a total of nine landing sites selected for development are at various stages of completion. The Tazim, Discov, Marie, Mumford, Winneba. Azim is 59% complete. Discov, 58% complete. Marie, 48% complete. Mumford, otherwise referred to as Joma, 46% complete. Winneba, 29%. And Senya Breku, 91%. Gomua Fete, 82%. Aviation Development Program. Mr. Speaker, government over the years has earmarked, has embarked on massive infrastructural developments to facelift existing airports to meet international standards. Key amongst these are, one, expansion of both Kumasi and Tamale airports. In 2021, both projects are expected to be completed and open to general public. Rehabilitation works on the Sunyani Airport Phase 1 is about 93% complete and is expected to be completed in 2021 for the airport 
to resume operations. The Speaker, as part of government policy to ensure that all regional capitals have at least one aerodrome to improve connectivity and boost tourism, feasibility studies for the development of an airport in Cape Coast has commenced. Other sites identified for construction of aerodromes include Apoa in Poho, Yendi, Moli, Navrongo, Paga, Ketikrachi through public private partnerships. Communications and digitalization. Mr. Speaker, funding has been secured for the development of 2016 solar powered cell sites to cover at least 25% of the population which is unsaved. At the end of December 2020, 410 out of the 2,016 sites were built across the country. In 2021, the remaining 1,606 sites will be completed. In line with government's digitalization agenda and commitment to expenditure controls, the national e-procurement system was deployed in 2020 for the following five pilot entities. Department of Feeder Roads, Ghana Cocobots, Ghana Health Service, Kofodua Technical University, and the Tema Metropolitan Assembly. Scaling up of the system to 200 additional entities is programmed for the year ending 2020. Local governance, decentralization, and rural development. Mr. Speaker, Using the District Assembly's performance assessment tool, an amount of $185,931,850 Ghana cities was transferred to qualifying MMDAs as investment grant allocation to support the implementation of respective 2020 annual action plans and budget. In 2021, the Ministry will conduct a performance assessment using DPAT for 260 assemblies based on 2019 financial year performance. Mr. Speaker, the Ministry of Local Government, Decentralization and Rural Development through the Department of Community Development is promoting the Alternative Livelihood Program in 18 illegal mining affected districts. In 2021, the community of the Department of Community Development will retool and upgrade two CDVTIs to provide technical and vocational training to 5,000 youth, provide alternative livelihood skills training for 1,250 persons to address the challenges of illegal mining activities, and to train 600 social workforce in child and family welfare issues. Speaker collaboration with faith-based organizations. Under our social partnership model to broaden the dialogue for development, government regularly engages the faith-based organizations on various national issues and they remain a key partner in revitalizing the economy under the 100 billion Ghana City, Ghana Cares program. In 2020, the faith-based organizations were instrumental in the fight against COVID-19 in various ways, supporting national readiness, complementing health service delivery through the Christian Health Association of Ghana, managing the distribution of government's dry food packages to vulnerable households during the lockdown period, providing counseling services, providing skills and, and entrepreneurial training for the youth and augmenting public sensitization and awareness campaigns. Mr. Speaker, in 2021, the faith-based organizations will continue to fulfill their vital roles within government, within the Ghanaian society, and government affirms its support to the formal collaboration as a permanent component of our nation's governance. The National Cathedral of Ghana. Mr. Speaker, the National Cathedral of Ghana, which will provide an interdenominational sacred space for the nation, remains a national priority. Despite the delays caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, work is on course to construct the iconic edifice in the heart of the nation's capital. The construction of the cathedral is already introducing some critical innovations to the country. As part of the construction, 
Over 200 trees on the site of the cathedral, some of which are nearly 100 years, have been relocated to a temporary site by the Department of Parks and Gardens. Some of the trees will be brought back upon completion of the cathedral and others replanted elsewhere, making the edifice environmentally sustainable. Setting the stage for the rollout of new initiatives and reforms. Speaker, we will implement new initiatives and additional reforms across several sectors of the economy in order to enhance further and quality of life and enhance further the quality of life of Ghanaians to support domestic entrepreneurs and businesses and to deepen access to public services. In pursuit of this, we will begin preparations for the rapid deployment of underlisted initiatives and reforms in 2021. One, the national equipment leasing policy. Speaker, in 2021, government will formulate a national equipment leasing policy to cover medical equipment, vehicles, photocopiers, printers, and scanners, among others, as part of measures to more efficiently manage our capital expenditure budget, transport sector recapitalization project. Speaker, we'll also commence work towards implementation of a long-term lease to own financing arrangement for commercial vehicle owners and operators who need to replace aged and unroadworthy commercial vehicles. Mr. Speaker, this indeed is a good initiative, and if I may repeat it, Mr. Speaker, we will commence work towards the implementation of a long-term lease-to-own financing arrangement for commercial vehicle owners and operators who need to replace aged and unroadworthy commercial vehicles. Yeah. National Rental Assistance Scheme. Mr. Speaker, in partnership with the private sector, we will commence the establishment of a National Rental Assistance Scheme with a seed of 100 million Ghana cities. The scheme would crowd in additional investment from the private sector to provide low interest loans to eligible Ghanaians to enable them pay rent advance. Enhanced student loan scheme. The speaker will also commence the planning towards the implementation of enhanced student loan scheme to provide students with the exception of teacher and nurse trainees an option to obtain a student loan without requirement of a guarantor. The prospective student must have a national identification number from the Ghana card. COVID-19 impact mitigation me measures. Mr. Speaker, the COVID-19 pandemic that hit the entire world in 2020 has had a major impact on nearly every household, business, and economy in the world. Anticipating that the consequences will be severe and persistent, governments around the world have relied on a wide range of measures to support businesses and households. While these responses have been uneven across countries, they are unprecedented in their magnitude. Mr. Speaker, in mid-year review and the supplementary estimate, we presented the immediate impact of the pandemic on our economy and outlined robust re responses to mitigate them. After a full year, we have a good sense of how devastating the impact has been on our economy. Socio-economic impact on Ghana. Mr. Speaker, the direct health impact Mr. Speaker, the direct health impact of the pandemic has been significant with very unfortunate fatalities. This rose from a weekly average of 11 persons in the last week of March to a peak of 781 infections in the last week. This was followed by a gradual dec decline in recorded infections which reached 104 cases in the last week of December 
2020. However, a new wave of infections saw average weekly infections rise from 99 in the first week of January 2021 to 880 by the week of 5th February 2021. Fortunately, Mr. Speaker, we are seeing a steady decline on weekly average infections, which stood at 379 by the week of 5th March 2021. Mr. Speaker, compared to many countries, Ghana has been rather successful in managing the COVID-19 outbreak. This success stems from the swift, proactive, and bold response from government, and of course, with the collaboration of the health care workers. Speaker, economic impact of the pandemic. The impact of this pandemic has been severe. The COVID-19 struck at a time the economy was firmly on the path of fiscal con consolidation. The initial restrictions implemented contained the virus and impacted the economy extensively. In addition, the households and businesses, key sectors such as hotel and hospitality industry, trade and industry, agriculture, health, transportation, manufacturing, real estate, financial as well as education sectors have been negatively impacted. The speaker, the COVID-19 business tracker survey jointly published by the Ghana Statistical Service, the United Nations Development Program, and the World Bank suggests that about 770,000 workers, nearly 26% of the total workforce had their wages reduced and about 42,000 employees were laid off during the partial lockdown last year. The pandemic also led to the reduction in working hours for close to 700,000 workers. The speaker, transport workers, drivers, and conductors of trot roads were particularly vulnerable as they work under informal settings and do not have access to social safety nets. Formal operators also suffered serious financial constraints. Government in 2020 spent 36,552,789 Ghana cities as operations and payroll support to Metro Mass Transit for March to December 2020 and supported the Intercity STC with an amount of 6,338,232.77 Ghana cities as of January 2021. Mr. Speaker, COVID-19 has led to disruption in corporate and general business confidence and affected projected revenues, profitability, liquidity, and corporate growth. State-owned enterprises, most of whom were severely impacted by this pandemic are expected to underperform. Governments mitigating measures to the pandemic, health and health-related response. Mr. Speaker, government's initial response to the health impacts of this pandemic was aligned in the National COVID-19 Emergency Preparedness and Response Plan. The plan helped to manage and contain the spread of the virus as well as strengthen the national capacity for surveillance, diagnosis, and case management. Inspired by the significant successes from the implementation of the EPRP and considering the lasting impact of the pandemic within the medium term, government has prepared and rolled out a more holistic plan dubbed the National Strategic COVID-19 Response Plan, July 2020 to December 2024, NSCRP. Mr. Speaker, the NSCRP focuses on better case containment and management. It prioritizes timely releases of test results, sustains funding of isolation and quarantine facilities. This plan has helped to improve coordination among actors, enhance motivation of health personnel, and ensure continued provision of equipment in the logis and logistics, including PPEs, economic and social measures. Speaker, government implemented the coronavirus alleviation program to address the socioeconomic impact of this pandemic on households and businesses.
the cost of electricity and water services from April to the end December 2020 and provided food rations to vulnerable groups during the partial lockdown. Mr. Speaker, cognizant of the direct and immediate effect of restrictions of, on livelihoods of sections of society, government provided 1,827,581 and 917,142 cooked food packs to vulnerable and underprivileged persons within Accra and Kumasi, respectively. In partnership with faith-based organizations, government also distributed dry food packages to about 470,000 families during the period of the partial lockdown. Electricity consumption was subsidized. Government fully covered the consumption of over 100, over 1 million lifeline customers and subsidized 50% of the consumption of all other customers for the period. Speaker, through the initiative, 10 million fellow Ghanaians benefited from free water supplied by Ghana Water Company, Company Limited between April to December 2020. The average monthly water supply of 9.24 million cubic meters increased by 43.21% to reach 13.2 three million cubic meters. Furthermore, furthermore, a total of 474 small towns and 1,143 rural communities benefited from the free water provided by the Community Water and Sanitation Agency. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I'm happy to announce that His Excellency the President has approved the continuation of the provision of free water to up to five cubic meters, that is 1,100 gallons per month to vulnerable groups. In addition, we will continue to provide electricity to lifeline consumers till the end of June 2021, when it is expected that many Ghanaians would have been vaccinated. Mr. Speaker, under the Operation Return Home program, government assisted 10,025 Ghanaians whose circumstances had been worsened by the COVID-19 pandemic to return home. In doing so, we protected the lives and welfare of Ghanaian nationals abroad and promoted positive perception of the state of Ghana, of Ghana during those difficult times support to enterprises. Mr. Speaker, the launch and operationalization of the 750 million Ghana City Coronavirus Alleviation Program Business Support Scheme, CAP BAS, has mitigated the impact of the pandemic on several micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises. Government through the National Board for Small-Scale Industries collaborated with over 80 business associations and key participating financial institutions to facilitate timely disbursement of the funds. As of December 2020, about 412.88 million Ghana cities had been disbursed to support 277,511 businesses, of which 69% were female owned. The scheme has saved over 650,000 MSME jobs. Mr. Speaker, as an offshoot, the CAPBAS has created pathways to formalizing the large informal sector, given that over 800,000 tax identification numbers were generated and over 10,000 businesses registrations activated. <coughs> the Speaker, in the financial sector, the policy and regulatory measures rolled out by the Bank of Ghana 
including the provision of 7 billion Ghana city worth of support. And this, this was with regard to the budget estimates for the judiciary, judicial service, and parliament and parliamentary service. And the letter is dated 11th March 2021. I read the one in respect of the judicial service. In accordance, he said that, Mr. Speaker, recommendations of government on the 2021 proposed estimate of expenditure for the judiciary and the judicial service. In accordance with Articles 127, and 179 of the Constitution, I submit herewith recommendations of government on the proposed estimates of expenditure for the judiciary and the judicial service. The estimates of expenditure for the judiciary and the judicial service are stated as follows. That is quite a detailed one. But what they recommended was a reduction in the capex of the judiciary by seventy-seven million four hundred and eighty-two thousand five hundred and ninety-one. The data continues. In view of the reduced fiscal space in the national budget, as a result of statutory and debt service obligations, we cannot accommodate the request by the judiciary and judicial service. We kindly suggest that judiciary and judicial service operate within this new budget while we exploit opportunities to increase the allocation in subsequent years when revenues improve and debt has stabilized. Parliament is respectfully requested to keep the estimates of the judiciary and the judicial service within the expenditure ceilings provided above. This will enable government contain within the overall fiscal space for 2021. It should, however, be noted that the ceilings provided for the judiciary and the judicial service satisfy Articles 1795 of the Constitution. Please accept the President's best wishes. Nana the Duratu Asante, Secretary to the President. And this is to the Right Honourable Speaker of Parliament, Parliament House, Accra. The next is to Parliament on our budget estimates. It says, Mr. Speaker, recommendations of government on the 2021 proposed estimates of expenditure for Parliament. In accordance with Section 15A of the Parliamentary Service Act 1993, Act 460, as amended, I submit herewith recommendations of the President of the Republic on the proposed estimates of Parliament. The estimates of expenditure for Parliament and the Parliamentary Service are stated as follows. And in that, they reduce our estimates by 119,846,911. And they continue. 
in view of the reduced fiscal space in the national budget as a result of statutory and debt service obligations, we cannot accommodate the request by Parliament. We kindly suggest that Parliament and the Parliamentary Service operate within this new budget while we explore opportunities to increase the allocation in subsequent years when revenues improve and debt has stabilized. Accordingly, Parliament is respectfully requested to keep the estimates of the Parliament and the Parliamentary Service when the expenditure ceilings provided above. This will enable government contain expenditures within the overall fiscal space for 2021. It should, however, be noted that the ceilings provided for Parliament and the Parliamentary Service satisfy Section 15A of the Parliamentary Service Act 1993 at 460 as amended. Please accept the President's best wishes. Nana Video to Asante, Secretary to the President, and to the Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, Parliament House, Accra. In view of the agency of this matter, since we are the final determinants of the budget for all the arms and sectors in the country, I had to quickly respond. And my letter is dated today, 6 March 2021, to the Secretary, to the President, Office of the President, Jubilee House. Attention, Nana Bedua to Asante. Dear Sir, re-recommendations of government on the 2021 proposed estimates of expenditure for Parliament, the Parliamentary Service, the Judiciary, and the judicial service. Please refer to your letters dated 11 March 2021 with reference numbers 0 PS slash 350 slash 21 slash 247 and 0 PS slash 260 slash 21 slash 248, in which you sought to communicate to Parliament through the Speaker the recommendation of the President on the 2021 proposed estimates of expenditure for Parliament, the Parliamentary Service, the Judiciary, and the Judicial Service. Respectfully, as Speaker of Parliament, I am unable to accept the letters and communicate same to the Honorable House. As the wording and import of your letters do not communicate a recommendation as stipulated by Articles 127 and 179 of the 1990 Code and Section 15A of the Parliamentary Service Act 1993 at 460. But an imperative to Parliament to keep within the expenditure estimates which have been set by government. Indeed, the provisions of the Constitution and statute referred to above require the President to lay the estimates of Parliament and the judiciary before Parliament, quote, without to the estimates, but with, quote, recommendations that the President may make on them, unquote. I note, however, that in the budget statement and the expenditure estimates laid on Friday, the 12th of May 2021, the, quote, recommendation of the President were laid instead of the original estimate that was submitted by Parliament and the Judiciary. Consequently, I return the attached letters for the consideration of Mr. President in the light of the above. Accept, sir, the assurances of my highest esteem, yours in the service of Ghana, signed Right Honorable Alban Sumana Kingsford Bagby, Speaker of Parliament. Amendment to determine the budgets is not for the executive. We have the final power to approve.
or disapprove. And so what the Constitution has done is for them to make recommendations and to negotiate during the deliberations of the budget before the House. It is not for the executive to impose ceilings on the judiciary or parliament. We have to do the proper thing. And so during the consideration of the estimates, honorable members, by consent, take that on board. At the end of the day, come and inform us as to the negotiated figure, not the ceiling that has been given by the president. That is not the intent of the 1992 Constitution. If you do otherwise, I, as your speaker, will not append any letter for submission to the president for his assent. I mean what I say. The weakest link in our democracy is parliament. And because of that, we are not able to control things like corruption. We are not able to hold the executive to account. We are not able to get the rule of law going. We are the arm to leave that. And so far as I remember the speaker of this house, I will that the right thing be done. Yeah. Honorable members, there is a second communication from the president, dated 16th March 2021. It says, Mr. Speaker, absence from Ghana. In accordance with Article 59 of the Constitution, I write to inform you that in my capacity as chairperson of the Authority of Heads of State and Government of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, as well as the President of the Republic, I will be traveling outside the country in the afternoon of Tuesday, 16th March 2021, to attend the funeral of the late Prime Minister of the Government of the Republic of Côte d'Ivoire, His Excellency Hamed Bakayoko, to be held on Wednesday, 17th March 2021, in Abidjan. I will return to Ghana in the afternoon of the same day. During my absence, the Vice President, Raji Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia, shall, in accordance with Article 68 of the Constitution, act in my stead, accept the assurances of my highest consideration. Yours sincerely, Nana Adodankwa Akufuadu, to the Right Honorable Speaker, Office of Parliament, Parliament House, Accra. We now move to correction of votes and proceedings and official report. We start with the correction of votes and proceedings of Friday, 12 March 2021. Page one. Page two. Page three. Page four. Page five. Page six. Page seven. Yes, honorable member. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, 
page 7, number 236, is um, Seydou Isifu. My first name is um, Seydou, and the second name is Isifu. Besides that, I'm also, um, I have two titles to add to this name, Alaji and Baba. The Baba is means father in my tradition. I was named after my grandfather. So at home, they call me Baba Seidu. So with your permission, I would want my name to read, with your permission, I want my, my name to read Baba Seidu Isifu, with your permission, Mr. Speaker. Baba, Baba is not a title. Baba is a name. The title Alaji I will accept. But the title Baba I will not accept. I'm guided, Mr. But, Speaker. Yes, Deputy Majority Leader, yes. Uh, Mr. Speaker, perhaps if Honorable Member could help us with the name he used in filing, because I believe the uh, Electoral Commission communicated to the House, and that was captured uh, in the list when we first met, before the swearing -in. So, if you may assist us. Yes, Honorable Member, can you assist the House? Uh, Mr. Speaker, I filed with the name Isifu as my surname, and Seidu as my uh, first name. But popularly and at home, because I was named after, <laughs> because, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, because I was named after, in my, in my tradition, at home, the Baba means father. The Baba means father. So it is not a name, depending on where you come from, it is not a name. So I am Alaji Baba Seidu Isifu. Thank you. The identity of uh, Isifu Seidu is not the same as the identity of Baba Seidu Isifu. There are two identities, and you voluntarily opted to be identified through the Electoral Commission as Baba Isifu. You didn't even add the allergy. Now, you want us to add, you know the proper thing to do. The lawyers are here, they could assist you for a fee. Yes, please. Mr. Speaker, so we cannot accept the allergy because when he was filing, he didn't add it. Commission a communicator missed it to this house. So, Mr. Speaker, he may be leading this house into temptation by giving him a new title. So, I agree with you, Mr. Speaker, he may have to go and depose to an affidavit and get the proper thing served on the house through the clerk than using the back door for new titles and all that. It's unacceptable, Mr. Speaker. And our friend, I'm sure my colleague will be guided accordingly. And so that will be corrected. So you now belong to the I column, not the S column. So table office kindly take note. Eight. Yes, Honorable Samson Ahi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, page 8, number 4 and 7. Honorable Lady Oscar Foria will win. Honorable Teria Augustine, Dr. Bia West. Mr. Speaker, both of them sought permission to be absent from Parliament, but they have been marked absent. If the table office can make that correction. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 
Yes, table of office, they are absent with permission. Not just absent. Yes. Uh, Mr. Speaker, at page 8, item 4, and item 4, 3, my name appears among those who were absent, but I was in the house on Friday. Table office, he was present, he wasn't absent. Take note. Yes, honorable. My name is Daniel Onyeda. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, item number four. Opoku Davis and Sam and Priso. I was present, but I'm marked absent here. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Item number number four. Number six. Opoku Davis and Sam on page eight. And Priso, I was present, but uh, my name appears here as absent. Number. Six, six. Under item four. Yes, please. The honorable member for Impriso was present. Please take note. Thank you very much. Page nine. Page ten. Page eleven. Yes, Honorable uh, Deputy Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, uh, item six. I humbly hope that we should include order one, six, one, one and two as instead of only order 56-1. With respect, sir. They should include order. Order 1, 6, 1, and 2. Yes, table office, take note. But I even think that the way should be presented, not made a statement. You presented the business committee report, or you made a statement after that. Mr. Speaker, the terms of the statement made reference to order 161, 1 and 2. Yes, I've taken note of that one. That is so. But I said the word they even used there, the statement on the business arranged. No, presented. Yes. Presented. So I said should correct it to present it. Very well. Yes. Mr. Speaker, you're right. Presented. Able office, kindly take note. Yes, still at page 11. Thank Honor. you, Right Honorable Speaker. Um, I'm still using my, ma my maiden name, so my name should read me if it's in cancer, but the message shouldn't be part of it. Thank you. I'm not using my husband's name as well now. Sorry, I haven't gotten your intervention. You said what? Thank you, right, Honorable Speaker. I'm still using my maiden name. So then, in cancer, body shouldn't refer to as Mrs. I'm not using my husband's name as of now. Page 11. Page 11, number? Um, XXVII. XXVII. I, yes, please. Mavis in cancer will do misses. Yes, the, the message shouldn't be part of it. The message should not be part. No, that's my father's name. <laughs> ah, you have not yet done the proper thing. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, right on our Table of office. <laughs> Table of office, please don't be in a hurry. She will come properly. Yes, Majority Leader. Well, Speaker, I don't know whether if a lady after marriage decides 
to keep the maiden name, whether the person is not entitled to do so. So when you say that you have not done the proper thing, it will seem to suggest that if one does not use the title missus, then the proper I I would I would No, the proper thing is to take the decision. <laughs> the proper thing is to take the decision. Do you want to be known and identified to so so and so or you don't want to? So that decision is what she says she has not yet taken. So I said, well, then you've not taken the proper decision. That's why. But majority leader, you are entitled to litigate my, my view. The speaker, we shall reserve that to another, another time. But the issue that was raised by my, my colleague, the deputy leader, the deputy majority leader, the speaker, I think the, I've, I've raised this matter before during the speakership of Mrs. Adnan Bamford Abba. The first one is 56-1. There is that the chairman of the business committee shall make a statement. He shall make a statement. So maybe if you want to be, um, if you want to align with what you're saying, and perhaps you that word there, that the chairman of the business committee shall present a statement. Now what is there in the in the document is that we shall make a statement. That is 56 one. And the speaker, the other no, one. No, majority that... like, don't move. This one is referring to the chairman yes. of the business committee. But he presented as the vice chairman, not the chairman. And it's captured there, the honorable deputy majority leader and vice chairman of the business committee. So what he did was to present it on behalf of the chairman. That's why I opted for the word present. But in the standing orders, if you were the one presenting, it's me. You are right. Mr. Speaker, again, I do not want to litigate this matter. Because any, any member of a committee can, in the absence of the chairman, do what is required of the chairman. So what the chairman is supposed to do, that person can do. If the chairman makes a statement, the member can also make a statement. But as I'm saying, I will not, I will not litigate the matter with the, with the speaker. But the speaker, the other, the, the other major thing that I wanted to raise is in respect of um, the, the 1612. As I said, I raised this matter with Mrs. Annie Joyce, just a month ago, when she was the speaker. After the statement has been made, and maybe the House accepts it, should the presenter go ahead to make a motion for his acceptance or adoption? We usually don't do that. So after the issues have been raised, the Speaker then would say, by hating the government, that the business statement has been adopted. But in truth, if we want to be technical, then after the presentation, 60-1612, going further downstream, would suggest that at, after that, after the report has been presented to the House, then the chairman has to come with a motion. I would don't normally do that. I think um, the practice has always been that after the issues have been raised and responded to, the speaker then would say that the business statement has been approved by the House. But it's something that perhaps going forward you may have to ponder over. Yes, my Lord. Madam Speaker, I do not intend to encourage a litigation on this matter. I know that Order 1601 establishes the Business Committee. And I further note that, Mr. Speaker, in 1612, as the leader referred to, it reads, and I quote, at any time after a report has been presented to the House, a motion may be moved by the chairman of the committee for the acceptance of the report. The speaker expressed to Yunus rule. In express words, 
This is the intendment of the standing orders. But by practice, it has always been that when the chairman of the business committee presents a report and you accommodate the concerns and inputs of members, your guidance of the House has approved of the business statement. I think by practice we have grown to appreciate that. But if the leader wants us to be meticulous, religious, then going on into the future, after the business statement, we we'll ask him to invoke Order 1612, that he counts by motion. But it's never been the practice of this House to accept the business statement by motion. But, Mr. Speaker, he's not wrong. If we want to respect the express provisions of our standing orders in Order 1612, then we ought to adopt the business statement and its report by motion. But I think that what our practice has uh, yielded helps us in the conduct of our business, and he should not insist on 1612. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, the, the practice is also in accordance with the standing orders of the House. Because it says me. And so if you opt not to move the motion, it doesn't mean it cannot be adopted. Go further to decide that we will always move was is discretionary. And so if that's what we want to do, there's nothing wrong with that. After giving explanations, the leader and chairman of the business committee could always proceed to move, and then we can adopt the report. Please, can we move on? Page 12. Page 13. Page 14. Yes, honorable. Thank you very much, right honorable speaker. Right honorable speaker, please, I try to catch your I at page 10. Page 13, the uh, list of directives you issued on that day, uh, conspicuously missing, Mr. Speaker, is the directive to the President uh, through the Minister of State responsible for finance. And I recall you even added His Excellency the Vice President uh, raising concern about the unacceptable ceiling for the legislature and the judge. Uh, I, I recall, Mr. Speaker, that you stressed that uh, directive, and I'm sure that that is what subsequently led to some of the letters that you uh, have read to us today. But uh, all of that, Mr. Speaker, is, uh, is omitted uh, at, at page 13. I know the official report will capture in detail uh, what uh, you said, but at least uh, we should get a sense, Mr. Speaker, from the voters. Just as it has been captured, uh, the directives you made about the independent governance institutions and then the referral to uh, the Finance Committee, I thought that we should have found space as well uh, in the votes and proceedings to capture the essence of that uh, uh, very important directive that you you gave, Mr. Speaker. Uh, thank you, Honourable Member. That is the lot of Parliament. The Parliament prefers to grumble and complain in silence, not to openly come and confront the issues. And so even the table office did not place much premium to the directive I gave. Even though that is a budget that affects they themselves. And we have been 
at the receiving end of not properly, effectively and efficiently performing our constitutional duties, I have opted to be open and to be proactive, and that is what I opted to do. So please, table of capture it properly. That was a directive from the chair. Yes, uh, now your titles are many. I don't know which one to always refer to. Majority leader, leader of the house, minister for parliamentary, and minister responsible for uh, the minister of finance. Yes, sir. Speaker. I am told that it related to um, a communication uh, and uh, that had to do with the allocation to Parliament. Now, we have been told that it was a directive. So, in that regard, the directive was to who? And what was the essence of that directive. What directive did you issue? I want to be very clear. I think we're, you were too busy that day, so you didn't capture the essence of that directive. But I will allow the honorable member to explain it further. Yes, please. Thank you, Right Honourable Speaker. Right Honourable Speaker, uh, as you have rightly said, the Honourable Majority Leader and uh, Minister of State uh, responsible for finance that day was in uh, uh, another world, Mr. Speaker, and he really looked like the finance minister uh, we have never had. <laughs> and uh, I think uh, the, the quality of the leather bag that he uh, showed us that day was very impressive. And uh, the Honorable Kenu Foriata, I'm sure, will be hurrying back. <laughs> but the directive from the right Honorable Speaker was clear that the budget reveals substantive cuts in the ceiling for Parliament and, and that word should go to the executive that we will not accept it and that we cannot be treated like uh, ministries, departments and agencies. We are organs of state, arms of government. And the speaker was very clear that you should convey and uh, the, the vice president should also take note since he was in the house that day. So that was uh, the directive that uh, Mr. Speaker issued. But I can understand that uh, uh, our leader had abandoned us. He was ensconced in the executive, Mr. Speaker, so uh, he, didn't, he, he, he didn't join us to, uh, to, to, uh, to solidarize with our plight. Yes, Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I, I share the principle as part. I really share the principle. But the language that is being used here is that a directive was issued. That's what I'm asking. Is it, properly speaking, a directive to who? It came from the president. So is, is it the case that the speaker was directing the president? That is the issue that I want us to be clear about. Because, you know, you may, you may create a problem if you are saying that the speaker sits and directs the president to do something or the other. I mean, that is the, that is the issue. But I think that it is a good observation, and the speaker and I even discussed it ahead of time. But to say that a directive was issued, that is, that is where I had my difficulty. Yes, it was a, a directive to convey the message, a directive to you to convey the message to His Excellency the President. Since per the constitutional imperative, you read the budget on behalf of the President. Yes, yeah, so to be clear. Mr. Speaker, I believe 
what we all should be guided is that the Honorable Chairman on that particular day invoked Article 179 and therefore whatever directives you are given must be situated in context. He was not presenting the budget as Minister for Parliamentary Affairs, but he was doing so for and on behalf of His Excellency, the President. So whatever consequential observation and directives that you gave, Mr. Speaker, must be respected. But I thought, Mr. Speaker, today you have elevated the same matter to even a high level with your correspondence to the office of the President. And Mr. Speaker, without attempting to repeat your words, may I refer you to an article which emphasizes the position that you took. Article 1793, and for my purpose, I would emphasize 1793 and 5. For instance, when you related to the budget for Parliament and the judiciary, this is what the Constitution provides in 1793. The Chief Justice shall, in consultation with the Judicial Council, cause to be submitted to the President at least two months before the end of each financial year and thereafter, as and when the need arises. But, Mr. Speaker, significant as you observe, in 1795, these words are significant, which guided the position you took. The estimate shall be laid before Parliament and for by the President without revision, without revision, but with any recommendations that the government may have on them. So you elevated it to another level, and you did say, even in respect of Parliament as an institution, in accordance with the Parliament, the Act of Parliament, which deals with the votes for Parliament. Honorable members, is this open to litigation? Yes, Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, see, we want the right thing to be done and be done for both Parliament and the judiciary. And we could take the matter up. Mr. Speaker, it is not for nothing. My colleague is reading Article 179. 179 Three. Three. It should start from 1791. 1791 provides that the president shall cause to be prepared and laid before parliament at least one month, at least one month before the end of the financial year. Now, what you read says two months. What it means is that at least a month before it comes here, this thing should be done, so that if there's any negotiations, it could be done before it comes here, when it is finalized. In this particular instance, we all know that we didn't have time. Notwithstanding, Mr. Speaker, I still think that it should be possible for us to resolve this matter and see that the appropriate thing is done, even if it has to uh, be, what is going to come to Parliament has to be topped up in the media review. That could be done. But, Mr. Speaker, I'm not too sure that on the basis, on account of this, one will want to litigate the matter. Because the issue then is when did Parliament submit its own request. But I don't think this should be a matter for litigation. We want the best for Parliament, and um, I believe, given your own experience, we can achieve that. But we cannot start on a quarrelsome note. I don't think that is appropriate. Mr. thank you. Honorable members, I was chairman of the Committee on Constitutional, Legal, and Parliamentary Affairs, 1997 to 2000. 2001, January. And then again, 2014 to 2017, January. 1997 to 2001, happily, my ranking member was His Excellency Nana Adodanko Akufuado. We worked together 
and fought for the observance of these constitutional provisions. Luckily, we are now in the position to make sure that it's complied with. At that time, we are just parliament chairman and ranking, and so our voices did not carry much weight. Now we are in the position to ensure that we all comply with the constitution. And I, as the right honorable speaker, will ensure that the enlightening is done. Yeah. Once the principle is accepted, let's move on. I'm sure His Excellency will readily comply with it. So please, let's move on with the correction of votes and proceedings. Page 12. Mr. Speaker, you go to page 14. Page 14. Yes, where Dr. Thank you. name. Thank you. Page 14. Dr. Zanato's title has changed to Mr. Page 15. Mr. Speaker, there's a correction to be made. Page so, Yes. I, I, Dr. Zanato, Zanato is there as Mr. Thank you, Mr. Table of office. Please, table of office, that is my daughter, that's not my son. Dr. Zanato Ajima Rollins, please try to take note. Page 15. Honorable members, the votes and proceedings of the 22nd sitting of the first meeting of the first session held on Friday, 12 May 2021, as corrected, uh, adopted as the true records of proceedings. I have official report dated Wednesday, 3rd February 2021. Any corrections to the official report? Honorable members, in the absence, yes, honorable. <clears throat> right, Honorable Speaker, one correction at column 007, the second paragraph. The sixth line should be the cocoa board, and we delete the board after, after cocoa board. Uh, it's, 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 it's tautological. Uh, if, uh, if cocoa board will suffice, Mr. Speaker. I don't remember you are right. Honorable members, the official report of Wednesday, 3rd February 2021, as corrected, represents the true record of proceedings. Even though I admitted a lot of statements, I've been guided by leadership to rather allow those statements to be made tomorrow and not today. So we we'll move to at the commencement of public business. I tell you, motion that this Honorable House approves the budget statement and economic policy of the, com of the government for the year ending 31st December 2021. This was moved on Friday by the Minister of State responsible for the Minister of Finance. Commencement of debate. I have two List one from each side of the house. I will start from the minority side. 
and call on the ranking member the Committee on Finance Well, the other paper says moved. Now, the presentation has been made by Minister responsible for finance. Once the motion has been moved, I am looking for somebody to second it. And I thought a um, ranking member was going to second, but I'm told that somebody from the majority will have to second it. Yes, and the list I have here. Is the Honorable Minister for information, Honorable Kojo Okwan Nkrumah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion that this Honorable House approves the budget statement and economic policy of the government for the year ending 31st December 2021. Mr. Speaker, I want to start by congratulating the Majority Leader and for the time being, the Minister of State in charge. Honourable Member, we've agreed on some time limits. I just want to draw attention. Um, we finally agreed on 25 minutes. 25 minutes. The second, 25 minutes. The 25 minutes. The uh, chair and ranking 15 minutes of the committees, and then my colleagues, the 10 minutes each. And we agreed that we will debate till 9, 9 p.m. We want members to do a good job. If the nine is too much, at least Mr. Speaker will get the sense of the House, and then we'll take the decision. Please, you have 25 minutes starting from now. Honorable, you have 25 minutes starting from now. Thank you once again, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise to second the motion that this Honorable House approves the budget statement and economic policy of the government for the year ending 31st December 2021. Mr. Speaker, as I was intimating earlier, I'd like to start by congratulating the Majority Leader and for the time being the Minister of State in charge or responsible for finance for delivering the President's budget with such command on that our only prayer is that now that he's in charge, Parliament uh, is duly taken care of, as you've been speaking about, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the 2021 budget was themed Woyawo here, a ga expression meaning we are moving forward. So, Mr. Speaker, as we start our debate this afternoon, it will be important to note where we are coming from collectively, where we are going collectively, and that which we ought to do to get us there collectively. And Mr. Speaker, I say collectively because very often when it comes to budget debates, the majority side sees everything right with the economy and the budget, and you'll find the minority side seeing everything wrong with the economy and the budget. 
Madam Mr. Speaker, if I may quote from His Excellency the President's State of the Nation Address as delivered on Tuesday, the 9th of March, 2020, page 2, paragraph 3. It says, this is what the Ghanaian people demand from us. And he was referring to collaboration between the majority and the minority. He says, this is what the Ghanaian people demand from us by insisting on virtual parity in the House between the two major parties of our country, the realization of the Ghana project and not the attainment of narrow partisan interests. This must be the guiding principle of the business in the House. The Speaker, if I refer you to paragraph 1144 of the budget statement itself, there's a statement made by the Minister responsible for finance that says, while we debate and we may disagree on issues, we should always be united on the broad goal of advancing the welfare and progress of our people. Principle and politics in principle. There is more to us than we have so far realized. And then he goes on with a quotation asking us to work together. So, Mr. Speaker, as we start this debate, my prayer is that the common Ghanaian interest is what will guide the submissions that we make. Mr. Speaker, we are debating the principles of the budget, not even the estimates per se. We are debating the consonance between the policy objectives as outlined in the budget statement and economic policy and national imperatives like the Constitution, like the Coordinated Program of Economic and Social Development Policies, etc. Mr. Speaker, as all doing, I will be speaking to just five issues. First, a recap of how Ghana has made progress so far. Second, a recap of what has challenged our progress. Third, the need to recover, to transform, and to fulfill the aspirations of our people. I'll speak fourthly about the Ghana Cares of Batampa program. And then finally, the future of what we can achieve working together collectively. Mr. Speaker, if you look at Chapter 6, 1992, Article 36, Clause 1. With your permission, if I quote, the state shall take all necessary action to ensure that the national economy is managed in such a manner as to maximize the rate of economic development and to secure the maximum welfare, freedom, and happiness of every person in Ghana and to provide adequate means of suitable employment and public assistance to the needy. Mr. Speaker, a cursory look at some of the benchmarks of our economic progress over the years shows that we have been in responding to this imperative. If you take growth, one of the major measures of how our economy is picking up, we have moved from about 3.4 in 2016 to about 7.9 as at the end of 2019. In fact, non-oil GDP growth moved from 4.6 in 2016 to 5.8 at the end of 2019. Take inflation, Mr. Speaker. We have successfully, as a country, we brought down inflation from about 15.4% in 2016 down to NDS 7.9 in 2019. The monetary policy rate by the Bank of Ghana dropped 25.5% in 2016 down to 16.0 at the end of 2019. Budget deficits brought down to about 4.8 in 2019. Primary balance from negative 1.1 moved to positive 0.8 between 2016 and 2019. Mr. Speaker, on the face of the data sets, the evidence is clear that we have been making progress as a country. Mr. Speaker, this progress is due to three major factors. One, the economic leadership provided by the executive branch of government. Two, the strong checks and balances that this House exacts on the executive. And three, the hard work of the Ghanaian people these are the things that have come together to uplift our economy, albeit the few slippages that we have. Mr. Speaker, I know sometimes politicians as we are would like to deny this and question a few, but the progress of Ghana is one that is well known and accepted, whether by the International Monetary Fund, international ratings agencies, or by economists all over. The first Deputy Speaker to take the chair. Sorry. Please continue. What we ought to do, Mr. Speaker, is while admitting that generally we have made progress, Focus on where our slippages have been and see how to fix it. And that is what brings me to the second item that I want to speak about, Mr. Speaker, our challenges. Article 
And again, because we are dealing with the principles, we are connecting the budget to the imperatives like the Constitution and the framework. Article 34.2, Mr. Speaker, says that the President shall report to Parliament at least once a year on steps taken to ensure the realization of the policy objectives contained in this chapter, and in particular, the realization of basic human rights, a healthy economy, Mr. Speaker, a healthy economy, the right to work, right to good health care, and right to education. Mr. Speaker, despite the fact that we have made progress, despite the fact that we have moved forward as a country, we still have some challenges. One of our key challenges being the annual gap between revenues and expenditures, which then translates into year-on-year -year deficits. Mr. Speaker, this House is well accustomed with the history of how we have brought down deficits and even passed a Fiscal Responsibility Act aimed at ensuring that Ghana, never again, should we be on an ordinarily recurring basis, go beyond 5% of GDP. Mr. Speaker, another challenge that we have had over the years is our high debt, which over the years we have tried to bring down. But in 2020, as we are all aware, Mr. Speaker, we were hit by COVID. And COVID, among other things, has exacted a huge burden on our economy. Mr. Speaker, paragraph 72 of the budget speech, I refer to the speech as read by the minister, says, among other things, that the fiscal impact of COVID-19 was 19.7 billion Ghana cities. If you add that to the cost of the financial sector cleanup of 21 billion Ghana cities, the cost of the excess capacity charges paid to IPPs of 12 billion Ghana cities, we are expending some 52.7 billion Ghana cities, especially at a time when our revenues have gone low. Mr. Speaker, in many parts of the world, as governments have done their best to provide citizens in hard times, the time is becoming clear to them that they need to introduce measures to raise revenues to close some of these gaps. In the U.S., for example, having passed a $1.9 trillion support package, President Biden is examining and it is expected soon will pass some of the first major tax hikes since 1993 to help the economy close the gap between what they have spent as a result of these challenges and what they ordinarily raise. Mr. Speaker, the reality is that when a nation is at war, citizens have to chip in so that we mobilize resources to win that war. And Mr. Speaker, that brings me to the third matter I would like to speak about, which is recovery, transformation, and the fulfillment of our aspirations. Mr. Speaker, we are at a point in our history where we have no other choice than to engineer a recovery of this economy. The economy that was growing at an average of about 6.9 or 7 percent in the last three, four years now came down to about 0.9 percent, at least in terms of target, in the year 2020. We have no choice than to begin to engineer a recovery of this economy. The government has started its part by introducing a number of measures. First, vaccinating the population, targeting about 20 million people by the end of this year. Why? So that full economic activity can resume and the kind of investment and stimulus into the various sectors can bring back that strong growth that we experienced. Government has also laid out a clear plan to invest in and stimulate some specific and this is what is captured in what we call the Ghana Cares or Batampa program. The speaker, I just want to highlight a few of the things that funds are to be invested in in this Ghana Cares or Batampa program. Number one, food security. Agric is a major state of our economy, and we need to continuously support our farmers because, as the numbers have demonstrated in the last four years, supported our farmers. Agric productivity increased, and consequent to that, jobs in that sector as well. Mr. Speaker, under this program, we're expecting to extend support to about 1.5 million farmers, and this includes fertilizers, seeds, extension offices, from the about 1.2 that we believe has been done so far. We also expect to extend support to rice millers and poultry farmers, and also support commercial farming in Ghana. Mr. Speaker, we expect also under this program to provide support for businesses across this country. Already, the MBSSI has provided some about 500 million Ghana cities in terms of support to various parts of the Ghanaian economy. 
this needs to be stepped up as we stimulate and invest in more businesses and more sectors of our economy. Speaker, it is clear that if we do not invest in our health care system, one pandemic can literally collapse our entire economy. And so there is the need to invest significantly in the health care system. Agenda 1, the President has been speaking about, is on the cards. Additionally, we want to fast-track digitization and develop engineering, machine tool, and ICT industries. So, Mr. Speaker, the post-COVID economic recovery program is one that, first of all, requires us to come back from that fiscal deficit of about 11% to 9% this year, 7% in the third year, and back to the fiscal responsible limit of about 5% by the year 2024. Among other things, this post-COVID economic recovery program also focuses on ensuring that we bring back rebounding growth in various sectors of the economy, as I have just outlined. It also seeks to ensure that debt sustainability is because as we invest in the productive sectors and get the GDP up, we expect that our debt to GDP ratio will come back to the levels where we were before COVID hit us. Right, Honorable Speaker, to do all of these things without worsening our deficit position or our debt position currently, that the administration introduces some revenue measures to, su to, to support it to do so. I want to quickly refer to Article 36 to C of the Constitution. And with your permission, I'll read as we connect the policy underpinnings to our imperatives. The Speaker, the Constitution says, the state shall, in particular, take all necessary steps to establish a sound and healthy economy whose underlining principles shall include ensuring that individuals and the private sector bear their fair share of social and national responsibility responsibilities to contribute to the overall development of the country. Mr. Speaker, we are at that point where every Ghanaian has to chip in a little so that we're able to recover and fulfill our objectives. In doing so, the administration has introduced two key elements. One, tax compliance elements. Mr. Speaker, His Excellency the President told this House that as part of the digitization program, national identification numbers will now double as tax identification numbers. In an instant, the pool of persons who are available to contribute their quota in fulfillment of this constitutional obligation now moves from about 3 million people to about 15 million people. What that means is that the Ghana Revenue Authority is in a position to engage a larger pool and exact what needs to be exacted to fill the Treasury so that we can deliver on these things that we speak about. Mr. Speaker, in addition to these, government has also introduced the COVID-19 levy. Government has also signaled to adjust road tolls. Government has introduced the sanitation and pollution levy and a 5% profit before tax for the financial sector recovery program. Mr. Speaker, it is our expectation that these are revenue measures that this House will support. Because they contribute significantly to ensuring that what appears to be a high revenue target this year can be met. And that revenue coming together with the other resources of the state can now help us, as we mentioned earlier, to recover from the challenges of the pandemic and to invest in the things that will bring about the growth and the jobs and the income that our people look for. Right, Honorable Speaker. This administration, also being a sensitive administration, has not only introduced revenue measures, but has also introduced a number of reliefs aimed at easing the burden on various sectors of the economy. These include, for example, the provision of a rebate of 30% on income tax due for companies in the hotel, restaurant, education, arts and entertainment, travel and tour industries for the second, third, and fourth quarters of 2021. And Mr. Speaker, here, I make particular mention of the fact that my colleagues in the media who operate in the arts and entertainment industry can look forward to benefiting from these rebates in the year 2021. It is because government is clear in its mind that as the economy contracts and business revenues contract, 
they that benefit the most from advertising also suffer the lot. And that is why government has introduced these measures. The Speaker, government is also suspending quarterly income tax in payments for the second, third, and fourth quarters of 2021 for small businesses using the income tax stamp system. Government is also suspending the quarterly installment payments of vehicle income tax for the second, third, and fourth quarters of 2021 for trotros and taxis. And finally, government is extending the waiver of interest as incentive for early payment of accumulated tax arrears. Right, Honorable Speaker. So the government is not only introducing measures aimed at raising revenue, it is also introducing measures aimed at easing the burden on various segments of the economy. When we support the government in succeeding in these measures, we expect to be back on track so that some of the key initiatives of this administration, which proud to public, were getting us on track to that promised land, can be funded full throttle and can yield the benefits we are looking for. These include the Free Senior High School Program, which fulfills Articles 25 and 38 of the Constitution, Planting for Food and Jobs, the Nation Building Corps, and then the 1D1F program, because we speak on industrialization, is one of the imperatives that we must focus on in accord with the directive principles of state policy. Mr. Speaker, the Akufuado administration in its first term published the Coordinated Program of Economic and Social Development Policies 2017 to 2024. That program, among other things, holds about five major pillars, first being economic development, second being social development, third being environment, infrastructure, and human settlements development, the fourth being a focus on governance, corruption, and public accountability, and the fifth being the strengthening of Ghana's role in international affairs. If you take a look at the 2021 budget statement and economic policy, all of these initiatives or all of these priority areas are attended to in detail with funding allocations even sometimes higher than what had occurred in the previous year. It is because we believe clearly that though it is managed expenditure in a manner that does not cause us to exceed our thresholds, these are areas that a lot of attention must be paid to. And that is why you will find resources Resources being invested, as I mentioned earlier, in agriculture to support farmers. Resources being invested to support industry and under industry to ensure that some of the major challenges to industry, including the availability of round-the-clock energy at affordable prices to our people, is attended to. You will find that in this budget, attention is paid to the need to protect the environment and revenue measures introduced to ensure that we raise revenues to protect the environment, to enhance sanitation, and to curb pollution. You would find in this budget that resources are made available to support the roads program and infrastructure, as well as housing. Right, Honorable Speaker, we cannot, as a country, allow the temporary challenges that we face today to hold us back. We need to get our loins and we need to bite the bullet, raise some more resources, and invest same in the things that we all aspire to achieve as a country. Because in the last four years, it was demonstrably clear that when the government succeeded in raising resources, putting those resources into agriculture, agriculture experienced a rebound. Putting those resources into industry, industry experienced a rebound putting those same resources into public services, among other things, experienced a rebound. I want to call on all members of this House that as a government program has been put before us, and as a government request of us to support its revenue measures, we all rally behind the government, pass these revenue measures and approve this budget, raise the resources that are required, and most importantly, Mr. Speaker, ensure that the resources are put to the uses for which they have been advertised. Because, Mr. Speaker, for all of us members of Parliament who demand road projects in our constituencies, if government desires to increase the road tolls marginally, 
to raise more resources and ensure that our contractors are paid on time so that our roads are done, it is something that will benefit our constituents and will benefit us as well. For all of us who complain that the President promised that Accra should become one of the cleanest cities in Africa within a period of time, that promise has not materialized. I am sure that if we pay a little extra and those funds are put to the proper use and we're able to make not just Accra, Kumasi, Takra, the Tamale and other cities the cleanest in West Africa, it will serve our constituents well and serve us well. So, Mrs. I call on colleagues in this House to support the budget statement and economic policy of government to approve these measures so that we can mobilize these resources and get back on track as to where Ghana was before we were hit by these challenges. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity. Honorable Kessel, Atrofos, and Ranking Member. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity also to contribute to the debate. Mr. Speaker, in doing so, let me put on record that an effective fiscal consolidation should always lead to a reduced public debt to a sustainable level. But sadly, Mr. Speaker, it is only in the case of Ghana that the government claims that they are consolidating the fiscal for four years in a row, yet our public debt is increasing at an increasing rate at, a sustainable, at an unsustainable limit. So, Speaker, this is scary. The Speaker, again, in the budget statement, references have been made that the government has been undertaking fiscal consolidation since 2017, 2020, when COVID actually arrived. The Speaker, what I seek to do today is to track the fiscal path and to make a point that Ghana cannot blame COVID entirely as we encounter an economic mess. The Speaker, in fact, the problem indeed started in the year 2018. And no one, no one should make an attempt to blame COVID for the economic mess we are going through. So, Speaker, I said this. I said this because, the Speaker, if you are to look at the fiscal as presented to us by our Minister of Finance then, the Speaker, we were told that the deficit for the year 2017 was 4.8%. Simple put, Mr. Speaker, government of Ghana could not raise enough revenue to be able to cater for its expenditure. To the extent that in nominal terms, we had to raise an amount of 12.2 billion Ghana cities as debt to support the budget. This means, Mr. Speaker, the government inherited a public debt of 120.3 billion. Of that amount, Mr. Speaker, additional 12.2 billion was added to the public debt. Mr. Speaker, if you are to adjust for the exchange rate valuations in our external debt, you will notice that indeed our public debt for the year 2017 moved from 120 billion to 142.5 billion. Mr. Speaker, I wish to use this opportunity to clearly commend the Minister of Finance for the year 2017. The Speaker, this is so because, in fact, you give credit when credit is due. That in the year 2017, the government indeed undertook some fiscal consolidation measures. Mr. Speaker, sadly, sadly, Mr. Speaker, we lost the year 2018. We lost our way in the year 2018, and the situation started getting worse. Mr. Speaker, in the year 2018, again, our minister responsible for finance came to us, informed this honorable house that the fiscal deficit was 3.9% of GDP, representing 11.6 billion Ghana cities. Simple put, Mr. Speaker, we borrowed only 11.6 billion Ghana cities to increase our public debt at a time of 142.5 billion. Mr. Speaker, I beg to put this on record that that is not true. That is not the case, Mr. Speaker. The situation of misreporting actually started back in 2008. Mr. Speaker, now I prove this. Mr. Speaker, I prove this in the sense that, Mr. Speaker, an amount of 9.8 billion Ghana cities was excluded from the fiscal. Mr. Speaker, this was excluded from the fiscal, Mr. Speaker, and the IMF document here confirmed this. Mr. Speaker, if you have the IMF Article 4 document, August, April 2020, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, contractor responsible for finance informed us. The IMF says that in the year 2018, our deficit was 7%. Mr. 
and certainly not 3.9% of GDP. Mr. Speaker, clearly you can see that the part is increasing and not actually reducing as we've been told by the budget statement. Mr. Speaker, again, if you are to track the year 2019, you will notice that, as we've been told, that the minister informed this house that the fiscal deficit was 4.8% of GDP. If you are to express it in nominal, it means that we could, we spent more than we could raise by an amount of 16.89 billion Ghana cities. The speaker, what this means is that we added 16.8 billion Ghana cities to our public debt. Well, speaker, once again, this has proven not to be the case. The speaker, again, this has been collaborated by the IMF Article 4 document. The speaker, my worry is that an amount of 5.1 billion Ghana cities was excluded from the fiscal. Again, an amount of 3.1 Ghana cities being the financial sector boss, again, was excluded from the fiscal. The speaker, so you could see the misreporting from day one, from 2018-2019. The speaker means that in the year 2019, government of Ghana increased our public debt in nominal terms by 25.2 billion Ghana cities. 25.2 billion and certainly not 16.8 billion Ghana cities. That was the financing part. The speaker, as I said, we lost our way back in 2018. The speaker, this increased our public debt to 217.9 billion Ghana cities as of the year 2019. Mr. Speaker, this is serious. Yes. Mr. Speaker, my worry is, my worry is that this our guest house, we have allowed the ministry responsible for finance to always come and present a financial state government policy contrary to what everyone else in the world is using. Mr. Speaker, we, sh we are also part of the problem. Parliament of Ghana is part of the problem because, Mr. Speaker, we fail to check them. We fail to point to them that, indeed, what they are doing is wrong. Mr. Speaker, that is why the budget office is urgently required. Mr. Speaker, we need a budget office to be able to check the ministry responsible for finance. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker this is simple. The debt accumulation and the impressions created that our government is consolidating fiscally is in. Mr. Speaker, if you are to look at the year 2020, the case is even worse. The speaker, the year 2000, 2020, in the budget statement, yes, in the budget statement, so you can all pick your budget statement. The speaker, the minister responsible for finance appeared before us, informed us that the deficit was 44.9 billion Ghana cities. That's the financing gap, 44.9 billion Ghana cities. Meaning that if you have to express it as a percentage of our GDP of 383 billion, then it is 11.7 .7 billion Ghana cities. Mr. Speaker, sadly, sadly, this deficit excludes the financial sector cost of eight billion. Mr. Speaker, if you are to add a financial sector cost of eight billion, that will move you to 13.8 percent of GDP. Mr. Speaker, strangely, and to my surprise, an amount of 6.2 billion Ghana cities being energy sector payment again is missing from the budget statement. 6.2 billion energy sector payment. Mr. Speaker, so the, the, the fiscal deficit isn't 11.7. Mr. Speaker, it is in fact 15.3% of GDP. 15.3% of GDP for, for the year 2020. Mr. Speaker, again, if you are to look at the budget statement, Appendix 3B, you will notice that the Ministry responsible for finance has provisioned 2020. They incurred arrests of 3.2 billion Ghana cities. Mr. Speaker, Appendix 3B, Mr. Speaker, 3.2 billion Ghana cities. If you are to add this arrest, to it, then you will notice that the fiscal deficit, including financial sector and energy sector payments, plus the rest, will be 17.5 billion Ghana cities. So, Mr. Speaker, well, it's about 17.5 percent of GDP. Mr. Speaker, this means that the financing that we needed for the year 2020 was 67.3 billion Ghana cities, meaning that we added to our public debt an amount of 67. Point three billion Ghana cities in one year. In one year. Mr. Speaker, this for me is something that we should send a strong signal to the Ministry of Finance. Mr. Speaker, I want to put on record that for us, we members of parliament of this side of the house, we should send a strong message to the minister responsible for finance. And the minister, until these anomalies are corrected, we will not be part of the passage of this budget statement. Mr. Speaker, 
these are critical issues. These are critical issues because, Mr. Speaker, this is the way that you will be able to track the debt accumulation. Until you track the way we accumulate debt and we decide to tickle ourselves and create wrong impressions that the government is actually consolidating, Mr. Speaker, we'll end up destroying the country that we have. And that is why, Mr. Speaker, I call on you. I call on you, Mr. Speaker, to ask the minister responsible for finance to, as a matter of urgency, correct this anomalies in the budget statement. Because, Mr. Speaker, speak well of us. It doesn't speak well of us. I have not seen any country where some expenditures are regarded as an extraordinary expenditures, and then also those expenditures are not captured in the fiscal table. Mr. Speaker, I challenge the Ministry of Responsible for Finance to show me one country that has a fiscal table as messed up as, 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 as we have, contrary to the international standard. Mr. Speaker, this is not allowed, and this, is not, this should not be accepted. Mr. Speaker, that is why, that is why we find ourselves in a serious debt situation. Mr. Speaker, oftentimes we ask ourselves that, where did we get to where we are? Why is it that public debt has increased so much that we cannot even control it? Mr. Speaker, if you are to look at the debt profile, the debt profile speaks for itself. Mr. Speaker, you notice that President Atamels increased our public debt by 26.2 billion Ghana cities. President increased our public debt by 84.3 billion Ghana cities. Mr. Speaker, within four years, President Nana Abedanko Ekufuado increased our public debt by 171.2 billion Ghana cities. 171.2 billion Ghana cities. Mr. Speaker, this represents 60% of our debt stock today. 60% of our debt stock today, within four years. Mr. Speaker, I heard the majority leader in Ho on Saturday making a strong argument that, Mr. Speaker, it does not matter how much you owe. What matters is whether you'll be able to pay your debt or not. Mr. Speaker, I'll prove to you that today Ghana is at the tipping edge. We are getting close to a level that we may not be able to pay our debt. Sadly, that is where we are getting to. Mr. Speaker, oftentimes you hear arguments that why is it that advanced countries like Japan, America, UK has huge debt in excess of 100% of GDP. Mr. Speaker, our ability and their ability can never be the same. Mr. Speaker, in the US, in the UK, in most of the advanced countries, they are doing as a percentage to their GDP 35 to 40 percent. 35 to 40 percent. You are struggling to do 12 percent and you want to compare yourself. And that is why we have a debt limit of 70 percent. And so your revenue is about three times what those countries achieve. Three times. So whilst you can carry 70% of debt to GDP, they can carry 210%. So you cannot compare yourself to those countries. Mr. Speaker, so that argument is moot, and we should stop making that argument. What we should be interested in is to make sure that, just like our peers are doing, we stay within our peers. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, most importantly, Mr. Speaker, most importantly, anytime you hear the case, then our colleagues from the MPP says that, oh, the rate, the, the rate of debt accumulation has slowed under the MPP. Mr. Speaker, let us not tickle ourselves. Rate, rate, rate of debt accumulation doesn't mean much. What it means, simple, is that you are comparing period one to period two and express it over the previous year. Simple. So anytime the denominator increases, then certainly the rate of debt will, will, will slow down. This is nothing. There, it has no space in debt sustainability. Mr. Speaker, now to the point that our leader raised. Mr. Speaker, we have, for us to find out whether our debts are unsustainable or sustainable, there are issues we have to interrogate. There are issues we have to interrogate. And the major issue we have to interrogate about, Mr. Speaker, the key one that all of us talks about is the fact that our debt, as a, express our debt as a percentage to our GDP. Mr. Speaker, clearly, you will notice that in the year 2016, our public debt was 55.97, approximately 56% of GDP. Within four years, this administration has moved our public debt from 55.97% of GDP to 76% of GDP. This means, Mr. Speaker, over a period of four years, you have increased our debt to GDP by 20%. Mr. 
the speaker, and you call yourself better managers of the economy. The speaker, this is sad. The speaker, apart from that, apart from that, apart from that, the speaker, the previous administration, the previous administration took the public debt, took the public debt from 42.9% of GDP to 55.6% of GDP. The, the speaker, this represents 8% increase. 8% increase. Honorable, so we have increased our debt by 8%. Honorable Ranking Member, can you hold on? Yes, yeah, Honorable Deputy Leader. Speaker, Honorable Atu Forsen was once a Deputy Finance Minister. And his submission on the debt stock and the percentages are very misleading. All the submissions are misleading. And it is a house of record. You inherited a debt of 9.5 billion. When you left office, it was 122 billion, which was over 1,200 percent. Why then do you today create the impression to the world that a debt increase of 160 percent is worth it? You had eight years of ta over 1,200 percent. You were there as a deputy honorable, finance minister. Honorable leader. Africa, that is very honorable misleading. leader. You said it was misleading, so I was listening to see what is it that is misleading, but... Mr. Speaker, I don't... what he said, Mr. Speaker, the context he plays his argument was to the effect that there has been a worse management of the economy by way of increasing the debt stock. He says, within four years, we've increased it by 160%. I am saying that that is wrong, that... You had eight years and you increased by about one thousand five hundred percent. Thank you. Thank you. You'll get your opportunity to misleading. argue with that. Thank you. Honourable uh, uh, ranking member, please continue. Mr. Yeah. Speaker, I hope you will uh, take note of the interruptions and adjust the time appropriately. Mr. Speaker, in the year 2012, Ghana's public debt was 47.8 percent of GDP. Mr. No, no, Speaker, no. in the year 2013, President Mahama reduce the public debt to 42.5% of GDP. The speaker, this public debt subsequently increased to 51.19%. And then, the speaker, by the end of 2016, this public debt increased by 55, increased to 55.97% of GDP, approximately 56% of GDP. The speaker, in the year 2017, President Nana Adodanko Kufuado reduced the public debt from 56% to 55.56% of GDP. Mr. Speaker, but in the year 2018, this public debt started going up to 57.58% of GDP. Mr. Speaker, before COVID, the public debt increased to 62.47% of GDP. Mr. Speaker, and the situation got worse to 76% of GDP. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I think that is not enough, Mr. Speaker. One major way of us to assess as to whether we, we are in a position to repay our debt or not is to compare our debt to our revenue, Mr. Speaker. And that, are, that is the debt sustainability issues we should be concerned about. Mr. Speaker, I'll give you some statistics. Mr. Speaker, in the year 2018, if you are to compare our tax revenue to the debt service, Mr. Speaker, and debt service simply means Interest payment and amortization. Amortization, Mr. Speaker, is the debt that you are paying, the principal amount you are paying. Mr. Speaker, if you are to compare debt service to tax revenue, in the year 2013, we used to spend 39.28% of our tax revenue to service our debt. This amount, Mr. Speaker, increased to 47.11% in 2014, increased to 55.04% in 2015, Mr. Speaker, by the time we were leaving office, this, the ratio changed to 66.43% of GDP. Mr. Speaker, sadly, this government then came to office and increased it to 88.9% of GDP. Mr. Speaker, this means that your tax revenue, your tax revenue, all the taxes that we collect in this economy, Mr. Speaker, we have to spend approximately 90% of that amount to, for, for the purposes of debt service. Mr. Speaker, this is serious. This is serious, Mr. Speaker. That is why I'm trying to point to the fact that we should be careful because we are at the tipping edge. Mr. Speaker, again, if you are to take only the interest, 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 Mr. Speaker, interest is different from debt service in the sense that you are not paying principal. So we should be concerned about interest only. Mr. Speaker, as of 2013, in fact, 
we were spending 33.1% of our tax revenue for the purposes of paying interest. The Speaker, increased to 47.48% in the year 2016. So Speaker, today we have to spend 55.34% of our tax revenue for the purposes of paying interest in the year 2020. So Speaker, before COVID, this amount was 46.22 in the year 2019. So Speaker, so how can anybody just turn around and come and blame COVID? The problem is not COVID. The problem is indeed is mismanagement. That's what the problem is. It's your mismanagement that has created the mess and you cannot blame COVID. So, Speaker, again, again, on the sustainability issues. So, Speaker, if Ghana is to take all our exports, all our exports, all our exports, and as express it as a percentage to our external debt, the component of the debt that certainly, Mr. Speaker, will be paying to our foreign investors. Mr. Speaker, clearly, if you are to take the timber we export, the cocoa we export, uh, uh, the uh, things like gold, petroleum, everything, oil that we export, Mr. Speaker, including pineapples that we export. The problem we have here under President Danau Dudanko Ekufuadu is that that amount is not enough to even pay for our external component of the debt. Mr. Speaker, in fact, you need 70% more of your export to service that debt. And you are telling me that. You, it, it doesn't matter. You can just go ahead and then and, and, and then borrow. So, Speaker, we are getting to a level that if care is not taken, we cannot pay to our work at this. So, Speaker, as if that is not enough, as if that is not enough, so Speaker, let us now compare the interest that we pay and then show it as a, a, a ratio on the capital expenditure. So, Speaker, one reason why this thing is extremely important. It's extremely important is that, Mr. Speaker, oftentimes we complain about economic growth. Mr. Speaker, there's the need for us to smoothen our economic growth over the period. And that is why, Mr. Speaker, are deployed in such a way that it will benefit the key sectors of the economy. Today, Mr. Speaker, we are confronted in a situation where we, we, we raised so much revenue but ended up using the entire revenue for the purposes of paying interest because we have borrowed too much because we failed to smooth in, and of course, Mr. Speaker, the mismanagement has been continuing since 2018. Mr. Speaker, clearly, today, in the year 2017, you needed two and a half times of your interest payment to be able to only pay for your capital expenditure. Mr. Speaker, in the year 2018, this amount increased. Capital expenditure is three times of our interest payment. The speaker, again, in the year 2014, uh, 2019, the situation got worse, almost 4%. Almost four times before we could pay our interest. The speaker, so you could see the mismatch in the economy. The mismatch in the economy. The speaker, no wonder we are where we are today. The speaker, on the issue of debt sustainability, on the issue of debt sustainability, let no one, let no one create impression that Ghana as a country we are in a position of our debt, so we, should, we are in a position to service our debt, so we should continue borrowing. Mr. Speaker, accidents can happen. Accidents can happen. And I say this, Mr. Speaker, because it's confronted with a situation where you spend approximately 90% of your tax revenue for the purposes of servicing your debt, you should be worried about. We should be worried about, Mr. Speaker. We are getting to a level that, Mr. Speaker, if you are not careful, our debt has gotten to a level that it can end up throwing growth, economic growth, to a sustainable limit, Mr. Speaker, and that is why we should be worried about Mr. Speaker, and that is why, Mr. Speaker, today we are confronted with a situation of government saddling us with public debt. Public debt to the extent that now we have to pay, so the option is that Ghanaians must pay in the form of taxes. Mr. Speaker, today they have introduced taxes that all of us are worried about. The ordinary Ghanaian is complaining. The ordinary Ghanaian is complaining. Complaining because the taxes are so harsh. You have now decided to introduce a COVID tax. A COVID tax. So, Speaker, you have increased, you have decided to increase national health insurance levy from 2.5% to 3.5%. You have said that the informal sector that used to pay 3% bad flat rate, you are increasing it to 4%. Mr. Speaker, this is not fair. 
This is not fair. The informal sector should not be the one to carry the government mismanagement. They shouldn't be the one. The speaker, the informal sector rather needs support. The informal sector needs support. They don't need additional taxes. This government is insensitive, the speaker. This budget, the speaker, is nothing but a bitter budget. This is a bitter budget. This is a budget that doesn't seem to care. A budget that is only imposing taxes. You have taxes from, from heaven to hell. The speaker, the speaker, since I became Ghanaian, since I was born as a Ghanaian, the speaker, I've never seen a budget with so much taxes like this. The speaker, I've never seen one. The speaker, this, this tax is so much. The taxes are so much, the speaker. Since Kwame Nkrumah went to uh, Guinea, we have never seen a tax, taxes like this. The speaker, this is dangerous. The, the speaker, this budget, the speaker, if, if I may give it a name, the speaker, it's like go home and die. The speaker, this is Kofi Okuhu budget. Wow. Kofi Okuhu budget. Go home and die, budget. The speaker, the government doesn't seem to care. And that is why I'm saying that, the speaker, some of these taxes, we should be careful. And the worst one, the speaker, has to do with an increase of 5% Additional tax on the financial sector. The speaker, the financial sector is about to recover. It's about to recover. Remember, you have already imposed a national fiscal stabilization levy of 5% on the financial sector. And then you've added 5% additional COVID tax on them. The speaker, this will mean that the financial sector is going to pay 35% corporate income tax. 35% of corporate income tax. The speaker, what this simple means is that Investors, certainly they are not for the Christmas. They will pass on this tax to us, and you are the one going to pay through bank charges, the Speaker. And that is why I've said that this government is insensitive. The Speaker, these taxes are going to go up, and the taxes, when they go up, the Speaker, will not be good for us. My worry, my worry is that some of these taxes are distortionary. Some of these taxes will introduce dead weight costs to the extent that it will distort investors' decisions. And going forward, if we are not careful, Mr. Speaker, it will affect the nation. Mr. Speaker, that is why I wish to urge this August House to ensure that we understand where we are coming from and where, why we are where we are. Mr. Speaker, we are where we are because of some of these concerns that are raised. The misreporting is a key matter, a key matter. International community and the investor community are worried that Ghana is constantly misreported. So, Speaker, as an August House, we should pull the bricks. We should urge the minister responsible for finance that going forward, they should stop misreporting. Oh, so, Speaker, that, is why, that is why one I can assure minute. you. That is why I can assure you that I will not be part of the approval of this budget until those misreporting yeah. issues are concerned. So, yeah. Speaker, thank you very much for the opportunity, so, Speaker. But this budget is Kofioku budget. Honorable Abna Ose Asari. Thank you for the opportunity. But before I go, I just want to clear some misreporting that my colleague on the other side has just um, stated. One, Mr. Speaker, the data we present to the people of Ghana and the international world is valid, is credible. This is because we always show the deficit with the financial sector bailout and the energy sector bailout, and then we show the deficit without it. And included in our debt is that of the financial sector bailout and the energy sector bailout. Mr. Speaker, this is unprecedented. When last year, in the midst of the COVID pandemic, we had to go to IMF for a billion Ghana cities, a billion US dollars. If the data we, pre we presented was wrong, in three weeks, just three weeks, IMF wouldn't have given us one billion dollars without any conditions. Mr. Yeah. Speaker, when they had to go for a bailout in 2015, Bailout in 2015 of less than one billion dollars conditions to fulfill, which they even failed to fulfill. So, Mr. Speaker, we create data to the people of Ghana 
and the IMF as well. They wouldn't have gone ahead to give us one billion dollars, one billion dollars, when we needed it in just three weeks. Mr. Speaker, again, my brother on the other side um, said that um, our debt to GDP ratio is rising. Mr. Speaker, when you check the analysis from 2017 to 2019, we were doing a debt to GDP ratio of below 65%, including the financial sector bailout and the energy sector bailout. We were doing 62.5%, way below the 65% we had set for ourselves, and the ECOWAS of 70%. And then, COVID hit. So we moved from 62.5 straight to 76. And it's as a result of the extra expenditures that we had to incur and the revision in our revenues as a result of the lockdown and the other adverse effects of COVID-19. As a speaker, my colleague on the other side also said that we are using more than 70% of our tax revenue to service interest. Point of correction, it is not 70%. It is 50% if it's the total revenue. And if it's the tax revenue, the domestic the tax revenue, it is 62%. Just to correct you on that. Oh, Mr. Speaker, we were here in 2013 when they used 72% of revenue to pay for just compensation. 72% of our revenue was used to pay for compensation in 2013. And it's right in the budget for 2013. Mr. Speaker, let me continue with the debate. Mr. Speaker, once again, I thank you for the opportunity to support the motion on the floor. And in doing so, I'd like to thank the government for the great job it has done in support during this trying period of a global pandemic of unprecedented proportions, which has transformed into an economic crisis for not just Ghana alone, but the whole world. Mr. Speaker, the IMF projected that the effects of COVID-19 pandemic will see global debt rise by 98%. Deficits will go up. There will be contraction in growth by 3.8%. And even in the sub-Saharan Africa, a negative growth was predicted. Yet within these challenges, Mr. Speaker, Ghana has within the past year scored a positive growth in virtually all the sectors except the industry. Mr. Speaker, we have come away with a projected positive end-of-year outlook, 0.9% uh, growth of GDP. Mr. Mr. Speaker, the agreed sector grew by 4.5%, thanks to the uh, government's planting for food and jobs and the provision of farm machinery at subsidized costs to our farmers. Mr. Speaker, we can compare this to the growth of 2.9% in 2016, when there was no coverage or any serious pandemic like we have today. Mr. Speaker, yes, it's in the industry that we saw some contraction of 3.1%. And Mr. Speaker, prior to 2020, this sector in 2019 witnessed a growth of 6.4%. When, when we took over in 2017, this sector in 2016 had a growth of 4.3%. And when we took it to 15.7% in 2017, so if we say that we can do it again, yes, we can. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, in the services sector, uh, we have seen many hotels being shut down for about nine months. But yet, still, we have seen some positive growth of 1.9%. And this was as a result of the government investing in ICT digitization and also the banking sector showing recovery after the investment of $21 billion Ghana cities. This could have been curtailed if my people on the other side had taken the bull by the horn way back. This 21 billion could have been curtailed, Mr. Speaker. And so when they talk about debt accumulation, they should also think about the things they failed to do that has resulted in what we see now. Mr. Speaker, this positive growth outlook in GDP in the wake of this pandemic has also come about as a result of government also exhibiting tenacity to stick to all its priority programs, like the free SHS, the NAPCO, 1D1F, 1 million per constituency, planting for food and jobs, nurses and teachers trainee allowances. All these programs were fully funded in 20, from 2017 to 2020, and I can assure the House that it is still fully funded to the tune of 6.97 billion in the 2021 budget. And this can be found on page 241 
of the budget. Mr. Speaker, uh, for me, I can confidently say that uh, had it been my friends on the other side in government, there is no way we could have seen the continuity of this social policy intervention. But we thank God for Nana Ekufuado's second term. And so, there will be continuity with these social policy interventions that affect the common man and the citizens at large. Mr. Speaker, in the wake of the pandemic, many people in the public sector around the world lost their jobs. Some saw huge pay cuts, others saw retrenchments. But for us in Ghana, all the 650,000 public workers had job security. They never missed their salaries. All the agreements that were signed with them concerning pay increase for 2020, we were able to fulfill all these things. The government lived up to it when it said that it will save lives and protect lives. Mr. Speaker, all these things that we did came at a huge cost, which affected our deficit and debt levels because revenues were revised during the mid-year by 13.4 billion. And, and so government had to borrow to take care of the existing expenditure and the additional COVID-19 expenditure to the tune of 11.3 billion. So looking to the future, the government wants to return us to the path of their sustainability and economic growth and has committed to a GDP growth rate of 5%, inflation of 8%, overall deficit of 9.5%, and a primary balance of 1.9% of GDP. With the COVID alleviation and revitalization of enterprises support, the Ghana Cares, the government's transformation agenda for growth in the short to the medium term is set to progress. Mr. Speaker, we do not have a perfect economy, and we all seek the aspiration of a better developed economy. We expect our friends on the other side to point these things out to us, sometimes passionately, sometimes vociferously, like Honorable Atokos in just stage. But one thing that we ought to maintain, however, is the unity of purpose. Mr. Speaker, the global pandemic has thrown us into a war situation, and we cannot afford both MPP and NDC, majority and minority, to be at cross, cross purposes. Mr. Speaker, we are not out of the woods yet, and it's important to put our shoulders to the wheel and share the burden of embracing our revenue situation through a tax policy measure. And that is why we are one to support the COVID-19 health levy of 1% increase in the NHIL and the VAT flat rate to support COVID-19 related expenditure. That is why we are urging the House to support an increase in petroleum levels to provide sustainable funding for pollution, sanitation, and waste management as well as the energy sector program. And that is why we are urging the House to support a financial sector cleanup levy of 5% before profit. Mr. Speaker, note that while the government is seeking to raise revenue through indirect means, government is also seeking to push in the burdens of the common person by one, giving us a 30% tax rebate on the income levels, income taxes, of companies in the accommodation and food services, education, arts and entertainment, travel and tourist industry. We are also suspending tax stamps for small businesses for the second, third and fourth quarter of 2021. We are also suspending the vehicle income tax for our own taxi and truck truck drivers for the third and fourth quarter of 2021. Again, we are waiving penalties and interest on any payment of all unpaid tax arrears from now to September 2021. Mr. Speaker, this is a budget that takes us round the bend to a race for development after the huge global setback. This government is determined in its efforts to achieve a transformation in the economy and to benefit from the global situation by enhancing our competitive edge. I would urge my brothers and sisters on the other side to support this government because together, we can make it happen. Together, we can move Ghana beyond aid. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Honorable Adongo. Thank you very much, uh, right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, before I start, I want to make 
this very clear, that the $1 billion that was given to Ghana was called the Rapid Credit Facility. Rapid. It can be done in five days. So if you did it in seven, uh, three weeks, you know why. Other countries have said it in 10 days because it's a rapid credit facility with modifications to accommodate the exigencies of the time. And so if you did it in three weeks, some people's time around time was just one week. Mr. Speaker, the last was read, particularly looking at the circumstances under which we to find ourselves and looking through the measures that have been undertaken across the globe to revive various economies that are challenged by COVID, you found that Ghana was the only country that introduced austerity in the midst of COVID. And I have never seen a country trying to revive from COVID that wants to introduce austerity measures and hope that you'll be able to get out of COVID. As a matter of fact, the measures were introduced deeper and deeper into, into COVID and our recovery will take a longer and more painful period to, 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 to achieve. My honorable ranking member on finance has spoken extensively about the budget deficit. But Mr. Speaker, the budget deficit and the manipulations over the years have always been my pet subject when the budget comes to this floor. And today I intend to demonstrate that our budget deficit has been massaged by 25 billion Ghana cities. Hey. Mr. Speaker, the minister responsible for finance reported that our foreign financial deficit was only 31 million Ghana cities. 31 million Ghana cities and nothing more and nothing less. Mr. Speaker, if you look at the budget statement itself, particularly under Appendix 2A, which you find under paragraph uh, page 205, it makes it quite clear that the loans that were contracted for our projects, which were loans, amounted to about 6 billion Ghana cities. Mr. Speaker, project loans cannot be used to amortize loans. They must be spent on specific projects, and there is no way you can reduce your public, your, 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 your deficit financing by using that to pay. So 6 billion unequivocal amount of money cannot be found there. Mr. Speaker, there is also program loans. And I was very sad to see a report in the budget that says that our program loans was only 388 million. Mr. Speaker, in the minister's own document, in the minister's own document, and here I refer to appendix 12B, which is Performance Summary of Funding Sources. And you can find that under, under page 275. Mr. Speaker, this page is listing all the program loans that we contracted and spent here. And this is the minister himself speaking in, in, in page 275. He says that we got an amount of 1.3 billion from the World Bank, IP, IPF, and Africa Development Bank, out of which we spent 512 million Ghana cities. He says we also got another 65 million dollars, which amounted to 377 million, out of which we spent 343 million. He says that we also there is also a fast track COVID. 19 facility of about 130 million from the World Bank. That amount we spent it entirely, and it is about 754 million. It says that IMF gave us the equivalent of 585 billion, 5 billion, 885 million, out of which we spent 5 billion, 566 million. Again, he says the Africa Development Bank also gave us 409 million, out of which we spent 389 million. Mr. Speaker, the minister said the European Union also gave us 504 million, we spent the entire amount. Mr. Speaker, how can all this put together, somebody will look us in the face and say that he only got 388 million? I can't imagine this. And this is house of records. I don't know who did that to my big brother. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, he, he, he Mr. Speaker, the entire amount 
if you put all this together, from program loans that the minister himself is reporting, is 7.5 billion Ghana cities. That money has disappeared from our deficits. And we are now dealing with 388 million, which creates a for shocker of 31 million foreign financing of our public debt. Mr. Speaker, that cannot be the case. Mr. Speaker, we are also aware that this House approved three billion dollars, out of which we said two billion dollars of the Eurobond money should be spent on the budget. You indicate in your report that you have spent all that money, and yet you say that two billion is worth seven point five billion Ghana cities. What exchange rate is that, Mr. Speaker? The exchange rate that they themselves use give us our Eurobond utilisation on the budget at 11.590 billion. Mr. Speaker, if you put all that together, our foreign financing of the budget comes to an amount of 25,155 billion Ghana cities, and not 31 million, Mr. Speaker. If you add that to our domestic financing of the budget of 45 billion, Mr. Speaker, we did a deficit of 70.798 billion Ghana cities. This excludes the matters that my honorable colleague raised regarding off balance sheet items. These are real cash that you collected and spent, for which you have actually reported in certain aspects of your budget. But where it mattered most, it is. And Mr. Speaker, the budget deficit effectively comes to 18.6 billion on a cash basis. Without adding below or above the line or middle line, it comes to 18.6 billion. How can you look us in the face and do this to us? These are monies you have spent. What it means is that expenditure totaling about 25 billion have disappeared from our expenditure framework. Completely disappeared from our framework. And these are expenditures related to COVID-19 program expenditure. Mr. Speaker, the whole world is worried about transparency in the utilization of donor funds that came to fight COVID. Even accounting for the money you spent and you are taxing us to take more. Oh. Oh. Mr. Speaker, these are very dangerous times for these people, for our people of Ghana. And we cannot continue on this path. This financial engineering must stop. And Mr. Speaker, this House must insist that the right things are done in order that we get credibility as the political class of our country. We cannot continue on this path. Mr. Speaker, somebody will tell you that some of the money was used for amortization. Mr. Speaker, this House approved an amount for amortization. We approved one billion dollars for amortization. And Mr. Speaker, the minister himself explains in paragraph 165, page, 30, uh, page 38, that out of the Eurobond money, about 523 billion was used to buy back the 2023 uh, uh, issuance. And about 476 billion of the remaining amount of money was spent on domestic liability management. Mr. Speaker, that exhausts the $1 billion. But Mr. Speaker, in the budget, when it comes to deficit, they report amortization of 14 billion Ghana cities in order to sweep up the money they spend from borrowers. Mr. Speaker, how can $1 billion metamorphose into 14 billion Ghana cities? That cannot happen. And this is the kind of gerrymandering that we are facing, and this is what they use to become better managers of the economy. These are better manipulators of the economy, and they cannot happen. Mr. Speaker, I want to make the point that the minister also reports on our public debt. And here again, I want to say that our public debt was conspicuously understated by the records of this House. And here I will prove it. Mr. Speaker, if you look at Appendix 10B, which you find in page 274, it says that there is a schedule they have provided to this House. And that schedule lists all the financial commitments or the loans that we borrowed in this year. Mr. Speaker, I want to go to that document. Their old document is not mine. It says new commitments. Appendix 10B, page 249 and page 250. It says new commitment in 2020. These are additional loans we borrowed in 2020, some of which were drawn down just like the euro bonds were all drawn down and spent and should go into our public debt. Mr. Speaker, the matters are referred to 
regarding the COVID-19 expenditures and the program loans are all conspicuously missing in this appendix, which is talking about our new laws. Even if we want to play Darga with Daniels, we can play Darga with $1 billion for African credit facilities from IMF. How can we delete that figure from the list of commitments? $1 billion, Mr. Speaker. All the other items that I raised, European Union spending, the African Development Bank, World Bank money, are conspicuously missing from our debt profile. So, Mr. Speaker, an amount equivalent to 7.5 billion Ghana cities has been shaved off our public debt. Mr. Speaker, if you add those numbers, our public debt is now 299 billion, threatening to hit 300 billion. Mr. Speaker, that gives us a debt to GDP of 78%. So don't be roaming around with 76% because it doesn't exist. What you owe and the debt to GDP is 78%. Mr. Speaker, you know what you're talking about? I listened to my venerable leader trying strenuously to explain that if they remove the financial sector bailout cost, they remove the energy sector cost from our public debt, our debt to GDP will now be lower. Mr. Speaker, that GDP itself benefited from the banking sector cleanup. When you spend that money on banking sector cleanup, deposited, collected that money as income and spent that money to create income. Those who also collected it also spent it and it created streams of income. We we'll call it the multiply effect of income. Have you discounted the multiply effect of your, 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 your GDP? If you just you realize that man of that, if you hadn't spent that, your GDP would have been a for support GDP. That would give you a debt to GDP close to 100%. Hey. So don't even try, try. It is a very, very rudimentary analysis of economics that you can just eliminate something that created the GDP, but keep the benefits in the GDP and strike a difference and get a balance. It doesn't happen like that. It is important we that you report the true state of our affairs. Me is in shambles. You have been forgiven. Have Mr. Been Speaker. I also listened to the minister responsible for finance say that Ghana's gross international reserve was about 8.4 and because it's about 8.4 Ghana is doing better and that's why there is stability. Mr. Speaker, what are you talking about? Across the globe, gross international reserves are meaningless. The reason is that gross international reserves are not for you. There are people whose liabilities are occurring in the next six months. You must take them and put them aside because it's not for you. When you take all that away, including our debt portfolio, the interest payments you are going to make, we need to exclude all of that. Then you get your net international reserves. And Mr. Speaker, our net international reserves is deteriorated. We move from 5.5 billion in 2019 December to 4.5 billion. Mm. Mr. Speaker, if you add there are some vulnerability items that anybody looking at your net international reserves should be worried about. And Mr. Speaker, I want to list some of them. Your outflows, investment that in Ghana that they can liquidate in short period, your financial derivatives, your portfolio investments that can be reversed within a short period. Mr. Speaker, those numbers alone are close to six billion. In other words, if all these people came for our money, we don't have dollars to give them. We have only 4.5 billion to cover a responsibility of over 6 billion, and we are here celebrating this level of vulnerability. Mr. Speaker, the economy is in shambles. But Mr. Speaker, my good colleague says that the banking sector is in good But I want to talk about what I refer to as policy deception. There is serious policy deception. Mr. Speaker, how can you tax us, COVID tax? COVID health tax will give you 899 million. But your government of Ghana expenditure on the health sector is only 13 billion. Uh, 13 million. So what happens to the rest of the money? You are not taxing us for COVID. You are taxing us to clean up your mess. Mr. Speaker, they talk about Agenda 111. And yet there is a paragraph that talks about, a table that talks about Ghana a government's flagship programs. Mr. Speaker, conspicuously missing in your flagship is agenda.
one, one, one. In fact, conspicuously missing is the health sector. So if you have not budgeted adequately for it and it is not important to you, why deceive the people of Ghana? Honourable Member, your time is up. I'll give you the time. Sure Mr. Speaker, some, Mr. Speaker some, some people have more time than they can write. Others can write more than the Honourable time. Honourable Member, thank you very much. Share Speaker. what you have with others so that you don't thank, run thank out of time. Thank you. Okay. So, Mr. Speaker, another policy deception is rose. After you have time is that you are introducing another. I thought we were concluding. Uh, your five minutes, fifteen minutes. Your five minutes. I want to conclude on conclusion. conclusion. Very well. In conclusion, they are budgeting only ninety million for sanitation. You are they are collecting three hundred and eleven million from taxes. Mm. So the money is not meant for baller. Mr. Speaker, I come from a place where they keep telling us that they are going to build the Kalugu Dam. You have only budgeted for 42 billion for the Kalugu Dam. What type of dam can you build with 42 billion? Out of a project that is worth over. Kalugu Party, yes. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, it is important that <laughs> our member go on. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, before I make my contribution, it is important that it is important that we correct some of the misinformation that has been put in the records this afternoon. Mr. Speaker, when you sign a loan agreement, that loan agreement figure it's not added to your debt stock. It is when you disperse that you add the disbursements to your debt stock. So for Honorable Adongo to add all the loans that we have contracted over a period and to name that as a total debt is completely wrong. You should stop doing that. If you will get information on disbursed portions of our credits, that the figures as we have presented them in the budget. Honorable uh, Hold on, hold on, go off your mic. Yes. Mr. Speaker, Where's his notes this on? is the minister's own document, and he's talking about disbursement. I'm talking about disbursement, not commitment. And it is here, your own document. So Honorable 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 you talk about different things. Please proceed. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I can even really put on the face mask. Mr. Speaker, the point I made to Honorable Adongo is that I listened to the figures he added to result in what he says ought to be the figure for our debt. Him, that those figures represent the loan amounts. If you will add the disbursement as presented in the budget, there's no way you arrive at what you arrive at. Please stop that. There are students monitoring the, the debate in Parliament. It's important that we teach them the right things. Again, Mr. Speaker, you have had deficits and that we, as a government, in hiding some of the expenditures so that we are not presenting the true deficits. Mr. Speaker, the important thing is that you present the information for stakeholders in your economy. So if you present a deficit and you say it excludes, for instance, 
sector cleaner commitment, so long as you provide that information, you cannot say that anybody is attempting to mislead anybody. Again, that has been repeated here again and again. Mr. Speaker, we should put a stop to that. Honorable Adongo referred to our gross international reserves and said that is not for us. Maybe. But if you want to understand the need and the significance of our gross reserves, you would need to look at the behavior of your city. Against the major currencies. The behavior of your city against your trading partners. I can tell you that from 2000 to today, the best performance of the city has been in the last four years. In particular, in 2020, the city performed so well against the major currencies. So what is the debate about gross international reserves? We must look at the interface between economic management, the interface between economic management and the welfare of the people. And where it matters is the exchange rate that affects prices on the market. Mr. Speaker, the year 2020, as has been indicated, was a year like no other. And we all saw how a pandemic descended on us, took away lives, disrupted businesses, and destroyed livelihoods, including that of Ghana, were confronted with the need to find money to finance not just the gap arising out of the revenue shortfalls, but also the additional expenditures that the pandemic had brought in its wake. Mr. Speaker, in the case of Ghana, we want to know how did we perform within the consideration that we needed to keep our debts within sustainable limits to make the recovery easier and less painful. Mr. Speaker, the debt figures that were produced by Honorable Artu Fosen were debt figures that did not reflect the size of the economy, but also did not reflect the growth. The growth in public debt is important. In a year that we needed to find uh, these loans and all the facilities that you mentioned, they were loans. And yet, you are able to keep the growth of your public debt lower than in previous years. It means you have done something right. And the burden is on us as a country, Mr. Speaker. The strategies that made this possible and to improve them for even better outcomes. The attempt to let it look like in the wake of the pandemic, somehow government has borrowed beyond what we should have, is just but Mr. Speaker, it was not just in terms of the debt. Once we managed to keep that, in my opinion, within sustainable limits, government took pains to preserve all the social services that we have committed to the people. The National Strategic COVID-19 Response Program was preserved in 2020, will be preserved in 2021. Free SHS preserved. Year of growth preserved. One district, one modern hospital, preserved. Teacher training allowances, preserved. Nursing training allowances, preserved. One district, one factory, preserved. Land jobs, preserved. Namco program, preserved. School feeding program, preserved. Leave program, preserved. 
pension reforms preserved. Even on corruption, the record is better than before. Mr. Speaker, it is in this light that we must look at this budget and give it the support that we need. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable um, John Jenapo. Thank you very much, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, let me thank you for the opportunity. Sure, sure. Mr. Speaker, I had my, my senior colleagues say I So I'll start with a good note, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to associate myself with the statement by the Speaker of Parliament in respect of the way Parliament is being treated by the executive. Mr. Speaker, this is akin to two people, and like Honorable Bagwin said, he and President Akufuado work together. Now there is some contemporary stew with some ampensi and a bit of palm oil on it. And what President Akufuado is doing, under the guise of taking a bit of the stew, has created a canal towards his side so that all the palm oil will gravitate towards his side. That's because it's on that note that we want to serve notice that won't be part of this today, won't be part of this tomorrow. Mr. Speaker, on a more substantive issue, Mr. Speaker, economic management is not just about growing GDP. And so I think that even as a parliament, we must begin to look at other ways of measuring progress in terms of the welfare of the people. You can grow your economy, your GDP can grow, and yet it will be a jobless GDP growth. Mr. Speaker, if you borrow or take money and all you do is to spend on recurrent expenditure to the detriment of capital expenditure, you might initially see some growth because of the expenditure approach, but eventually your GDP cannot generate the needed revenue for you like we are witnessing today. There's been an attempt to blame the current hardship, the current quagma, and the current difficulty that we find ourselves on COVID. Mr. Speaker, I therefore want to deal with pre-COVID that is between 2017 and 2019. Mr. Speaker, in 2016, our total tax revenue was 25.7 billion. Out of that amount, our debt servicing was 9 billion. What it meant is that we needed 35% of our tax revenue, and that is your first line item as an economist, to pay for that debt. Mr. Speaker, 2019, the year that they claimed they did well, our tax revenue was 42 billion, our interest payment ballooned to 20 billion. It means that if you get your tax revenue from 38%, we have moved to 48%. I'm not talking nominal figures. I'm talking percentages. Mr. Speaker, if you took compensation and debt servicing, in 2016, our tax revenue could pay the two items. And we'll still be left with money. Because compensation was 14 billion. If you add it to the 19, that makes it 23 billion. So out of 25 billion, 0.7, we still had about 4 billion extra. By the end 2019, Compensation and interest payments amounted to 43 billion. So if you took 42 billion, you simply couldn't pay for compensation and interest payment at the same time. So this issue of COVID is neither here nor there. What COVID has only done is to confirm the poor state of the Ghanaian economy, which was hidden in terms of figures. Because if your debt to GDP is growing at a slow pace and your GDP is growing at a higher pace. And if your deficit, which then becomes the loans and the debt, because once you have a funding, you need to borrow to fill that deficit. It's also low at around less than 5%. How come today we have a debt to GDP of above 76%? It tells you that you are cooking figures. It's basic economics, because if your deficits are low, your debt accumulation is low, your GDP growth rate is high, then your debt as a percentage of the GDP 
which is the base, must be low. What we are seeing defies logic, it defies economics, and it cannot stand the test of time, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, but even within this, let's look at this. Mr. Speaker, from 2016, our total revenue was 109 billion. By 2020, the total billion was around 200 billion for President Akufuado. Excellent revenues alone, President Mahama got 3 billion. President Akufuado got about 12 billion. Mr. Speaker, petroleum revenues, since we started accumulating petroleum revenues from President Mills, President Mahama, President Akufuado. President Akufuado alone accounts for about 67% of the total petroleum revenues that this country has got. Mr. Speaker, as if that is not enough, if we take Euro bond, which is a sovereign bond, President Mahama, President Mills, President Kufuor, they borrowed 4.5 billion. If you look at what President Akufuado alone is borrowing in terms of Euro bond dollars, 13 billion dollars. Presidents borrowed 4.5 billion. One alone, just one person, he is borrowing 13 billion cities or dollars. In that regard, in the budget, even in the budget, in 2016, there was zero financing from the Bank of Ghana. Zero financing. And yet, in this parliament, when the minister came here, we approved 10 billion CDs to be advanced from the Bank of Ghana. If you check the budget appendix, the Bank of Ghana has released 22 billion CDs to President Akufado. More than 100% of what this house approved. But let me serve notice to the governor of the Bank of Ghana, whether he likes it or not. We shall haul him here and ensure that he is held liable for this infraction, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Ghana is, and I'm dealing with the COVID. Other countries equally faced COVID. Cote d'Ivoire is our neighbor. And those who compare ourselves to Nigeria, you are making a huge mistake. You must compare two economies with the same structure. And Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana have the same structure. In 2020, Cote d'Ivoire ran a deficit of 5.7%. Ghana, you are running a deficit of 13.8%. And you want us to clap for you? You want us to clap for you for your own failures? For your own, for your own lackluster performance? Mr. Speaker, this performance is an abysmal performance that no one can be proud of, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it's also important to look at where the monies went to. Because when you get revenues, you spend those monies. And in every family, when you have difficult moments, what you do is to price your expenditure. Mr. Speaker, 2013 to 2015, first three years of President Mahama, he spent 17 billion on capital expenditure. And in every economic lesson that you learn, as part of every growth model, gross capital formation is a major, major issue that you ought to tackle. If you don't build your capacity in terms of the infrastructure base, you are going to have a major, major challenge going forward. President Akufuado, in his first three years, spent 30% less on capital expenditure. Indeed, when we passed the Energy Sector Levies Fund, the Act, it was the Road Fund in 2016 accumulated one billion, we released all those monies to the Ministry of Roads. Under President Akufuado, over the past three years, two billion cities of the road fund has been withheld by the Ministry of Finance. No wonder, Mr. Speaker, our roads are in such a bad and poor state. And I refer to the Energy Sector Levies Act 2017, 2018, and 2019. Um, Yes, honorable. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my friend on the other side is misleading the house. Ministry of Finance hasn't held two billion of road funds money. No, no, it is not true. 
Mr. Speaker, that can't be true. This is the House of Records. There is proof. Can, I, can you speak to the mic? I can't hear you. Mr. Speaker, all I'm saying is that it is not true that Ministry of Finance has held on to two billion of funds belonging to road funds. Rather, Ministry of Finance has contributed outside their regular funds to enable them to pay more contractors. So what my friend on the other side is saying is not true. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I refer to the Energy Sector Levies Act account presented to this House. It's a public document here. Because of the law we passed that enabled the Minister of Finance to retain some portions of the money, what they did is that the road fund levy, the amount that went into the fund, they kept that money. And you can check, Minister, the record is here. Annual report on the management of the energy sector levies and accounts for the year 2018, submitted to Parliament by Ken Oforiata, Minister for Finance. We've debated this matter here. We have debated this matter here. Honorable Kwame Abuja has raised this matter right in this chamber. And even at committee level, we advise you the exempt from the capping and realignment so that you can give your money to them. Honorable Minister, I beg you, kindly look at the records. Mr. Speaker, as if that is not enough, if you look at what you can achieve, because in all this, if your landlord gets money or your family head gets money, you must be able to point to something. At least we built a rich hospital. Did we not? We did. We built the whole airport. We built the KDTR market. Did we not? We built the Kotoka airport. Did we not? We built the Tamale airport. Did we not? We built the Circle Interchange. Did we not? What has President Akufuado done in the first four years of his tenure? Right, Honorable Speaker. The only thing he can boast of is the Olympic free SHS. With traffic light of blue, green, yellow, red, and whatever you want to call it, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this is a president who has told us that the Zongo Development Fund has done so well, unprecedented, that he has decided to abolish that ministry. <laughs> that the Special Development Ministry has done unprecedented work in the history of this country. So the only way to thank them is to abolish the ministry. Mr. Speaker, what kind of Kokua Nancy story is this? Mr. Speaker, this cannot stand the test of time. But apart from those that I've mentioned, go to the critical sectors of the economy. Because when you spend, it must reflect in the critical sectors of the economy. One key critical sector, Mr. Speaker, is the construction sector. And the President... 2016, 8.4% growth. And the 2019, pre-COVID, negative 4.4% growth. One D1F, just one D1F. President Mahama, 7.9. President Akufuado, 6.3. The currency, the one that you say you've done very well. 2016, the currency depreciated at 9.6. 2019, your best year the currency depreciated at 12.9 percent. The financial sector, we were growing it at 8 percent. Under you, 2019, it is 1.8 percent. Private sector growth, 14 percent to 12 percent. Access to electricity, we took it from 54 percent to 83 percent. President Okubado took it from 83 to 85 percent. So every year, 0.5% growth. That is his record. Mr. Speaker, in all this, after mismanaging the economy, dissipating our public funds, he has come again with this budget, with this budget, to increase NHIA levy from 2.5 to 3.5. Increase from 3 to 4%. What he calls a something, something sanitization, sanitation levy. 10% on diesel, 10% on petrol, another 20% on diesel, another 20% on petrol, and then he's going to the financial sector to tax them 5%, profit before tax. Mr. Speaker, let me serve notice that these taxes 
as far as the minority is concerned. We would not be part of this illegitimate, illegal, and callous taxes from the people of Ghana. We would not be part of that. COVID is still with us. In December, you were boasting that you were giving them freebies. What has changed between December and now? Is COVID over? Why do you want to impoverish the ordinary Ghanaian? My final one because of time is a speaker. The minister says that he has spent 12.5 billion on capacity charges. This is the 2020 media review budget. And I refer to paragraph 13, page 2. This is the media. We have spent in excess of 4.7 billion in three and a half years. So the minister says that he has spent 4.7 billion paying for capacity charges in three and a half years. Then in six months, he wants to tell us that he's paid 7.2 billion in six months. Let's look at this is the budget. I have come through the appendices. I've come through the budget. This 7.2 billion cannot be found in this budget. Let me just look at if you want to cut a thief, and excuse my language, there's a very clever I have, I have one more minute. Let's look at we told the minister. The so-called experts are talking about. Give us the breakdown. Let's look at this. A public document. This is supposed to be the breakdown for that capacity charge. Let's look at number two on the list is Letasco. 500 million. They supplied fuel for the plants to run and to sell fuel power to ECG. If your plant is idle, your car is parked, you are not moving it. Do you burn fuel, Mr. Speaker? No. Mr. Speaker, Stratcom Energy, they will pay 633 million for fuel supply. Mr. Speaker, GNPC, they were paid 86 million refund for heavy fuel oil. I therefore wish to put on record that this so capacity charges is a figment of the imagination of the current administration and it cannot stand the test of time. With as regard with these words, I want to thank you and wish you well. God bless you. Thank you very much. Right on, Honorable Dr. Ayel. Mr. Speaker, I rise to support the motion under consideration. Mr. Speaker, it's sad when you are compared one regime to another regime that spent eight years. Honorable, now, if somebody... Honorable Evrie, can you wear your mask? Honorable Evrie, uh, sorry, Goku Kwantri, I ignored because I noticed he had a speech challenge. Can you wear your mask? Well, that's a Mr. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, it is worrying when the achievement, the eight years achievement of a regime is compared to the four years of work of the MVP. Now each hospital and some of those capital investments. I don't even want to go there. But at the end of the next four years, God will give us life, and we'll do the comparison. Mr. Speaker, may I probably come from a bit of the ending of the last speaker from the other side, where it was more to do with excess capacity in terms of um, power generation and all, all that. Mr. Speaker, it is real that there is take or pay in this country. It is real that that take or pay was not informed on evidence or data or science. Mr. Speaker, if you go to the Public Relations International Research site, it tells you that all those people who go into take or pay, those business entities, a lot of time is marks of corruption. It's not me saying. May somebody go to the public site to read about those who do take or pay and it is so clear that there are deals behind. I'm just quoting from there. You stand to research. Mr. The speaker, the MPP were left with this legacy. At the time that the peak demand was 2,400 megawatts, 1,800, you were producing 2,004. Somebody decided in a regime to provide 
5,083 megawatts, of which now peak demand is 2,700, and the excess 2,300. We are paying 500 million dollars every year for it for no reason. Yet you come in and you feel so strong to attack the MPP. It is sad. Mr. Speaker, may I calm down and then speak a bit about the principles of this debate? And the principles that we're talking about today is about taxation. I'll take it from the taxation perspective. I'll just stick around taxation, and that's okay. Mr. Speaker, I stand here not as a medical doctor, you know, but the economic policy person you also know. And I will speak and teach, and it is important. Mr. Speaker, at this point, it is clear for us to understand that we are in recession. That we are in recession. We are in a recession that you and myself don't know if next year we will still remain in it. And when we go two terms or two years of which your GDP is less than the LRT or the long run term, then you are heading to depression. We are better managers of the economy. We are not going to say that and say that. At the end of the day, we are going to do just what others are doing. Mr. Speaker, everyone knows that in crisis, at the early stages, you have to liberate the people in taxes. Now, now do not tell Kufado. He did it. Last year, extension of corporate tax filing from April 30th to June 30th, it was done. Income taxes, income taxes of frontline workers, base salary was increased by 50%. Mr. Speaker, at the same time, if you go to the pension fund, those that did not mature, normally if you take from it, you pay withholding of 15%. It was suspended. This was the heart of the Obantapa Ghana Care budget. There's a feeling for the people. Those who are the lifeline consumers, Mr. Speaker, when the virus is crisis in 1968, in 1978, in 1988, in 1998, in 2008, if you look at the longitudinal cycle, whenever there is recession, Mr. Speaker, all you have to do by those social democrats and those who believe in the Keshian philosophy is just to cut taxes. That is the other side of the argument. But it also states that if you think that you reduce taxes, but however, the recession is going to persist, then you have to stimulate growth with taxation. And that is what we are doing now. We are intending to stimulate growth with taxation. And somebody is saying this is wrong. Those who do comparative analysis in other countries. Mr. Speaker, our economy as it is now is a middle income economy. It's a bit more artificial middle income. But we'll take it like that. But as it stands now, Mr. Speaker, if you are indeed middle income, industry must lead. Agriculture must be the last, and service must follow. The last 10 years, that oil was explored. We have not seen industry leading. Indeed, it was an Abidjan Peku for this time that industry has taken its rightful place. And if this one new one F matures, you will see transformation in that phase. In that phase. Mr. Speaker, we're talking about getting out of recession. Monetary policy. We cannot use monetary policy. In the U.S., the president has signed 1.9 billion, 1.9 trillion check. Yes, he can afford. It's a developed economy. Service driven. Technology driven. So for them, he can afford. Even if there will be shifts in the system, they can afford it. We, if you are going to do what we call quantitative easing, printing money like they have done in the U.S., you are going to be in a problem. Because you are more import dependent economy. And you are going to put external shops on your dollars and then everything will run haywire. You will not attempt that. Mr. Speaker, in terms of the physical space, 76% to GDP ratio. Whatever it is, we have moved from 6 to 6 because of generosity. The generosity of NAPCO, the generosity of expanding school feeding, all those generosity, including the legacy debts. And today somebody is saying that, making arguments over debt to GDP ratio. That's no problem. The only way we can be able to move as a people is to do some taxation. 
taxing the rich for the poor. What is wrong with that? You use a bean, you buy food. You're probably engine litter 5.7. Somebody somewhere uses a motor or does not even have a car in my village. And he is saying that pay some money just like it is done elsewhere. Mr. Speaker, as I speak, Botswana, Botswana, we are in the same socioeconomic bracket. They have moved in their budget of February VAT from 12% to 14%. Mr. Speaker, they have moved their withholding tax from 7.5% effective 1st July. Mr. Speaker, they have also levied fuel and they have moved by 0.09 dollars. Mr. Speaker, it's not only them. Let's traverse the sub-Saharan region. Kenya is coming in July. Go and look at their budget proposal. They are thinking about taxation. Mr. Speaker, they are also go to South Africa. They have put exercise duty on alcohol and tobacco. Plastic bags are there. South Africa is now tax fuel levy increased by 15 cents. And the same as their road accident fund is increased by 11 cents. Mr. Speaker, what is wrong if Ghana does something here say? VAT 1%, NHL 1%. The banks look at the amount of profit, amount of money, some of them repatriate from this country. And somebody is going for 5% and you are arguing for some of those banks. We have to be more Ghanaian enough. We have to be more Ghanaian enough. We must love ourselves. If you do good, you do for yourself. This budget is talking about the need to take some 5% before tax. And you are telling me that that is wrong. And they call the mess. In any case, it's a temporary measure. They're talking about up to 2024. I'm worried when somebody will talk against this. We are also going to talk about the 20 percent, 20 cents that is put per liter of petrol or diesel, so that we can take care of the take or pay, the monstrous payment. Do we know how much 500 million dollars can be impact in the health sector? Do you know how much 500 dollars, million dollars can impact the health sector? Indeed, the rich hospital was there about, I think, about 500 million dollars or so. As time to be corrected. That will build one rich hospital in northeast region. Yes, the following year will bring another rich, rich hospital in the western region. However, however, somebody is just chopping the money free. It is sad. It is sad. Absolutely very sad. Mr. Speaker, may I quote Haruna Idrusu, uh, Haruna Idrusu, the now minority leader? In the energy crisis, I'll quote him from the City FM page, of which, as I speak, my friends can also go to the City FM page, and that is what it is. So I think that I support the Honourable Minister Haruna Idrusu. At that time, he was um, the Minister of Labour. Mr. Speaker, this is what happened in the midst of the energy crisis. There came Esla. And at the end of the day, civil society, what the minister said after he met the TUC was that the only way we have to go out of this is through ta taxation. And for that matter, they did the ta taxation as it is. Mr. Speaker, this is what happened. It translated into 27% increase of fuel prices at the pump. All the measures we are doing now is going to increase by 5%. Yes, he and TV that. Mr. Speaker, literally meaning that they don't understand, they don't understand it. They've not heard some before. Mr. Speaker, may I call Tarun Naidusu? And it will be like this. On the 6th of January 2016, city sites, as I speak, you can check. Employment and Labor Relations Minister, Tarun Naidusu, now the minority leader. Tarun Naidusu says, any attempt to reverse the increased utility tariffs and new taxes will negatively affect government's ability to fix the energy crisis. And you think COVID is a friendly crisis. First, COVID for you though, is humanitarian crisis on force majeure. This one, energy crisis, was because of 
wrongful financial engineering that what actually came on us. Even that, you wanted to tax. Go ahead. According to him, there is an outstanding debt of some 4.5 billion cities, which needs to be settled, hence government's decision to introduce the new energy sector levy. The levy has caused an increase in petroleum prices by up to 27%, compounding the effects of recent increases in utility tariffs. In an interview with City News, after a meeting with the organized labor over the tariffs in a deadlock, Haruna Idrusus explained that these are bitter pills. And I repeat, Haruna Idrusus explained that these are bitter pills that ought to be swallowed to improve the energy situation. Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaker, at that point, that bitter pill actually increased pump price by 27%. And at this point, all these measures are going to increase pump price by 5%, and somebody says he doesn't understand. But you were made for Ghanaians to understand that 27% was in order. Mr. Yeah. Speaker, we have to be very sincere to ourselves. Like the President said, we should come together to see Ghana through this challenge. Nobody knows what is going to happen. Some say the vaccine, actually, when you have the vaccine, you, you may still have the disease, except the severity may not be much. Some cycle of winter cycle, so there could be a third wave next winter. We don't know where we're going. So what you have to do is that we have to share the pain. We need to share the pain of government. And the only way we can share is to just tax those who can afford. The blacks can afford. How much do the directors pay? And they earn more than myself and in parliament. So there's nothing wrong if some of their tax profits are taxed. What is wrong with that, Mr. Speaker? In any case, if my friends are saying we need to come and account to them after four years, what a 1% increase, what the NHI 1% increase, what it has done to help in COVID, I think that I will stand to support them on any day. Because the Ghanaian would also want to see that, even though they embrace themselves in the long term, this is what we have one it. more minute. Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, we need roads. We need roads. So the toll increase is appropriate. We need roads. And if it is going to be by a measure that will attract private investors to, to build and to maintain our roads, this is the time. We need to be frank with ourselves. I need a lot of roads in the Fijasia Safari. I'm not even getting them. So if this indeed will generate an amount of money that we will all see and know how it was applied, we need to support this. And there is one person in, on the other side, um, Roxen, uh, one of the MPs, Chemako, he always says that, he, say, he always says that if you have to increase road toll, to be able to do, uh, to service our roads, maintain and to build. For him, he will never do politics with it. On this note, I'm asking we don't do politics for today, and let's move today together under this recession to come out as one. Politics is there for 2020. Honorable Eric Opoku. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, before I start my contribution, I would like to draw the attention of the Honorable Minister Responsible of Finance to paragraph 242 of the budget, even before we get to appropriation, because interesting times are ahead of us. Mr. Speaker, it is provided that the Office of the Special Prosecutor has two people, two. But the budget for the two people is 43 million, 473,000 and 43 cities, indicating that every month, each of the two will receive a salary close to 2 million Ghana cities. This will affect the appropriation. So, Mr. Finance Minister, please take note. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the President, 
242. Budget, 2021 budget, 242. Paragraph 242. A page, 240 page. Page 242 is here. You are not listening. Okay. Mr. Speaker, the President in the State of the Nation address stated emphatically, and with your indulgence, I would like to read. We have for the first time in a long while become a net exporter of food. Become a net exporter of food. But Mr. Speaker, in the President's own budget, paragraph 401 is saying something different. And Mr. Speaker, paragraph 401, <laughs> the subsequent engagement with the stakeholders strengthen our determination to ensure we become net exporters on several routes. So, Mr. Speaker, Mr. President is saying on one breath that Ghana is net exporter of food. And another breath, he's talking about determination to become a net exporter. A determination has not been realized yet. And that is the issue. Then the second point, Mr. Speaker, has to do with the fact that if you increase taxes on petroleum, if you increase petroleum related taxes, you must understand that cost of food production will go up. Cost of transporting food will also go up. And eventually, food prices will rise. So this budget is to impoverish the ordinary Ghanaian because food prices will go up. Yeah. Then on agricultural machinery, Mr. Speaker, under the NDC, subsidies placed on agricultural machinery were 60%. The MPP government and the Nana Abdankar Kufuado has reduced the subsidy from 60% to 40%. And so now the cost of agricultural machinery is more expensive than during the NDC time. All this will feed into rising food prices for the ordinary Ghanaian. Mr. Speaker, I will now refer to paragraph 397 of the 2021 budget. Paragraph 397 talks about poultry imports amounting to 470 million Ghana cities for each year between 2014 and 2019. Mr. Speaker, what it means is that from 2014 to 2019, we have been spending 470 million each year on the importation of poultry products into this country. Mr. Speaker, it goes further to state that this represents 78% of the total meat imports into Ghana. Mr. Speaker, in 2014, Ghana spent 470 million to import poultry products into this country. And up to 2019, we are doing the same thing that within the four years. What has the government of the MPP done? Increased production of poultry in our country. It means that for the last four years, they have not done anything in the sector to boost production. And Mr. Speaker, it is a fact that in the 2017 budget, no allocation was made to support the poultry subsector. In the 2018 budget, the same thing was done. The poultry sector was not allocated even a peso. In the 2019 budget, specifically in paragraph 515, Government decided to develop sustainable soya bean production strategy and ensure availability of soya bean as a raw material to provide feed for the poultry industry. This idea was not done, but was never implemented. That was the reason why in 2020, poultry farmers were crying for feed to feed their poultry. Mr. Speaker, in the 2020 budget, we were told that government was going to procure 70 small-scale chicken processing units for poultry farmers in the Savannah zone. This was not done. And as we speak, nothing at all has been done in the poultry subsector 
to boost production. So Ghana still import poultry of 338,233 metric tons into this country. Now, Mr. Speaker, what is even surprising is that when we read the last sentence under paragraph 397, it says that between 2017 and 2019, poultry production averaged 61,767 metric tons. Mr. Speaker, Ghana consumes 400,000 metric tons of poultry products annually. So if we are producing 767 metric tons, then it means that within the last four years, government has produced 15.44% of our total poultry meat consumption in this country. So if you are producing just 15%, and you are importing 85%, then what are you people seeking to consolidate? Because you are saying that this budget is to consolidate the gains you have made. Is this the gain that you want to consolidate in this country, producing just 15% of your total meat consumption in this country? Mr. Speaker, another important point worth mentioning is the production of rice which was also mentioned in paragraph 394. Mr. Speaker, in paragraph 394, we are told that Ghana spends 1.5 billion Ghana cities annually to import rice into this country. Mr. Speaker, in inaccurate. It is never true that Ghana spends 1.5 billion Ghana cities on the importation of rice into this country. Mr. Speaker, the President, Nana Abu Dhan Kwaku Fado, on 13 December 2019, indicated, and with your indulgence, I would like to quote, this was published by General, General News on Friday, December 13, 2019. There had been a wave of a campaign across the country to promote patronage of local rice, to boost the local industry, and curtail the over $1 billion worth of rice imported into Ghana annually. This is Mr. President speaking. President of the Republic of Ghana indicates in 2019 that Ghana spends over $1 billion importation of rice into Ghana. And then the, the Minister of Agriculture also says this. Very, very important. Mr. Speaker, with your intelligence, I quote. He says, Ghana currently imports about 1.5 billion US dollars worth of rice. Dr. Akotefriye, that is what he's saying. And now in the budget, we are talking about 1.5 billion Ghana cities. It is 1.5 billion US dollars. And not 1.5 Ghana cities. 1.5 billion Ghana cities. Mr. Speaker, this is some of the things that we've been complaining about. The, the, the height of this amnesty in our reporting is seriously affecting the business of this house because we are prevented from getting the true information based upon which we can assess the performance of this government. Mr. Speaker, what is most interesting is this. In the same paragraph 394, it is stated that government spends the 1.5 billion Ghana cities to import 960,993 metric tons of rice into Ghana every year. Almost a million tons. That is what is stated in the budget. That is what is here, Mr. Speaker. But the fact is that, the fact is that Ghana consumes around 1.3 million metric tons of rice in Ghana. We are importing 960... Hold on, member, hold on. Put off your mic so you don't lose time. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's on point of correction here. Uh, my, my good friend, Honorable Rukupuku, uh, mentioned that he's quoting something in, in, in paragraph 394 to the extent that 1.5 million, that's the, the budget is saying that 1.5 billion a year to import 96,000 metric tons of rice between 2017 and 2019. I think it's a three year span. It's a three year span. 
So it, 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 can, it, it cannot be that the whole of... It's not every year that one, the 1.5 1. billion cities was, was used to import these things. So your point is that... It's for the three years. He is confounding what should be categorized together. Is yes. that right? Yes, that's it. Very well, honourable member. Take note. Mr. Speaker, with your indulgence, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the sobering fact is that despite significant strikes, we still spend on average 1.5 billion a year to import 960,993 metric tons a year. Between, between 2017 and 2019. It doesn't mean you don't understand. It means that every year, government spends 1.5 billion Ghana cities to import 960,993 metric tons. Okay. And I'm saying that, look, I'm saying that the total consumption is estimated around 1.3 million metric tons. So if you are importing 900 and 960,993, then it means that your production, local production of rice is just 20%. You are importing almost 80% of your rice, that the rice that you consume from outside Ghana. And that is why you have serious challenges in respect of exchange rates. And so when you talk about planting for food, having increased production, you have implemented this program for almost four years. And we are reporting to this house, you are reporting to this house that over the period, you have been producing just 20% of the rice that you consume in this country. Mm -hmm. This is your own reporting. Mr. Speaker, when you go to paragraph, when you go to paragraph 6, zero, paragraph 6, zero 04 of the 2021 budget, Paragraph 604 of the 2021 budget. Honorable, um, can you hold on? Yes, ah. leader. Your mic, please. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Eric Opoku is in breach of the rules of debate of this act. Mr. Speaker, the use of the word dishonest reportage. Mr. Speaker, my honorable colleague is okay to disagree, but to say, Mr. Speaker, that figures official report that there is a dishonest... <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Mr. Speaker, let us be fair to government and state agencies. You have been a minister before. You have been in government before. Express your honorable, disagreement. Honorable Mr. Minister, Mr. Speaker, point to me in the senior... Mr. Speaker, he said, yes. he said that in the budget, a figure was quoted in dollars, importation of rights. And he says that he has found this somewhere in cities. Where he found it, he has not tabled that document here. Well, that source of his data, which is in cities, is not part of our record. But we have the budget here. And I'm saying that you can express your disagreement. You are in opposition. It is your right. I thought but you were complaining say, about the use of the word dishonest. Mr. Yes, Mr. Speaker, he said yeah. that it has been sculpted somewhere in cities and in the budget is in dollars, so it is dishonest. Mr. Speaker, that is where All I right. think... All right. That, yeah. that, so which specific are you Speaker, referring to? On the 30... Mr. Speaker, you know I would always come fortified. Mr. Speaker, on the 30D... On the 30D... Mr. Speaker... Presenting to pass for scandalous, Mr. Speaker, to the extent that he contends that government is being dishonest, he's scandalizing government. It's scandalous. He cannot, Mr. Honor, Speaker. Honourable Member, I disagree with you. Yes, uh, content of speeches and order 93 will catch him, the use of his honest. But no order 30, I disagree with order 30. Yeah, Honourable Member, please withdraw. Uh, the reference to the reporter. While preparing for this debate, I decided to go through the hazard. And unfortunately, I don't have that copy here. I chanced upon one of the hazards of this house, in which your good self.
had used the word dishonesty and political chickenry in this house. Referring to Honorable Eric Opoku, my direction Mr. Speaker, is on. I withdraw. Well, Mr. Speaker, you said that Honorable Afanyo Marke is engaged in political chickenry. It's like carrying coal to Newcastle. Mr. Speaker, the fact is that I have referred to a document in which the President of the Republic of Ghana, speaking to this nation, has alluded to the fact that we spend over $1 billion on the importation of rice into this country. And another document in which the Minister in charge of Agriculture indicating that we spend $1.5 billion every year to import this country. Just 2019, December 2019. And now the report in our budget as 1.5 billion Ghana CDs. And you are saying that I'm not being fair. Mr. Speaker, I withdraw this honesty and replace it with insincerity. <laughs> now, to explain the point. I will direct you to use inconsistent records. Mr. Speaker, I take a few. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, now paragraph 605. 605. We are told that as a result of the interventions that the government has made, the per hectare yield, per hectare yield of rice increased by 59%. But when they aggregate the whole thing into the national output, that Rice production increased from 30% in 2016 to 50%. Mr. Speaker, if the per capita yield increases, it must reflect in the aggregation. So if the per capita yield increases by 59%, you should expect the total also increase by the same 59%. But the per capita yield has increased by 59%. But the national output has increased by 20 or 20 percent. What does that mean? How do you reconcile the two? It doesn't make sense. These are some of the issues that we raise. Let me quickly touch on fisheries. We are told that the fisheries sector grew by 11 percent. Mr. Speaker, this is surprising. We cannot even know what caused the fisheries sector to register this kind of growth. Can you conclude? Mr. Speaker, my conclusion is that when you look at the fisheries uh, sector, the three subsectors, the marine subsector, production is declining. The inland subsector, production is declining. The aquaculture subsector, production peak at 76,000 metric tons. In, in 2020, it is doing 64,000. And we are saying that because of that 64,000, we have registered growth of 11 percent. Mr. Speaker, this can never be explained anywhere. That is why clearly you decided not to provide production levels for the marine sector and the inland sector. So just the agriculture from 52 to 64, you said that 11 percent. That cannot be substantiated. Honorable Collins and the comment, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity to contribute to the debate. My senior brother, Jinapo, sought to do a comparison amongst the presidents within the Fourth Republic. John, what he failed to say, what he failed to say amongst all these presidents within the Fourth Republic, only one of them implemented the planting for food and jobs. Only one of them implemented NAFCO. Only one of them implemented the free SHS policy. Yeah. And only one of them implemented the 1D1F policy. Mr. Speaker, the International Labour Organization reports on employment in the midst of this COVID period estimates that close to about 140 million people lost their jobs. Most of these people, Mr. Speaker, are very grateful. But Mr. Speaker, 
I believe Ghana is in a better place to recover from this pandemic because even before the pandemic, His Excellency Nana Adodankwe Kufuadu and his government had commenced initiatives to address this issue. I'm a member speaking to the mic. So you go down a little and speak okay, to the Mr. mic. Speaker, thank you. Mr. Speaker, I believe very strongly that there has never been a deliberate and a well thought through program which is aimed at developing our industry than the 1D1F program. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Speaker, in 2016, when the NDC read their last budget, and it's my hope that it's going to be their last, on page 472, there was just of the Commander Sugar, sugar Factory. And Mr. Speaker, it was so because there was none other factory to be talked about. But Mr. Speaker, I'm proud to announce that by the end of 2020, at the height of this pandemic, 232 1D1F projects are at various stages of completion. 76 of them have been completed and are operational. 107 under construction and 49 is yet to commence. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, permit me to mention just a few. Caltech Ventures, k Happy Sunshine, Clofet Ghana, Brompton Portfolio, Aspi Pharmaceutical, just to mention a few, Mr. Speaker. It was very clear from day one, Mr. Speaker, that the NPP government knew exactly what their role was under this 1D1F project. Their role was to help provide and provide infrastructure, such as roads, to aid the private sector to venture into this policy. Mr. Speaker, on page 687 of the 2021 budget, a total of 603 million Ghana cities has been extended as import duty exemptions on capital goods and raw materials for 37 1D1 factories. Mr. Speaker, equally, 2.3 billion of credit disbursement and 213 million Ghana cities of interest subsidy support has also been provided to these 1D1 factories. The government, I'm happy to announce, has indicated its intention to continue to support this 1D1 project. And Mr. Speaker, it's also interesting to note that as at the end of 2020, a total of 1,309,000 9, jobs had been created under this 1D1. Now, as we know, as we know, Mr. Speaker, it takes three to four years for a factory to start from scratch and to start full operations. And so, Mr. Speaker, if even with this, within this incubation period, we are able to provide this number of jobs, your guess is as good as mine, when all these companies are in full operation, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, last year, a total of 150 million CDs was allocated to the 1D1F uh, policy. This year, the value has increased by 8.2% to 164 million Ghana cities, indicating the government's commitment towards this particular project of 1D1F. Now, Mr. Speaker, in the light of the new after policy, which has this fruition, it is important that both houses or both members of the uh, of the aisle support this particular budget in order for this 1D1F project, Mr. Speaker, to take off in full fruition. I am the firm belief that if this is done, our industrialization drive will see the light of day. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity. Yeah. Honorable Ricketts, Hagan, Kweku. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity to make a contribution to this motion on the floor to approve His Excellency the President's Budget Statement and Economic Policy Year 2021. 
Mr. Speaker, in doing so, I would like to point to some inaccuracies and misconceptions in the government's own macroeconomic and physical numbers. Mr. Speaker, we were all affected by the pandemic. The whole world, no country was actually spared. But some countries did better than others. There were two crises, Mr. Speaker, health crisis and an economic one. Countries who are prepared well with well-built health infrastructure like it was done under the NDC government of President Mahama, we fared well as far as the health crisis is concerned. Mr. Speaker, there was also an economic crisis. And the same, by the same token, the countries who had prepared well, who had good managers of the economy, also fared better during the pandemic. Mr. Speaker, Ghana is not one of them. If you look at the budget that the government has, it's littered with bad numbers of both the macroeconomic and the fiscal indicators. That clearly tells you that we are not, or the government has not actually been a good manager of the economy. Mr. Speaker, let's look at some numbers here, the misconceptions that I'm talking about. You realize that when you look at the, 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 the figures, you take the GDP figure, the government actually projected, we did around pre-pandemic, around 7% on the average. But, well, if you want the page, I'll take you there. But uh, it's in your budget, the one you presented. If you look at the GDP figure, the projection was 6.8%. Yet we ended up doing 0.9. Mr. Speaker, we did 0.9, and everything is blamed on the pandemic. Mr. Speaker, if you look at the IMF report, another world report, it tells you that on the average, the global economy contracted by 3.5%. Mr. Speaker, what that means is that if you're a good manager or even an average manager of the economy, you should be able to, at least worst case scenario, your economy should contract by 3.5. So if you intended to do 6.8, and because of pandemic, you are not able to do that. You should arrive at 3.3, .3, at least, with a, with a, with a 6.8 that we are talking about here, if you do the computation. Because if we don't, if we didn't get 3.3, then not only are we, 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 are, we cannot say we are, we are not even average managers of the economy. Because on the average, the countries with an average should get around 3.5. So if you ended up with 0 0.9, then even out of that contraction, you could not make the 3.3 that you should make. That obviously tells us that you are bad managers of the economy. Now let's go to the page that people were asking for. Just go to page 12 of the budget. I'm not taking you anywhere other than our neighboring countries. If you look at the ECOWAS growth rate and you go to 2020, which is the year of the pandemic, you realize that some economies with good managers, including an economy with almost the same size as us, Cote d'Ivoire, did better than us. 1.8, we did 0 0.9. Call ourselves good managers of the economy. Even Guinea and Benin did better than us. Yet we call ourselves good managers of the economy. Good at what? At the art. Mr. Speaker, let's look at the deficit. Again, these numbers they presented here, suppose the government, it clearly tells you now we will be even be able to measure the level of incompetence from the figures that we have here. 
Now, deficit. They projected for 4 point. The deficit in 2019 was 4.8, some say 4.5, depending on who you talk to. Whether from, to, you talk to the Ministry of Finance or you talk to Dr. Baumia, they have different numbers. This is the financial engineering that my brother Adungu was talking about. Okay, so the projection was 4.7. There is the belief that the deficit is actually around 18%. And within the next few days, we'll prove that. But even let's stick to either the 13.7, that is if you include the financial, you know, cleanup cost, or you stick to even 11.7 11 in the budget. The budget is telling us, if you look at, uh, again, look at page 15 of the, the abridged version of the budget, which the minister read, and you go to page abridged version, page 15, Mr. Speaker, Page 15 tells us, it says uh, 72, Mr. Speaker. And I read, I just read in the bullet point. So somebody should explain to us what is the difference? How did they get the difference between the 11.7 and the 8.7 or the 9.7? Mr. Speaker, this is the level of incompetence of the government. That is a measure. If we want to measure level of incompetence, it shows that this figure is not explained and it can only come about either the original figure they gave us was a financial engineering one or in the process of managing the economy, they actually mismanaged them. Mr. Speaker, the same goes with the balance of payment. They ended up at, at the back of the deficit. They did a balance of payment for 3.5, 3 a 5.3, sorry, deficit. Mr. Speaker, the same with inflation. They projected 8% inflation. They ended up with 10.4. These are the people, the government, that was bragging with single-digit inflation. Why was the inflation 10.4%? Because of mismanagement of the economy. Mr. Speaker, it's in, a, it's in their own budget. That what caused that deficit is as a result of panic buying during the COVID time, when they could not manage feeding, when they could not manage lockdown, that is where that inflation was created. Mr. Speaker, again, let's go to page 13 of their budget. Mr. Speaker, page 13 of the budget, you look at the table, ECOWAS inflation table. Out of the 15 ECOWAS countries, 11 of them did better in terms of inflation than us. The table is here. They provided it. Yet, they call themselves better managers of the economy. When the inflation figures here clearly show, they are here. Ghana, last but three. These are the good managers of the economy. Mr. Speaker, now let's look at the public debt. The public debt, as is been mentioned by my other colleagues, is going to 291.6, which means that during the pandemic period alone, they added an additional loan of 74.1 billion, 21 of which was wasted financial cleanup, as they call it. Mr. Speaker, 
They wasted 21 billion in collapsing nine universal banks. They wasted 21 billion in collapsing 347 microfinance institutions. They wasted 21 billion in closing down 39 microcredit institutions. Mr. Speaker, they used 21 billion in collapsing 15 savings and loans. Mr. Speaker, they used 21 billion in collapsing eight finance houses. They used 21 billion in collapsing 53 financial fund managers. Over, over 400, 400 financial institutions. And you expect to have a financial institution tomorrow. Mr. Speaker. Honorable, honorable, honorable member, just hold on. Honorable member for Akai Kui Central. Thank you very much. Before he runs out of time, Mr. Speaker, my good friend from Cape Coast South referred to some inflationary figures in Ghana. He got it all wrong. And he jumped ship to talk about the financial sector cleanup. Who will waste money to revive a, a bedridden sector like the financial sector? Most of Ghanaians who had invested in the financial sector have all been paid. Is there, is there a wastage? Is there a wastage? Honorable member. I hope you'll get your time. Honorable member, your time is getting up, so if you can wind up. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, on exchange rates, I heard them saying that they, 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 they are best performers of the economy and they did well. Mr. Speaker, the 2020 good performance of the, of the Ghana city has nothing to do with this government. It has everything to do with the COVID inflows from the IMF over a billion, from the World Bank, and from other foreign currencies that rolled into the country that filled our central banks and strengthened our city. That is what it is. It's nothing that they did. Mr. Speaker, if you remember 2019, this is the same government that was crying in 2019, before pandemic that the city is getting out of hand and they need people to come and help them. For that matter, they created the Foreign Exchange Development Committee. Honorable member, the time allotted to you is up. Can you... Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, I want to say that Mr. Nana Akufar, the President Nana Akufar, says they know how to bring back the economy, but they don't know how to bring back people. Mr. Speaker, he is right. They don't know how to bring back people and they don't have a clue on how to bring back the economy. Thank you very much. <laughs> now the turn of Honorable Member for Sehirioso, Dr. Kokwefi. The Speaker, thanks for the opportunity. And let me also state that I support the motion table by the activity of finance for the policy, financial and economic policy state. Mr. Speaker, before I get the meat of my submissions, let me debunk certain pronouncements made by honorable members for Esnafo South. Eric Opoku. Mr. Speaker, right in this house, if anybody should Google to trendeconomy.com, you will find that rice importation for 2018 was $451,881. For, for, for 2017, it was $401,000. And when you go to noema.com, you will get the same figures quoted. These are very, very reliable sites, and they've been making economic reports in, in Ghana. So he is palpably wrong. I believe that uh, he must revise his figures. Mr. Speaker, I would have liked to talk on a lot of issues, but suffice to say that this budget 
first general statement. The budget is a very, very, very balanced one. And it's very nuanced. And it answers to a lot of policy issues that are very, very relevant in the Ghanaian situation now. First of all, I noticed that there has been a good policy network analysis, which, and in fact, looking at the submission, obviously, policy dialectics has even been considered and, the and discussed and the necessary takeaways trade-offs have been made. And so when you look at the overall budget trust, you see that it answers the problems thrown up by COVID in the Ghanaian situation. And this one year but death cycle is just like one important step. In fact, if you read, you make only a sectoral analysis, you will not understand it. That is why I come back to Eric Opoku again. He was saying that subsidies on, I mean, Honorable Eric Opoku, on agri machinery, for example, has been reduced. Yes. But when you look at the policy an analysis, it looks like in the production chain, government is making a deliberate effort to put subsidies through planting for food and jobs on the, may, especially in the main sector, where you know that in, in, uh, in poultry production, your main inputs are in main, that's the grains, maize and soya bean for proteins. And that is where you should go and look for the subsidies, and you will find them there. And in fact, they have been responding through, over the years to this policy shift. So we do not have to look at things, you know, in a straight jacket manner. But Mr. Speaker, I do not pretend to be an economist. So I will just gravitate towards an area where I'm very, very comfortable. Mr. Speaker, when you look at the agri sector and you take into account this one year budget cycle, and still, if I still remain on policy, you will see one of the, that agri sector has been identified as one of the main drivers to ensure economic development, food security, and job creation and employment. And indeed, even in the main security in itself. Because if Ghana were not essentially in food production and COVID had disrupted all our food supply chains, one would have witnessed a lot of popular uprising in this country. But so far, that has not happened. And indeed, in certain areas, we even have surpluses. Mr. Speaker, our natural, national agricultural investment plan is answering all these things that I'm bringing up. That is why planting for food and jobs, rearing for food and jobs, the peg for export and rural development, and greenhouse villages and agricultural mechanization, and all those programs that are being rolled out, is they all been geared to answer the policy variances that has occurred in the past, and to make sure that our economy runs on an EVQ. So, Speaker, I believe that supply of improved seedlings and fertilizers are very, very important. And here, I, as a MST, uh, minister, Minister for Environment, Science, Technology, and Innovation, I'm particularly ha happy that at least in one area, in the area of maize production, 95% of all the inputs, seed inputs, came from research that has been done by CSIR. And I will urge my colleague in our great country, when he's making the attributions and sharing uh, the glory, he should be candid enough and give some of the glory to best. I just found out recently, because the Obatan Pass are, 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 are some terms and whatnot that we are planting are all coming from the work of CSIR. But Mr. Speaker, I believe that the steps taking to especially diversify, diversify our tree crop economy in the areas of uh, rubber, 
cash not not are very important. But again, it's not a critique, it's a suggestion as somebody who is in the field. Ghana should take advantage of the outbreak of CSSVD and I, I know we are doing a lot of replanting of cocoa. I think we should take advantage and go into the area of mixed tree cropping. I think that is one area. They are doing it, but they are replanting with a long gestation period, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, trees, uh, timber trees. I want them to look at coconut, uh, rubber, intercrop with cocoa. I believe that can help. Mr. Speaker, then on agric mechanization and irrigation, I believe that again, Messi working in tandem with the Minister of Agri should respond to this climate change thing. We are really indeed in it because all the reports I'm receiving from my constituency, say we also, in March, we are in March, and it is raining as, as if we are in the rainy season. Obviously, that has an impact on the way we even do our grid. This will be the normal that was pertaining in the past. Gaza, for example, has been very, very, very lucky in this COVID era, and all the policy that the Minister of Agriculture is taking has answered some of the things in the uh, SDGs, especially SDG 2, 1, 3, 8, 10, 13, 15, and 17. So I'm happy. That is why I say overall, this budget is very protein. It answers a lot of questions out there. Mr. Speaker, it would be remiss on me if I do not talk about the cocoa subsector. And I notice that government has made a very, very conscious effort to help those of us in cocoa. People do not know that production has slumped. And the slump is really from one region, Western North. We used to produce a third of Ghana's cocoa, 350,000 metric tons. Last year, we did less than 150,000 metric tons. What happened? Steps which should have been taken to mitigate the effect of cocoa swelling through various diseases by the previous regime was not done. Because when you have CSSVD, the effect occurs around 8 to 10 years. That is when we see the full economic impact. That is what has helped Oh, that's what has engendered the slump in Ghana's cocoa production. And by the two year average in which there was a revenge smuggling from Cote d'Ivoire, counting from 2012 to this time, there has been a consistent fall in our crew. That is why, and then in during Nana President, Nana Dodanko Kufuwa this time, I would say that he has not been very lucky, especially with regard to the external price of cocoa. For example, cocoa slumped, prices slumped somewhere next, last year in the region in less than $2,000 per metric ton. Whereas at their peak, NDC regime 2015-16, it rose to as high as 3200 So, Mr. Speaker, government has had to forfeit uh, uh, share in the export price to the extent that people, Ghanaians are not aware that the net FOB price of uh, the government has been to the farmers has been not worth of 100 percent, which means government for the past three years has forfeited each of the exports from cocoa. For example, 2017, 104,000. I'm rounding the figures. One of the producer price was 104 percent. In 2019, 106 percent. It was only in 2019 that government paid something akin to what was pertaining in the past, and that was 79. Honourable member, wind up, please. In 2020-2021, with the thanks to LID, the Living Income Differential, government is paying farmers 
121% of the FOB, which means government is taking nothing out of it. So contrary to the popular thought, government, this government has been very good to us. Mr. Speaker, let me say that to my colleagues on the other side, and I want to quote from some of my, you know, by now I'm, I'm sure I'm chatting some image, but I'll go there. One of my Latin masses. That means ex nihilo nihil fit, which means nothing comes out of nothing. And if you want to do your economy well, certain policies must give, certain programs must give. So when they cite those things in isolation, this is gone down, this is gone out, don't get it. That is the difference in policy situation and even ideological terms between MPP and NDC. Thank you for the opportunity, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Member. Now the turn of Honorable Richard Echampo. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity to speak to the motion capture as item 5 of today's other paper. Mr. Speaker, before I proceed, let me correct some negative impression created by my former regional minister, Honorable Dr. Koku Afriye. I have been say that uh, the government has done well for the, the Koku farmers, especially those from the Western North region. Mr. Speaker, as I speak, Government has contracted weeding guns. Three months on the road, they have not been paid. Government contracted $1.3 billion facility. They've collected the cocoa beans from cocoa farmers. Three months as I speak, Mr. Speaker, the LBCs cannot find money to pay the cocoa farmers. And as a former regional minister and MP for Sergio also, you stand before all of us saying government is de dealing with the cocoa farmers in the way that everybody should be happy. of the region. And the people will never be happy hearing you say all these things about the cocoa industry. Just press a call and find out from the weeding gang if for the past three months they have been paid. Mm. Mr. Speaker, uh, this is uh, just a side uh, issue that uh, I wanted to address. Mr. Speaker, I hold in my hand um, the 2017 financial statement presented by Honorable Ken Uforiata. Mr. Speaker, I refer the House to page one of the document. This is the maiden by the day, paragraph five of the document, Mr. Speaker. With your daughters, I will read. Mr. Speaker, let us acknowledge that we have inherited a challenged economy with a considerable debt overhang and rising interest payment caused by excessive borrowing. Expenditure overruns and accumulated areas called by fiscal indiscipline, revenue underperformance called by leakages, loopholes, and tax exemptions. Mr. Speaker, the question is what has changed? The PP government took over. Our debt stock was 122 billion. Mr. Speaker, as I speak, the ministry is reporting 291.6 billion debt stock. And with this, Mr. Speaker, the youth get fund to control $1.5 billion is not part of the facility we're talking about. Energy sector levy, the red bond of 10 billion Ghana cities. They've got it, uh, 6 billion Ghana cities, not part of the desktop. Mr. Speaker, the Sino Hydro facility of $2 billion is not part of this facility. 